I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Are we live? That I don't know yet. So this is going to be interesting. Yes. I want to be able to do this in such a way that I can leave this video on my channel. Six hours is a very long time. We did eight before and that seemed to work pretty well. So hopefully a six hour stream can run smoothly with no interruptions or technical difficulties. We're trying our very best. Um, this is <laughs> welcome to my torture stream. Apparently I hate myself and uh, my poor fiance who has never seen Girl Defined has no idea what he's in for. So today is going to be an introduction <laughs> to them for him and all of you guys who already know who they are, who are still here for some reason, should be in for a good time. So I have a playlist that I have put together of <laughs> my like favorite, because I'm a huge fan, my favorite Girl Defined moments. Um, I'm reading your comments live. If you guys want just ex like the same exact thing we did for the Onision stream, I have my beautiful spinny wheel over here, but it has different prizes on it this time. So this is the um, free merch. GD book, by the way, I have two. Girl to find books. So if you land on that one, I will read a passage from one of these and I have no idea what I will read because I haven't gone through these yet and it'll just be a surprise. So reading a passage from the Holy Girl to find books. Um, Holy Spirits, guys. I've got vodka. I've also got Smirnoffs and all kinds of, uh, I've got wine that maybe we will turn water into wine. We'll make some miracles happen. But if you land on Holy Spirits, we drink. Uh, Nala Treat, we have a puppy in here with us, and uh, she loves getting treats. Uh, joke, okay, so I found some really inappropriate, some are just funny, religious jokes, so if you land on joke, we'll try to make you laugh. And what else? Oh, Da Bomb. Okay, I'll have David explain Da Bomb in a minute. And then I think that's everything. And then obviously, you know, free merch. So hopefully you guys win some free merch. A lot of people won last time. That was very exciting. And uh, yeah, so this is the $50 spinny wheel. So anybody who tips that or higher gets to spin the wheel. I really hope we don't land on the bomb because that shit is disgusting. And yeah, without further ado, I think we should start watching Girl Defined. Yeah? Babe, do you want to join? <laughs> I uh, I have no clue what we're in for. I have never watched a Girl Divine, Defined video. I'm so I don't sorry. know if this is instructional for girls. I have no clue. They give advice for both. Who are we watching? Kristen and Bethany from Girl Defined okay. like to tell you about how to live a Christian lifestyle. They do aim it towards women, but it's honestly just it's content for everyone. All right. <laughs> So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Uh, I, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, it's gonna be it's a gonna, nice, it's gonna be a nice little, horrible. Uh, um, a nice little Sunday. Shall we start the AC though? Uh, yeah. We're, we're in a very hot room, and I hope that the sound isn't a problem. But it should be just fine. All right. Well, it kicks on and then it it gets quiet. So okay, cool. Are you ready? I guess you explained <laughs> you explained everything. I saw. The, okay, I s so I put the playlist together in such a way that you can get to see who they are at the beginning. I put like an intro. So the first video will kind of explain it and then we'll go into it. There's a lot of stuff on Bethany and her husband, which is interesting. Um, there's a lot of their relationship stuff that uh, we will talk about in depth because there is some there is some controversy around that. I'm sure you guys have already heard about it, right? That her husband apparently went through some kind of conversion therapy so that he would no longer be gay and there's a lot of people talking about that um, and I have like videos of them talking about their relationship together that I want to play for you and we can we can kind of pick through it together and see what kind of conclusions we can come to um, I oh what's the bomb we haven't okay so I said David would explain the bomb I'm like afraid to even touch this I also saw a comment that said uh, you you didn't uh, you took off shot, but isn't there still a shot? Oh, um, okay, so there's not an onion shot, but Holy Spirits, if you land on Holy Spirits, there's two of them, it's it's the yellow one. I put a little, I drew a little shot glass, I understand my, I'm, I'm not very artistic. So spirits, but you're I have referring my to spirits like liquor spirits. Holy Spirit, yeah. There you go. I thought that was a funny play on words, we're watching religious commentary. 
So here are our unfiltered shot, unfiltered love shot glasses that you can get at ffemerch.com. And yeah, this is peach and orange blossom vodka. Oh, there is a there is a fifty. Oh, really? Already? That's what someone says. Where? Uh, in. Uh, oh, <laughs> my computer's not okay. So Some, uh, I did seeing, not see that. I'm seeing it in the chat. Oh uh, shit. So let me. Oh uh, my god. Okay. Yes. But that's not. Wait. Scroll up. There's. That's not where we should be looking. Um, Streamlabs is where my, you should be yeah, looking. Yeah. Let's you pull it up on your computer for a second. This isn't working. Um, okay. So we already have a 50. That's crazy. I'm afraid to hold this though. Can <laughs> I want you to explain what this is? Um, this I'll is trade like you. this is some really difficult. So, Stuff. if you've ever seen a show called Hot Ones, hot ones. on YouTube, very hot uh, ones. Th that is an interview show um, where they eat hot wings and answer trivia questions, and Da Bomb is one of the hottest ones on the show. It always kicks people's asses. So uh, we recently picked this up, and so if you get Da Bomb, we will take a tiny morsel of Da Bomb. I do believe we have it set up so. I'm we need to have just at it. we need to have two da bombs uh, hit on the wheel for it to oh, us. Oh yeah, to, I'll cross it off. Us to have da bomb because it's it's really bad. It's really bad. We won't be giving it to the dog. I don't know if you guys know how spicy this is. Like it is painful. Like people cry. Who was it that was crying on on hot ones? It was really funny. A lot of people. Everyone. But it was Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Oh yeah, Shaquille. That was a funny one. He was just tears. So Ravenblade said, you got vodka, me too, let's suffer together or send me free stuff. All right, so I'm so excited. We're already at a wheel spin. Oh my God. Ah, oh, Nala, you lucky girl. No. You lucky, lucky girl. Raven, I hope this is, here we go. I'm going to give her a greenie because she hasn't had one today. Do you want a treat? All right, so this is gonna be some dog ASMR really quick. Come here, up here. Up, well, up, up. she's gonna take it away. I know, but I want her to at least get, get the treat. I don't know if you could hear any of that, <laughs> but she's stoked. She's Nala stoked. is stoked. Thank you, Raven. I have Thank other you. treats because she can only have one green in a day, but Thank that's her favorite. Thank you, that's Raven. Favorite. That was a big one. Okay. Um, Shall we start watching Girl Defined? We shall. All right, do you want to play them? I. Are you ready? I think it's gonna like get get going right into it. I'm like worried about David because he doesn't know what he's in for. I don't know what I'm in for at all. All right, here we go. I'm so excited right now. Are you guys stoked for some Kristen and Bethany? I've We're been all going to hell. Porn for a while now, and I don't know what to do. I'm ashamed and scared of letting my secret out. I struggle with same-sex attraction <laughs> to women. Lust is almost constantly invading my thoughts. My mind is a war zone. I know this is a commercial for them, but it's like they're confessing, you know? From different Christian women. Each one of them has experienced some sort of sexual struggle and pain. They're longing for things like hope, hope, and freedom. What was that shot? It was Did just her boobs. It? Because we've been there. Whether it's a secret sin, pornography addiction, sexual pornography. promiscuity, masturbation, do you guys lust, have or something these else, addictions? I think one it's okay if you do. That we no, you're going to hell. Are struggling. Oh. So often, though, we believe the oh. lie that we're the only Tea ones kettle. struggling, but we're not. Regardless of our background, our age, our upbringing, every one of us wrestles with sexual sin. And so instead of trying to fight these battles on our own, we as women this is gonna be a long break day. down the barrier <laughs> of silence and shame, and I think really acknowledge oh my God. the reality of our own struggles as women. Because here's the deal, regardless of where we've been or what we've done or what we've experienced, God wants to reclaim our understanding of sexuality. He wants to help us conquer the lust in our life. He wants to show us his good design for love, passion, and sex. He wants to transform our pain and it's shame beautiful. into beauty for his glory. Our sexual design isn't something shameful or dirty, but a beautiful part of God's intentional plan for our lives. This is going to be so bad. The creator who wants to help us steer our longings and desires in the right direction. He wants to help us embrace every aspect of our sexuality according to his good design. And that's what our book, Sex, Purity, and the Longings of a Girl's Heart, is all about. It's for all of us as sisters, daughters, moms, and friends, learning how to live out God's freeing design oh my for God. sexuality. All right. 
can we pause for a second? Uh, maybe. Oh look, I have that book. I'm so excited. So uh, we normally are not gonna pause except for when we have to do other things because otherwise we're never gonna get through this. And I mean six hours. I do not want to go over six hours. Um, but I am seeing that, oh my God, hold on a second. We are behind. So we missed a $50 spin according to the comments at the very beginning. And then we just got another one and then another one. Wow. Jesus Christ. Please do not land. Please do not land on the bomb. Like this stuff, like I, I don't, I don't even want to hold it. I'm afraid I'm going to like burn my eyes out. So how do we see? Everything's on Streamlabs. All of it. Okay. So I want to get the first person that we missed. And then I also have to catch up on the other stuff. So do you want to spin? Uh, you can leave it. What, will you spin one? We have to catch up. This is for undead. Oh man. Don't land on the bomb. Joke. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to read you guys a really inappropriate joke. I'm very excited about this. I found this website of really funny stuff and I hope that you guys appreciate some of these. Honestly, like I was looking through different jokes and f looking up Christian jokes is really difficult because they're just bad. They're not funny. But I think I found, I think I found some good ones. Um, Okay, this is a good one. Okay, ready? Josie wasn't the best pupil at Sunday school. She often fell asleep, and one day while she was sleeping, the teacher asked her a question. Who is the creator of the universe? Joe was sitting next to her and decided to poke her with a pin to wake her up. Josie jumped and yelled, God Almighty! The teacher congratulated her. A little later, the teacher asked another question. Tell me, who is our Lord and Savior? Joe poked her again, and she yelled, Jesus Christ! The teacher congratulated her again. Later on, the teacher asked, what did Eve say to Adam after their 26th child? Joe poked her again and she shouted, if you stick that thing in me again, I'll snap it in half and stick it up your ass. Get it? Yes. You have to laugh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah. I wouldn't want to have 26 kids. Sorry to disappoint you if that's something that you were really hoping for. Oh, that's fine. Did we find the first super chat yet? Um, I'm just trying to set everything up to be easier to see. So Ravenblade was first undead. Undead. Blue. Wait. Oh, go, we're going down then. Blue Lily. No, wait, well, then we need to go down then. No, then then, I, then maybe there wasn't. Wait, Ravenblade. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see another one. You guys lied to us. It says PLN10. Is that maybe something that showed up as 50, but it wasn't? Yeah. Like that's... 50. I think we're caught up on those, but we also owe another spin to... Who was the, who was the other one? Can you click on this? All right. <laughs> who was this? Blue Lily. Oh, I'm a Christian, but I love your content. Well, thank you for still wanting to stick around. That's Blue Lily. Okay. Holy Spirit! Oh my God. Waking us up. It's 11.18 a.m. where we are. I thought about that whenever I picked the time. I'm like, someone's gonna land on a shot and it's gonna be like the morning. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right, uh, we also have, a, well, I guess get that going. And then- Will you hold this? Sure. I really don't. So these are our unfiltered love shot glasses. And if you notice, that smells good. There's actually a discount code on screen. Oh yeah. So if you use the code <laughs> Girl Defined at FFBmerch.com <laughs> during this stream, uh, you get fifteen percent off. Everything on the site. So I'm excited. You guys can order these these, sh these lovely shot glasses and you can have Holy Spirits with me on my next stream. Breakfast. This is breakfast, you guys. This is going to be a long day. Not my breakfast. I had Cheerios this morning. I didn't. Well. <laughs> I knew that we would be doing this, so I made sure I ate. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. That was really tasty, actually. Actually, yeah, it's really good. Um, Peach and orange blossom. But, like, I feel like it should be 11, 19 p.m., not a.m. right now. 
taking a shot this early. Whew! Whew! All right, are we caught up on spins? We are caught up on spins. Oh, that was a weird feeling. Thank you, Blue Lily. God, we're gonna be, we're gonna be hammered by the end of this. All right, shall we continue? We can and just- but, but now do you have like an idea of girl defined, what they're about? Not yet. <laughs> no? No, I don't know anything about them yet. Wait, someone says we're not caught up? Undead, Raven Blade, yes we are. Yeah, here. Yeah. And did you get the two spins from? Oh, we, okay, no, that's why we're not caught up. Here. Just, uh. This is, this is gonna be a long stream, you guys. So how do you feel? I feel confused. One shot in and girl uh, defined. I don't know started. anything about them. I don't know anything about their personalities. I can't tell which one, what are their names? Kristen and Bethany. Oh, I can see it on the screen. I can't tell which one is Kristen and which one is Bethany. I don't, isn't one of them married? They're, well, currently they're both married. Okay, so I don't but know anything about at the beginning about. of their, at the beginning of their channel, only one of them was married. And the other one would always talk about being single. And then she got married, but her husband, I'm but pretty sure, I, is gay. Today I'm going to learn who these people are. Okay. Since the one Blue Lily was 100, we should spin it twice. That's very nice, Blue Lily. We will spin it twice for you. Girl Define book! Okay. You guys vote in the comments. Do you want... <laughs> God's radical design for beauty, femininity, and identity, or sex, purity, and the longings of a girl's heart. Uh, sex, purity, and the longings of a girl's heart. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be, oh my God. Uh -oh. This is so... Are we, like, really behind already? Ravenblade just threw in a 50. Oh. And she <laughs> said... Look at this quote. I literally just opened to a random page. Do you page. want me to read it? Yes. Okay, if you, have, if you have this book, read along. We're on page 147. No one has this book. But this is a quote that they're, like, trying to take from somebody who is a sinner. Let's see what sinners say. Honestly, it feels so good to read erotic stories, <laughs> at least in the moment. But I know from personal experience that after the fact, I feel so empty and unsatisfied. Yeah, because you I feel guilty. I get <laughs> so empty. angry at myself because after each time, I pray and repeat and cry and ask the Lord to help me stop. But then I keep doing it. I find myself excusing and justifying it. And then I'm in the same place again. But I really want to stop reading this stuff. Do you feel like you I learned something? I don't know. Something? I've never read a sex book. I haven't either. I heard the Fifty Shades of Grey is really bad. Or maybe the I, movie no, was I bad? Heard people love it. Well, thank you, Ravenblade, for that. Um, no, that was, that was Blue Lily. We owe Undead, Ravenblade, and Corey. And Corey. We have fucking three spins. When Jesus can we... Uh, there's a lot of videos that we have to watch. I know. But we're just getting going. So okay, let's, I'm gonna just let's do three be spins. interactive for now. Oh! Free merch. Undead. Uh, undead. Win free merch bundle. Undead. Send me. Nice. A, do you have Instagram? Undead. Send me a DM on Instagram. That's how I tracked it last time. That's awesome. I'll, I'll be looking for. So at ffmerch.com, we have all kinds of cool stuff. Stuff Raven. of mine, stuff of hers, stuff of ours. Oh, girl, the fine book for Raven. Do you want to find another beautiful quote? Happily. Just anywhere is probably ridiculous, no matter where you land. Now, Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she can... Wait, oh, that's just a Bible thing. That's boring. <laughs> Sex will oh, fix like your problems. One. Your worth is based on your level of pureness. <laughs> there you go. No, keep reading. Read a little bit. Ela imagine living a life in which you always strive to earn God's love. When you did good, acted good, and looked good, he loved you. When, when you, you did looked bad... Good? acted bad and looked bad, he didn't love you. That would be an awful way to experience love. If you, as a woman, have to earn your worth through performance or good actions, then that's not a true depiction of love. That's a conditional relationship. But isn't God's love conditional on whether or not you follow all his rules? This is for Corey. Hi, Corey! Oh, joke time. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the last joke. I thought, I thought it was funny. 
you didn't laugh, but I thought it was funny. Um, oh, okay, this is, this is a funny one, I think. I'm easily amused, though, so I'm going to say shit's funny that y'all don't think it's funny. Okay, there was a preacher who fell in the ocean and he couldn't swim. When a boat came by, the captain yelled, Do you need help, sir? The preacher calmly said, No, God will save me. A little later, another boat came by and a fisherman asked, Hey, do you need help? The preacher replied again, No, God will save me. Eventually, he drowned and went to heaven. The preacher asked God, Why didn't you save me? God replied, Fool, I sent you two boats. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, somebody got merch. I saw that. Oh, yay. Layla. Thank you. Layla just picked up some oh, pop sockets, hey, some other stuff. Yeah, thank you very much, oh, Layla. Oh, my God. For heading on over to FFV merch. Hello, right. thank you for the Sh super chats, guys. This get is the party going. Yeah, we need to we need to keep playing these videos because I literally put together six hours worth of Girl Defined videos. So how is the sound, you guys? Let us know if you can hear all the Girl Defined that you want. Yeah, you guys need to make sure you can hear all the Girl Defined. Uh, I think we got a super chat, but we have to keep watching. We'll, we'll, we'll keep playing this bullshit. Hey guys. Oh, Arkansas, Brooke. Oh, based off of our new book, happy Saturday social distancing, Brooke. Brooke. This is for you. The bomb. We don't take it yet. I know. <laughs> so we said we need to land on the bomb twice. Brooke, you're our one down. If we land on this again, we have to eat it. I'm like not stoked on that. Oh, it'll be funny though. All right. I'm marking one of the boxes. Oh my god. I'm gonna turn them up. <laughs> Are they too quiet? Yeah. Oh my god, Brooke. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, guys. It's something that I feel like we as Christian women specifically, we kind of know some about You're missing areas. God's yes, design for sexuality, babe. Or, yes, right. God is the creator, those sorts of things. But in the area of sexuality, something that impacts our lives so hugely and so directly. So hugely. I think if we're it's honest, so a lot huge. of us don't really understand God's design for sexuality in our lives. I mean, I know for both of us, it's something that yeah. we are we're still learning. It's huge. It's, it's a huge. massive thing as we've been unpacking. Yeah, it's just like there's so much to learn. So much to learn. But I feel like the more we've learned, the more freeing, yeah. the more like we've the dog treats. Wow. Even for Nala. the concept of God, I feel like in a oh, much deeper, yeah. bigger way, our relationship with God. So mm -hmm. our hope is really that no matter where you're coming from right now, no matter what oh. you're coming to the table with, because we all have. How do you feel about the theory that the girl defined husbands are secretly a couple i don't know them yet welcome you here we want to invite i have videos on this playlist of really them together as we dig into god's design because we will see have experienced the in you know in now i'll be thinking about it the freedom the beauty the just the life that it can bring which one's bethany that. so we just invite you into this right conversation now. and hope that she would be you bethany. will gain bethany, a greater Kristen understanding Zemmery. of god because of this conversation i am so excited to be digging yeah. into god's design for sexuality because like you said it has changed changed our lives and our perspective of oh, God. Yeah. And as we unpack this today, there's so much more that we want to say. Like, even as we were I know. talking about this and what we were going to talk about and dig into God's word, video. we were like, oh my God, so it really could be ours. This is going to be I bad, know. you guys. I guess that's why we wrote the book to really get into yeah. more of it. But you can tell they're acting. The basics, like, you as think they're acting? Women, we're questioning, why am I sexual? Why did God I'm new to this. this? What is the purpose of I'm trying to my gather as much. The question we're going to unpack. Kristen and Bethany It's really going to be can. a nutshell. We're just going to lay the foundation. Yeah. But as we talked about in last week's oh video, my God. we dug into Genesis. Everyone's talking about their husbands. Two, we saw yeah. from the very beginning of time that God had a blank slate. He chose to create whatever yeah. he wanted. He made a man, a woman. He designed them to be fully sexual. And that's something that we yes. we don't often associate, like God and sex. Sexuality. Like, what? They go together. Yes. Like he made us. Ah, Raven. Us. He designed our sexuality. Then he took this man and woman, put them in a permanent relationship. So the, for the first oh my time, God. created this permanent Raven, you're so funny. relationship yeah. where they were to be joined together and God invented marriage. Yeah. So for the first time, God invented scene, marriage. We see marriage enter the scene. So we have these sexual beings. <laughs> God created them for relationship, for one another, for marriage. 
And then we zoom out a little bit more and we see, wow, they were designed. That's to confusing. How do I interpret that? Leave it on the relationship. Yeah. How do so I interpret back this? Back to the beginning, we see so clearly from Genesis yeah. it's like in that the middle. our design successfully was so intentionally planned by God. And as awesome and amazing as marriage was yeah. then and is now, it's so crazy as we've been digging into scripture and digging into God's design as we look yes. throughout the entire Old Testament into the New Testament. Mm-hmm. We see that God was up, up to something bigger, right? Like marriage is Deposit. amazing, but it's not the end yeah. of the story. Tra- and we don't actually know. I'm trying to learn who these who these girls are. All right, so I we can't just believe that who happened. did who who did that? Raven. So Raven, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, you have now had. That's the second landing on. Da bomb. Where's the. Uh... Oh, that's what that thing is for. I'm like, why did you bring that in here? <laughs> uh, really quick, hold on. Before we kill ourselves. Tiny Turtle Tim. Oh, we've got some we've got some people making friends. Brooke, I'm also from Arkansas. Jeez. If you want to go out. Ooh. This is so spicy. I also love y'all content you have made. Oh. All right. All right. You're on a 12-hour shift at work. Well, I hope that we can entertain you for half of your work This worship. is so dumb. This is for you, Tim. We need to have way more than two to make us do this. Holy Spirit. Okay. So this is good. We can do that and then take a shot right after. Because we landed on Holy Spirits from Tim. This is so bad, you guys. We didn't plan. Anyways, thank you for being here. This is going to be a mess of a stream. I was like, if we, like, we tried to time it out. We're like, if we make it that you have to land on it twice... We're not, it's not going to happen. Like, the odds of it happening. I thought it should have been far more than twice. Well, I just didn't think, I mean, what are the odds of landing on it? Already at this point in the stream, you have to hit it twice. We've already done it. There's, like, I don't know. I just didn't expect it. You can go first. (laughs) Well, hold on a second here. Hold this. I'm going to pour, I'm going to pour our shot so that we can follow it immediately with a shot. Is that okay? So this is so spicy that I, my ears, I can feel it. And I haven't had, I just can smelled I sm- it. I'm wafting. Oh, it smells like hay to me. I don't know. It smells hay. I can't believe we're doing this. All right. Um, I know you killed the AC. The bomb is a extreme hot sauce. Like fucking. If you- hot sauce with alcohol. What can go wrong? Search Shaquille O'Neal hot ones. The bomb. And you'll see. This is such you'll a nightmare. see what we're talking about. All right. Well, shall you? Uh... Don't spill it for the love of God that I don't believe in. Don't spill it. So what do I do? Just like lick it? Yeah. Really, I don't. The whole thing. I mean, I didn't think this through because now we're like putting, but it's ours. It's ours. Yeah. And trust me, anything that goes in there will die. Immediately. Yeah. Here <laughs> you go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That's so bad. This is mine. Maybe a bad idea. <laughs> it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All I'm going right. to start crying. I, I, put, I did not put waterproof mascara on. Oh my god, do you see my eyes watering? <sighs> milk? I didn't bring milk out here, guys. I brought vodka. Alright, let's get back into the video. <laughs> However, we just had two merch orders. Woo! I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Woohoo! Alright, uh, Zach, thank you, Zach, for picking up a shot glass. <laughs> and thank you, Cora, for picking up tank tops and other stuff. Thank you so much. Wow, that's hot. These are stale. That's not my fault. These are stale. All right, here we go. Babe, can you turn the air back on? Yeah. I'm dying. They're complaining about the audio, but... but well, I'm dying right now, so... I'm no, gonna about to see Jesus. Until we get into the New Testament, and then we see God zoom out and show us this picture that this amazing Ugh. marriage relationship <laughs> is actually designed... To not be the main thing, but to be an earthly picture of so, what God's so permanent done. love looks like for his children. For those Rachel. who have accepted Christ uh-huh. as their Savior, I'm cleaning, God says, I'm watching on my TV anyway to get the Christ. Love. So he created marriage 
And then he actually sanctified it and it created what. Do you guys need Girl Defined to be a little Which louder? Like you guys saying I can't that do it. Too often. Not that. It really wasn't until I got married six months ago that in I started the mix? thinking about it a lot more. Right. Like, oh, snap. I'm entering a covenant. Like, this yeah. is a big deal. No. Right. Yeah. And you so it wasn't something really that I had thought a lot about. Right. And I don't I don't think about it daily either. <laughs> but it's not a word I really Marker. use. But we do yeah. hear it associated with marriage a lot. But we yeah. don't often know, like, what is it? But when God created marriage, he actually made the relationship to Already. be okay. in a covenant. And you think, like, what's a covenant? I didn't know exactly yes. what that meant. But it essentially means a promise that can't be broken. And so what God it was can't be broken. Paint, really a metaphor. My mouth is still on fire. Through the institution of marriage. So we that need to take that off the board, babe. Look and say, that is telling me something about God. And what God mm. was trying to tell us through this picture of marriage was that he is a covenant-keeping God with his Volume is good. children. That All he right, cool. enters a covenant with us. Yes. And he says, I am a God who loves you with an unconditional yeah. love and my promises cannot be broken. I will never leave you. I will never yeah. forsake that you. That fuck me up. I'm a covenant yeah. keeping God. I feel alive. I'm like, on, my whole body feels like it's on fire. I feel alive. Then enter into that covenant with yes. Christ. And he says, it can't be broken. Right. Like, this is a promise. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to yes. forsake you. Which is amazing. Exactly. So that is, like, that was mind-blowing for me when it's I still realized that marriage me. and that relationship that God yeah. instituted from the beginning was a setup for this grand story that he was eventually going to unfold and show us yeah. that marriage was actually about reflecting who he is, his character, <laughs> as a covenant-keeping God. So we're about to and get married. And it teaches us huge truths about God. It's a covenant it's with God. I, I know that. that. Okay. Uh, for me, too, I get stuck on marriage. Right. I get sure. stuck on the picture. Right. The metaphor. And Raven. I forget who it's all about yeah. and the bigger purpose. And I think... Like you probably do, do the same thing because I right. I Make still sure struggle I with that. Like, oh, it's not all about getting that relationship right. or experiencing something within that. It's like it's actually about God. Yeah. Which is crazy. So when we think about the covenant of marriage, we Ugh. think, okay, the this way that God such designed, a long day. It's to, designed it, it's supposed to be permanent and it's supposed to be intimate. Mm -hmm. He created sex to be enjoyed within the context of marriage. And that was not an accident, okay? So this is a very intentional part of God's design for marriage to reflect this greater metaphor because God desired dead, a I you on Insta. with us that is permanent, the covenant that he made for us, but that's also intimate. So intimate in the sense that God knows us and we know him. It's a deep relationship. It's not just a surface level. And when you think about we did spend for Rachel, where you are she landed on the bomb. Life, so we're already like halfway there again. You are having the most intimate experience with that person. God gave that to us just so that we could understand, you know, this is a mind blowing experience, but I love you so much more and so much deeper than anything you can ever actually She's experience crazy. on this earth with another human. And that's my relationship that I desire to have with eh. you. So when you think about your sexuality and you think, wow, I, my sexuality drives me towards something. Ultimately, our sexuality does drive us towards relationship. Think, why do people mm -hmm. get into relationships? Why do they get married? Because they're driven yes. by these <laughs> desires to be with someone. But even if you know uh, she's saying people get married because they want to have you're sex. Like, but I'm not going to get ex experience the metaphor. Corey! What does the metaphor point towards? How are we dealing with lockdown? How does it look? Relationship that he We're watching six with. hours so as of these being, crazy even bitches. If you're single, you can say, okay, I have these desires and I'm driven towards marriage, but what is that ultimately? Not about? Oh, it's about God. And I can strive to know God on a deep and intimate level because I have this covenant promise with him. And then I can experience intimacy with my Savior. Yeah, which that's, is, that's what it's all it's about. It's so amazing because I think we often have this view of God. And I've gone through seasons yeah. of my life where you feel like God is just this distant, big, distant, power hungry, like control everything or like not control. Like yeah. you just, I think often we can have a perspective of God that's very negative. <laughs> and as we unpack they say unpack so much. One of us. You start we just really need to unpack God, this. And that's where for us it really changed. Like, wow. God now this is thank you, Corey. Relational God yeah. who wants to know us and we want to be known. And there's a word, mm -hmm. uh, a Hebrew word, actually. Yes. I feel very fancy <laughs> learning my Hebrew. But it's a word that's Hebrew. used throughout the scripture. And it actually is mind-blowing when you understand yeah. what it means and then the different context that it's actually used in. So Do you believe Kristen yada, knows Hebrew? And and wait, like, wait, what was the word? Let's all say it together. Yada. Y-A-D-A. Yeah, exactly. It's Hebrew. It what essentially the? means to yeah. be deeply Why would it be? or to know deeply, mm -hmm. intimately. Is that so right? So it speaks of a very just, intimate It's just annoying that they said Y-A-D-A. I just want to read from our book 
And it comes from chapter One. seven, which is called Girl, You Were Made for it's, Intimacy. It's Hebrew letters. Single not, are married, we were made oh, for intimacy. Oh, I see. And we really talk about this word yada and where it came from and why it's so yad incredibly powerful when you understand how God uses it. So we say God uses a very specific Hebrew word throughout the Bible to help us understand his intimate oh. love. Who do you think is us? more the dangerous to influence? These two are Paul In and Hebrew, Morgan. The word literally means to know I don't know these guys yet. Intimately. Paul the and Morgan, I, I, it's easier for me to follow along. The word yada is most often They're used comparable to describe to me. intimacy with God, his with us. These, I can't tell the difference between the two of them yet. Relationship that he wants to have with us. God intentionally uses I the think word these two are worse, to help honestly. us see that he desires And you mean that in a in like us. impact that they have on people's negative Yeah, like I, I feel like Girl things. Defined to go deep with us. That is are a little bit more radical. He wants us what to, do you guys he think? He wants to yada us. And for us mm. to yada him back. So, so he, he wants us to, to know, know him, him deeply. Yeah. Him I yada you, babe. Y-A-D-A. I'm Y-A-D-A. Right. And he created us <laughs> for this purpose to know and well, we're deep merge and order. satisfying relationship with him. And here's the craziest Jake thing about Jake and Bianca. This is mind-blowing. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you for the merge so orders. You use code girl defined. You get a discount. A relationship with us. But that same My mouth is still burning. In the Hebrew, yada is also used throughout scripture when the Bible's talking about the intimate act of sexual intimacy yeah. that a husband it like made me is having with a wife. Burn so up a little yeah, bit. Same word, word yada, he knew his wife, he yada his wife, he knew her intimately. He yada his, his wife, intimately. that's right. That's Come on, the yada, you later, baby. Chose to use to describe nice. that act and then we'll be done, I'll be like, yada. That he desires yeah. to have with us relationally. <laughs> I think the beauty of what you're saying is that it's so Do I plan on doing ayahuasca really again? Um, you understand God's desire. I don't know, maybe. I would, I would one day. Oh, we just got another merch over. Karat, thank you, Karat, for the merch for the merch order. Y'all are so amazing. Oh, and Rachel, Rachel, thank you for the merch order. That's Y'all awesome. are so sweet. That intimacy, that relationship. Where are we with the that, spins? Like, We're caught up. Our, you know, yeah. We are currently caught up. The so last one we so did see, kind of like was a for bit of a Corey. I'm gonna and he gave Nala some treats. In Genesis 4, 1, we see... Um, I googled it and they're talking BS. Adam knew <laughs> yeah, when you fact check people sometimes, it's like, nah. She conceived and bore Cain. It goes on. <laughs> so basically saying yep. that he it's knew just her. new in and Hebrew. That's it. Nothing too impressive in it. They had sex together, but it wasn't just like okay, they exchanged right. a physical act. They knew each other mm-hmm. deeply and intimately, super deeply, which is incredible. Now, as a married woman, I'm like, wow, yeah. that's really amazing. It just it's, even takes our perspective of sex and like blows it up to be something yeah. so much more meaningful and intentional in God's design. So much more intentional. I'm I sorry. Like that word. And then talking about having sex Psalm is gross to me. 139. I'm going to read you verses 1, 13, and 14. But this chapter, the like little heading of it is called Search Me, O God, and Know My Heart. So if you really want to get a greater picture of this yada, go and read all of Psalm 139. But it says, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. O Lord, you have searched me and you yada me. You oh my God, they're so me. fucking you annoying. And then the psalmist responds and says, for you, God, formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I'm sorry, no. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your Christ, how long is this video? knows it very well. He's saying, my soul, I don't even know. It. Not only do you yada me and know me. You're going to yada go to find so well by the end I of this. I am really excited to yada. No, my soul knows it very well. Are you really, though? And so yeah. I think as you <laughs> That's probably where they, are they, thinking about they got Yoda from. And you're thinking about, how does this all work together? <laughs> I'm serious. Why well, am hey, who knows? I very likely. Uh, David says, you know, these two are closeted freaks in the bedroom. It's ultimately not even about marriage or that experience you're holding. I've heard rumors about her one of their husbands, but really not we haven't got Bethany, the girl on the left. Understand that? Yeah. We realize, oh, are we only watching their I videos, or are we watching it's videos really of people like analyzing the said, it's all that? Just them. Oh. We could switch it up you. to watch it. Analyze. The more you grasp there is a really good one I want. I've been meaning to watch, but I haven't yet. One day or not, the greater, like the the easier and more free your sexuality will become, because it won't be this ruler over you saying this is this is my everything. If I don't have Duh. certain experiences that I'm nothing. Duh. You say, wow, <laughs> it's just a metaphor. It's not even oh my God. about that. It's about God. And it God. can't ultimately satisfy yes. us. That's the bottom line. They're like, so whiny. They are. To totally. be our everything, our identity, our fulfillment, our satisfaction, yeah. then we are going to be sorely disappointed yeah. in the end. Yeah, uh, the girl on the left right now, Bethany, is pregnant right now. She's yeah. like and about to pop too, I think, right? She's very pregnant. It should drive us into an intimate relationship with him, and that's where satisfaction is It's like we as a... 
like yeah guys a take a shot if you're old enough every time they say yada it's all about the picture it's like we're going Drinking crazy the yada. Picture, like, when god offers us the real thing right. so it's like let's stop obsessing it's a about metaphor the picture, realize the picture is only intended to point us towards the real what time thing. okay we we're gonna okay we only have five hours and 15 design, minutes left our sexual design yeah. was created by god on purpose we so can't pause these videos ever. To drive I know. To a relationship with From the gay family. husband? So yeah. If you know God as your personal savior, if you don't, we just want you to know we'll, that we'll God get into that. desires to have that relationship with you. He wants to yada you. He wants to God, know shocked. you. He wants to be in a relationship with you. And so if that's something you're like, you know, I don't know much about that. I want to be in a relationship with this amazing God that I'm hearing about. Then comment below. We would love to hear from you. Yeah. You can also, if you have a Bible or just search online, just I have a Bible. John, yeah. turn there. It explains God's amazing love. Allie! That's who Jesus was. It really unpacks that for you. So, in No one said anything. Like, well, then you're lucky no one said stuff like this. Awesome yes. thing that God gave you. It's not the main deal. Yeah. It's not the end of the story. God is an incredible God. Oh, yes, I am. They are sexual design. Thrilled. Le Mort. Back to a true Allison! With the Savior, with the God who created us and loves us deeply. They always sound like they want to sleep with God and Jesus. So far forward. Yeah, you too. All right, we got through another one, you guys. It was just long. We got through another one. Raven says their husbands are gay after marriage. I was like, uh. Why did I have Thank you so much to everybody during that that picked up merch and to everybody during that that donated. Especially those that decided to spin the wheel. Yada me, daddy. Okay, I'm dad. Okay. Hey friends, it is Kristen here with Girl Defined Ministries, Five and to look recently for. I have been having a lot of conversations with a friend of mine who is in a dating relationship. She's a Christian woman, she's dating a Christian guy, and she and I have been talking a lot as she's going through this Should relationship process of what do I look funny. for? You know, how do I know if he's the one? How do I get to know this guy? Megan. How do I get to know his heart? How do I know if I should keep dating him or if I should break it off? What sort of things should I be looking for? How do I know if I should keep moving forward or if the relationship's even going well? And I know when I was dating Zach, it's hard. There are a lot of questions, a lot of conversations that happen. So in light of the conversation I've been having with her, I know a lot of you have similar questions as you're in dating relationships as a Christian woman, dating a Christian guy, like what sort of things do we I need to be looking for well. in this relationship? Okay. So that is what we're going to talk about today. But before we get into that, all right. I just want to say, as always, a huge thank you to all of our patrons. Oh, yeah. If you want to support Ooh. me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Jacqueline, J-A-C-L-Y-N. David, you know, thank, thank you, Kristen. I almost said Bethany. Thank you, Kristen, for reminding me about Patreon. And then uh, we have one together, Jacqueline and David. So patreon.com slash Jacqueline and David. And then David has one. Oh, what about your song? I have a brand new, fresh off the presses song that I just wrote like last week. You wrote a song about me. It is about her. It's about me being messed up. It's not 100% about <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> but but it's, it's beautiful. It really is. It is it. a ballad. It is epic. And it will come out soon. But I am sharing it with my patrons. The full lyrics are coming out tomorrow to everybody who is a patron, as They're well as really good. the demo to the the, oh, the intro to right when I was writing it. Um, so yeah. Where is that? Patreon.com slash future sunsets. Future sunsets. All right. We've come a long way. <laughs> when the two of us think about the way society portrays sex, we feel pretty disheartened. Sex is literally everywhere. It's used to sell everything. Think about it. Sex is used to sell everything from alcohol to makeup to music to movies to prom prom dresses to prom dresses to, uh, to big and tough trucks. Okay. Oh. Mm, get me a truck. Anyways, sex has infiltrated every aspect of society. That was a missed opportunity to say penetrated. Uh, in fact, one of our younger sisters recently got a sample. Wait, they have, there are other, there are others? One of our younger sisters. Now, are they saying like sisters in Christ, like sisterhood, or do they, ha is there another one of them? I have no clue. Are there more of them? <laughs> one of our younger sisters recently got a sample mascara tube with bold letters that said, better than sex. If mascara is better than sex, we might as well forget about sex altogether and just go slap on a few more coats of mascara. <laughs> I mean, if mascara is better than sex, you might want to rethink 
who you're sleeping with. Thank, That's thank clearly you. not the answer, though. Thank you, Kristen and Bethany. And also thank you, Undead, for for that so beautiful. You, yeah. Uh, we have, and then you have this one. If you're right trying here. to abstain from sex, guys, and you just you, you don't want that temptation, just put mascara on. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's in a godly way, right? All right, who? You have another. You have another. Uh, oh. From Blake Belladonna. Ooh. They say, good luck, Jacqueline and David. Greetings from the Netherlands. Oh, hello. Thank you, Blake Belladonna. <sighs> Holy spirits. Holy spirits. This is going to be, like, we're only, we're not even an hour in. It's going to be a long Sunday, so grab your closest spirit and uh, join us. Do you have anything going on tomorrow? Because we're just going to be hungover all day. Uh, Can we just write tomorrow uh, my, off? My lyrics are coming out for my patrons, so i got to like so write a little context you, you about it. You post that, and then we'll just sleep all day and drink Pedialyte. Deal. Deal. Okay, where's your shot glass? Okay. At least this is delicious. We're going to have to buy another one of these for Joey. Sorry, here, I'm gonna pour some of that into mine. Thanks. I'm trying to do like three quarter shots instead of full shots just so that we like. Don't die. Survive the stream. You know, if if the shots don't kill us, the content will. Thank Wait, you, Blake this, Belladonna. This has gotta be mine, it's got lipstick on it. Thank right. you, Blake Belladonna, for Thank supporting. You, and hello from the Netherlands. And <laughs> as soon as we can tour again, we absolutely will. I just tasted that hot sauce in my throat again. Mm. Wow, fifty. That's quite the screenshot to look for when dating a Christian guy. What do you think? Five things to look for when dating a Christian. Oh yes, guy let's are? let's theorize. He has to really have a good relationship with Jesus. Your turn. It's so unfair. I don't know what's inappropriate. I don't know anymore. It's my channel. You can say anything. I, I, I mean I. No, I, I. What are you gonna say? Like a giant dick? Or yeah, it's gonna go somewhere. Voluptuous, I think, was what I mean. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Blake Belladonna. Synchronized for... bong rips. <laughs> yes. Got my for pink supporting. whiskey ready. Let's do it. All right. Let's All right. Get... Let's find these five things. Insurance over at Patreon.com. Uh, Jacqueline. Uh, and Jacqueline and David. Jacqueline and David. Going with this channel, this Christian YouTube channel for women. Thank you so much for your support. And as a thanks, small token guys. of our thanks, we started doing something new. So this might interest you. If you like free products every single month for our patrons only, Girl Defy Ministries is creating a new Porn. monthly product that will be distributed to they every patron every things. single month. So this month, the current one that just went out, we've talked about this before, the Christian Girls Breakup Survival Guide. So just a helpful resource, hey, all a new downloadable, instant Woo! access. Um, this Thank just you, helps walk you Alisa. through or a friend um, that family. moment right after a breakup when it's so hard and you just feel so shattered, so I broken. What do you do? Love your How song. do you find comfort in the Carrie word? Just How do you move on in a healthy way? This merch. guide thank you, will help Carrie, you do that. So our patrons merch. all just thank got you, that. Carrie. You'll get access to that as well. And then the new I'm one that's coming out um, next hot sauce is has we created like... a 31 Days in Proverbs devotional. Hey, you guys Siri, know that we are so passionate about encouraging you, helping you, equipping right, you. I can't. It's 75 degrees. This isn't everything. These are just some of Are you skipping the ad? I want you to think about as... Uh, is 75 degrees genuine? isn't bad, but it's going to get a lot hotter. In his life. It's only 11 is he desiring things? Do I see this? Not perfectly, but we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for direction. Because like I said, we're all on a journey. That's I don't know what, what I'm doing with my hair Number right now. one, is he a genuine How to use the Christian? discount code. I think, especially here in America, it's easy to just genuine. say, yeah, I'm a Christian. What? No, no I discount code on, on our I website, I go to church babe. occasionally. What? How yeah, do you I'm use the discount code on our website? But is he when a you're genuine out. Christian? Because we see in scripture, uh, check out, just put girl to find. 614 specifically right? talks about, mm -hmm. do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And I just wrote Yolks an entire on blog you. post on this this past week, actually. Anytime you make I'll eggs, link it below about Christians dating non-Christians. What does the Bible say about that? Um, on you. How do we navigate that? How do we honor God in our choices, in whom we date, in how we date? Working? So check out that for a more in-depth um, discussion on that topic. But I think that's such an important and foundational Hot question to ask. Is, is he a genuine Christian? Do I see biblical fruit in his life of a guy who says he's a Christian and then the choices he makes, the way he lives, biblical the convictions fruit. he has, the passion he has I for did God? My do hair I see that in his life? For is this stream. Evident? It lasted um, down not even an hour. Man, 
as a Christian woman, you want a dance <laughs> I knew that would happen. leads to that question of, should I spend the rest of my life with this person? Is he the one I want to commit my whole where life do you, to? Where do they put the In marriage, code? in that covenant, you yeah, want to make I, I, sure that check you out. are where? like-minded, that you are equally yoked, as scripture says, to believers, getting married um, to reflect that beautiful picture of Christ in the church, and then together you'll be a stronger team moving in the and same direction out. as you now build God's kingdom, kind of kingdom, kingdom that's together. Exactly. That's the idea, right? And so you want to make sure that his faith is genuine. Number two, do uh, his actions match Well, his happy words. birthday from us. It is so easy for any single one of us to say the right things. Cheers to you. Happy birthday. To say we love God, we're passionate about the Bible, we're passionate about scripture, we believe in church, we believe in discipleship. I'm not trying um, to be brave, we Alpha Omega. We're being hard workers. I'm trying you know, to be it is, it's easy to entertained. say a lot of things, like to say, oh, I'm a disciplined person. Yeah, it is person, really freaking hot in but California. But when push comes to shove, what do our actions actually show? For any one of us, right? Are we... Who we say we are are we living according to the things that we say we really care about the things we say we value girl to find to be scared if they met um, me too a man of character right a man who is genuine in the things that he says a man who did you ever hang out with us on his words so that's i would love for them to come to hang out for. number three kind of piggybacking on number single. two kristen and bethany if you're ever in la life. so again it's something let's that you party want to see lived out you want to marry a man who's a genuine oh, we're Christian, we have who's a godly Christian, we have 666 who has likes. Char characteristics, because the man that you're dating that you could eventually marry, he's going to be the man who what? is your partner for life, yes. right? Oh, I mean, I as the, the Bible screenshot. calls the man. God, Jamie. 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 Father, Thank you for picking up. Oh, she's going to shut your family spiritually. You want a man whose faith is evident in his life, because that consistency that you see now. Thanks for the likes, guys. Everybody like it up. Over, right? It helps. A it helps the stream do so much or more better. Yeah, thanks, guys, for, for hitting out. like. How does he express his faith? How does he live that out in the way that he loves Israel? Do you think Israel? he might come to Israel on your next tour? Committed to church that would be that awesome. You might do the wedding thing, though. Disciples yeah, there's a... Uh, discipleship. There's like a cheaper honeymoon through birthright that we could do. Are these things that he says? I want to go. I've never faith been. Wise. As a Christian man, are you seeing evidence of his faith? How long have we been at this? I'm um, in his 55 life, minutes. Sin, believing in accountability, um, committed to pursuing the word, opening up the word for himself, not just hearing things, learning, learning, but I feel like everything the they say just sort of pass, like, like goes past my say. brain. I want to be a man of the word, and this is true for us too, y'all. Girls, we are not off the hook with any of these things. We should be asking ourselves these questions too, but is he I like, a man whose faith is evident in this It's life? so weird Number for me four, because like I look at her and I'm like, I bet she's a nice girl. Say about him. You know, like she's this is a been really good question and something that because I've been so brainwashed. You know, into. I know what that feels because like. Because I feel kind of bad for her. As we like, relationships, sometimes we can become a little bubble. She like, might be like a little bubble cool if she were, and we only see what they show us, what we know about them. Um, from what we can see on the surface as we're getting to know them, maybe it's some context of their community, maybe we've grown up with them, so you have Sorry, no I don't want to, I'm not trying to be depressing, but I just think about of that. Of course, in any relationship, we're naturally going to put our best foot forward. You we know, all do it, right? We want to put our best foot so forward. They're so pretty. Show our best side. Come on, girls. But the people who Let's know each one of us in our lives <laughs> personally, who grew up with she us, She is who what she has been taught. And have maybe yeah, but I mean, I was taught the really same thing. Times, really great times. What do those it is people possible. say? To about this like guy. figure stuff so out, but it's so hard. That are in his inner circle. Um, and I just, used to be her you know, too, over Lexi. Over time, this isn't like instantly, but over time, getting just to makes know some me of them, just asking questions about about his character, I about their I relationship, hope, I genuinely what hope they're happy in life. Like, um, what you know? How would they describe him? How would they describe his character over the years as they've watched him? I think those things are invaluable. Those are invaluable people, invaluable resources to tap into to get feel to like you're a getting little an idea bit better about who this guy really is, right? Are they competitive? And what the people who know him best actually say about him. I don't think so. And last one, so. number five, like I said, not an extensive list, just a few important things to be looking this is for. Kristen? Is he a one-woman man? I do see a one-woman man. As you're dating him, do you feel confident that he is fully and wholly committed to you as the one woman in his life that I he feel is like getting to know, 100%. committing to a serious relationship with? Do you feel like he is wholly committed to you or do you see him flirting with other women I was gonna say I other do women, see that he's holy I'm like well I don't know about holy but holy committed yes WH is he engaged in online pornography <laughs> the way that he views women even are online are you engaged does it, is his life consistent in online saying, pornography yes, the one woman in my life that, that I I love I want to get to know <laughs> I'm committing to this relationship and I'm not messing around I'm not disrespecting other women. I oh yes, the discount code is girl defined you. with no space, no. guys. Right? No space. Correct. So no space. Because that man, is that, it lowercase that or upper character, it, it, whether oh, or can not you he's change a that one then? woman man, that's going to carry over later sure. on. It's not going to go away. Um, yes. Sorry, we're going to change, change the screen. That is so important to look for because 
Trust me, Zach and I have been married coming up on nine years. From Slovenia, my friend Barbara lives there. Hi. Not just verbally said that I am the one woman in his life that he is committed to, loving, cherishing. He's lived that out for the past nine years, and even does David have an OnlyFans? When we started dating. Uh, I've been thinking about making an account with him just for fun. She's like, been so uh, collecting cans lately <laughs> for uh, a TikTok. No, I threw them away. Oh, I was going to make an only can. For the trust of our relationship, the unity of our relationship, it's huge. I get so these jokes all the time. I'm so lucky. As you're looking at him, is he a one? We should make an OnlyFans together, though. You want to make? I'd love to. We should make it like really stupid too. Like over the top. Like this has been helpful for you if Make you have sort questions of please comment below i would love i think to hear from you. i would love to continue uh, dialoguing about this like i said this list is not extensive that is cans. one of the reasons why Bethany only cans and, I and it's only tips find embracing god's vision for lasting love and satisfying relationships because relationships <laughs> Wait, romance dating yeah. that process okay, yeah. from learning is he the one how do i know if i want to marry him what what is the godly what are you waiting for like? what kind of things should i be aiming for shooting for right now what kind of questions should i be asking oh, and in oh they're asking about we the dig only into cans. all of that yeah. so this would i need be more cans much more extended version i, I, of what we've I talked need about more so cans to just be entirely can cans. we can make an only fans book, account um, and just place pictures of our feet we wrote that to be a helpful resource for you to really help i'm just completely drowning her out to know how to pursue relationships and a God honoring. How is the audio, so guys? Have a Christ centered How is it with us compared to them? That's no, passionate. Okay. Someone, that's someone said that they were drowning us out, though. I want to make sure we're good. That displays the beauty. Bruh, if she's the still talking, right? For you, and that's <laughs> right? about these topics because romantic relationships impact so Spend time. much of our lives, and so it's so important that we take these things seriously and have these conversations. So do we, thanks so much for joining me in this video, for having this conversation. I do we miss a spin or do we miss a, um, uh, something? Just check Streamlabs. Then you would see oh, okay. the, uh, everything. Hey, it's Bethany with Bethany ah, Industries and I am here with my good friend, Jonathan oh, Gerald. Elizabeth, and today we are going Gerald. to be talking about practical we love tips you. for embracing this purity you, Gerald. and romantic relationships. So I am so excited to be here with John and Elizabeth, my good friends. Can we pause for a second? And Gerald. All right. Gerald, it's time for a joke. Um, oh, some of these are, are racist. You know, I'm not going to. We're, we're skipping any of those. This one's funny, though. Do you want to read it? I, I read some of these in advance just to make sure they were actually good. Maria, a devout Catholic, got married and had 15 children. After her first husband died, she remarried and had 15 more children. A few weeks after her second husband died, Maria also passed, her, passed away. At Maria's funeral, the priest looked skyward and said, At last, they're finally together. Her sister, sitting in the front row, said, Excuse me, father, but do you mean she and her first husband or she and her second husband? The priest replied, I mean her legs. Her legs are finally together because she had 30 kids. <laughs> That's a good one. That is good. That was funny. That is good. Gerald. Am I the only one that thinks this shit's funny? I thought Th that was hilarious. Thank you very much for for the Streamlabs. Uh, Streamlabs is more solid than Super Chat. Super Chat takes a huge thing out. Uh, so thank you very much. And I, haven't, I have my next joke queued up for the next person that gets a joke. Oh, you got a good joke. Oh, MG, that's great. Thank you, Vamp Faye. I love you, Vamp Faye. Thank you so much to everybody supporting and everybody picking up merch and all of that. Uh, shall we proceed? I guess. Uh, I guess. Em practical tips for embracing purity in a romantic relationship. Wait. What do you think are practical? We wouldn't know. I think you, you try to limit yourself... In your base. That hot sauce burned my lipstick off. There you go. You are not going to believe it. They are actually speaking at the Radical Purity Conference Whoa. this summer. Radical Purity Conference. I want to go to the Radical Purity Conference. Me too. So, John and Elizabeth, can you introduce Could you imagine if we showed up to one of their your story, how conferences? You I can't. What attracted People would, you like, to each other? Kill Just us. introduce yourself to the girls. All right. Raven. Well, I like bringing props. Here's a joke. To show <laughs> you find. Our family. So, if you can't tell, that's me. And that's my yeah. wife, Elizabeth. And so we're what also is this? A little this one is on her friends we're find out that are married or something. Yeah. We're a girl or something. I think. So we're super yeah. excited about that. Before we yeah. got to meet each other, I had been pursuing a few other is relationships. Is this as bad as the Onision one so far? Honestly, I think this is worse. I think the Onision one was Another easier to follow here we go along with <laughs> because the guy's yeah. insane. Because there was nothing to follow along, along to. It was just ramblings. Oh, really insane cool ramblings from a just the love that she had for the church. Interesting person. Yeah. Just a lot of things that really 
lined up together with where we Swiss ex-Muslim girl here. Girl, girl defined as very just, Islamic in a way, uh, except their hair and tops are so immodest. Oh, they're the immodest ones. Really That's amazing. Aw. Thank you. I loved it. Thank you, Tom. You guys are amazing. Do you, Elizabeth, do you remember a specific moment where you remember thinking like, hey, this is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, he, well, so my sister was the first person who was like, what do you think about John? John Crazy. Ooh. These girls make Onion Boy look like a saint. So many guys we knew was like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. But John was too much. That was probably the first time I started What's thinking going on here? I haven't been paying attention. We talked a lot up to that point. Um, yeah. Stephanie! Thank you for ordering merch! kind of grew over time as we got to meet each yeah. other more. We're going to have to you know, send merch out tomorrow. Quickly. Yes. We can, yeah, we, we yeah, if you get merch today, you will be receiving uh, it very yeah. soon. There's like cat hair There's on my face. It's great where we can interact with each other. Okay. And through that time, we've the dislikes fact, yeah, are Bethany. I would like to move forward with this, <laughs> yes, and then Elizabeth yes. is on board. This is just last yeah. June. Wow. And then yes, yes. we talked through a lot of things, and then it was just in September when we got engaged. Yep. Wow. And yes. then yeah. got married yeah. in December. So it was like kind of bang, bang. And uh, we were quick. All the way to yes. Here we are now. Lots of what communication. Well, we were supposed to get married in August. Nice. Yeah. True. So can you tell us a little bit but about we had to delay like how y'all got because engaged, coronavirus. what happened? Give us some So details. now we're October. <laughs> Absolutely. That's so not much further. It's okay. We're good. October's a good month for us. I was working at my yeah. fourth. It was, it was meant time. to be. Amazing. Yeah. There you go. There's this place that's just north here of San Antonio. And the oh. It's just beautiful setting. Talia. And I got the idea. Oh, Thank you for ordering. Oh, my God. Julia. Damn, y'all are like. On the album, Crushing the yeah, merch Julia, game. Thanks, thanks for picking up shot glass and other stuff. Yeah, you guys are gonna get so the these shot glasses are so sweet though. Said, hey, when are we gonna do another unfiltered lot? I think we set it up as a live show. Recording process okay. and then yeah. we will be switching and bringing yeah. unfiltered yeah. love back. Yeah. We yeah. are no longer yeah. working with the company with we were working with that was doing our production, so now we are going to do it ourselves. We will be doing it live, which would be cool. Yes. Really, um, a zombie wedding. I had, I had a lot of peace throughout our no, relationship. No, I'm gonna Just be all the a really, really beautiful dress. Amazing, he and was. I was so thankful the bridesmaids are wearing pink. Especially in the relationship, I'm excited. Everything that had happened. Um, I didn't so even notice that they were talking. I had said yeah, yeah, this one's not very good. I don't know who these other people are. My mom was like, they're well, telling their engagement story. That's fine, but I'm waiting for the practical dating trip. I feel like bad for Bethany because I think this was. But when she was and still single. Like, no, so you asked me earlier if there was ever like any competition between the girls. I think so I hurried. They're probably very close, but I think that there is a little bit of awkwardness between them for different reasons. So why are they both not in this video? They do they do things separately sometimes. But like that one, Bethany was single for a really long time. And Kristen was married. So I think that there was jealousy because she was still single for a long time. But now, I feel really bad actually. But Bethany is pregnant. And Kristen has had a lot of difficulty getting pregnant. And I was like, how about you keep playing? Which I honestly feel really bad for her. I hope that that turns around. So but we went, took a walk, and maybe there is some kind of thing between them, but I hope not. Wow, she was so shocked. I, was like, I like genuinely yeah, don't hate know, like, them. Oh, Brittany and Rose. Like yes. that before. Well, freaked out may not be. I <laughs> own every piece so of evil good. wine, Kitty. Yes. <laughs> so sweatpants. Ooh. Yeah, really, really do they the have like anything like printed like sweatpants size like that we have already? We could do sweatpants. We could do like shorts or something. Booty shorts. Can you even imagine? One more booty pic shorts. Song for her called Elizabeth seems. Sarah. On the piano. Thank you, Sarah. Get engaged. Oh, it's yeah. like a dream story. Allison, I'm excited so too. All right, so you have a real spin. In today's culture and day and age, yeah. oh yeah. Really hard, especially when you're I just read the someone. comment. And I didn't think and about when it. And you're engaged and getting yeah. married, you're like, ah, I just want to do it with you. Not so to bomb. Not girl, to bomb. Like, Nala tree. Really yes. Striving to maintain purity. Nala. Elizabeth, yes. as a girl, do you, you want? Share with the girls watching, how you maintain purity. Thank you, Megan, for picking up merch. Well, I was really blessed that we were both on the same page. First of all, with purity. You that treat? was huge. That really you want to give her one? The relationship yes. and also my resolve with a lot of things. Okay. Something practical. I tried every day really to just continue to seek the Lord in prayer mm -hmm. and seek the Lord. And oh. also, Brittany, um, you're amazing. That Thank you for, myself, for getting all the wine kitty stuff. We should little come out with some kind of like shorts or sweatpants. 
and not just trying to push those aside because Paul and Morgan, that, Paul and Morgan show. Pray about them, maybe talk about them. Oh, look at the shoes asleep. Yes. Someone that was a Good girl. Yes, I love you. Thank you for the knowledge treats. She is so thankful. Slowing down is really important. To make sure that's. All right, and John, as a guy, can you give us some yes, advice? I How did you help lead and maintain purity during the relationship process? Mm -hmm. uh, There's really two things that come to mind. How my do they maintain First purity? Accountability. So making sure as oh, I talk good. with my brothers and another good friend and her dad, especially her dad, just to make sure that mm -hmm. things were going well. It's like, hey, anything you see just with Elizabeth, like wow. is this progressing or is it not, not progressing or things that you see? And, this was my brother accountability Mark partners. And, um, What's the point of the accountability? To, see us to not have sex or something? Say, oh yeah, this right. is working well, uh, this is not working really well. The outside accountability is really helpful. Um, oh, okay, so like really well having other people so you need to answer to? Um, after we would meet in a party. Kind of like how we are with each other with work. I say, hey, like, what do you like, think? Like, I make you hold me accountable for getting shit done and vice versa. Yeah. But it's just with so not having sex. that was one thing that was good. And the, actually, that party setting that I was just talking about leads to the second thing, which is being... You want to hug the doggy? I will hug the doggy for you. Opportunities where things can go bad and wrong. She's the sweetest. So we not, try not to be in a... Every morning, she gets up so excited to see me. So, like, we would go to, like, restaurants. You know, we decided... What are sizes like for the hoodies? People, you know, around... Yeah. Kind of standard, um, you know, yeah, pretty standard. We have there. small through... Um, but if there was ever a place... Double extra large really or triple extra large? Or where there's I think the triple. Is around. I can check. On the new check. color, yeah. Um, and, but on the red ones, yeah. But not to be in, like, a room or uh, just yeah. other... Yeah, and it's not easy. Like, it... Places like, yeah. that... Vamp Faye and Amber High. Not well, and that, that is something Major to work Karens, out, you know, yes. specifically with each other. And I, I generally always try to, I've learned through it to err more on the cautious side mm, than yes. the, okay, it'll be okay, you yes. know, just doing a little wine bit Wine kitty, more. metal make wine glasses. pretty strict mm. in the beginning. Yeah. That's yeah. a really like, good example, idea. For example, I didn't really want us driving a car necessarily together. Undead! You know, don't, they don't want to drive in a car together? Do, we reevaluate things or do other stuff. You're and just make sure right? we're on the same page. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, right. Her dad was with other people. You know, yeah. just everything was... Having those guidelines, well is even it a though some fear? of it seems like too Necklace. much or a little over much, it really brings a lot of freedom. It yes. brought a lot of freedom. For me, especially like following him, yeah. it was great. Yeah. That's so good. And it's so good so to they would have drive solid boundaries in place. So setting boundaries yes, and then having sure. accountability what is she afraid to, sure. him to keep those boundaries in place because your goal is to honor God Sorry. through the yes. relationship yes. process. Undead. And I, I understand. Married, <laughs> have pregnant. I think it was worth it. Okay, so as young married couple on the other side now y'all aren't single anymore can you recommend to our single audience well, watching girls again. can you recommend no, some qualities that they can be on the look for this. like in a godly future husband potentially we're only one away Absolutely. from more well bomb to bomb so like, i'm like really scared every time myself. i spin <laughs> 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 kind of like answered a question about yourself <laughs> but it's, it's really good like men in general the one thing that's really stuck out to me is teachableness uh -oh. and acting mm. upon what is taught Good and that's something that I have really learned just throughout my life so much to set myself in places <laughs> where I have people that would teach me well and I act upon what is taught and that leads yeah. into other areas undead I don't blame you if you if you need to leave but we're gonna be here for six hours so sacrificial five more you know, hours feel free to come back <laughs> at any point you know, yeah we'll be here church. we'll be here you know, be sacrificial Car sex is wife. not okay, guys. You know, to the other people around. What you kind of dog lovey. is Nala? And so it's like, okay, I can maybe not be so focused on myself. She was her. supposedly a German Shepherd so mix. I, I, I did a genetic test that had a bunch of different like things that I don't really believe. But there is a type of dog called the Black Mouth Cur. Yeah. But that type of dog's not registered in the American Kennel Club. But it's exactly her. So, but yeah, it looks exactly like her. Um, you know, but she's really sort of like a shepherd oh. meets Rhodesian Ridgeback huh. meets. Mm -hmm. um, always, yeah, I'm not really sure. You know, and she's just, so are they loving. Teachable? And you mm. know, to cultivate a teachable sense of uh, spirit yeah. and then act upon what is taught, you know, having those mentors and people in place, super, super valuable. And mm -hmm. it's still something that is. Uh, yeah, you got it from a shelter, right? My yep. and when what I was see it called? Guys that are solid, mm. they really exemplify that. Oh, no, you don't remember? That's good. And that, I feel like Edward, that takes thank a lot you. Of humility. How to be yes. pure, be gay. It's not 
Um, I don't know if they would consider that I don't remember the shelter name. The girl's name was Dawn. As the girl, what can you recommend to the girls? We get emails from them. What were some things you were looking for in a future husband? Well, I, I don't want to join Kevin. I'll laugh. That was not <laughs> <laughs> yes. Muscles. Uh, that's a nice bonus, right? right? Yeah. For sure. Yes. She looks ready. Well, yeah. So I would say, I guess things that I wanted or prayed for got shorter as I got mm -hmm. older, but at the same time, it wasn't. Is easier this video or over yet? Abundant of yeah. young men who exemplified those things. They were pretty serious, um, but also simple. So something I had prayed for was. Oh my God! A you're so cute. No, no. He had been forgiven much who really loved mm. Christ and realized... Oh, Natasha silly, just right? picked up merch. Thank you so much, saying, Natasha. Uh, but a different, a different she got a, a wine kitty tank. Um, oh, Natasha. He he's been Thank you. Much, so he forgives others. Her laugh he scares me, Christ. too. It's Fur kind of baby rescue. Like that. Um, everything else comes after that. Yes. Everything else flows. I want a German Shepherd puppy. Uh, that's, that's just Nala so needs a little brother see, named Simba. A young man who loves to True. read God's word. Who loves Luna! God's word. Oh, I'll give her hugs. I give her so many leaders. hugs. Um, and has that humility where he just realizes that he's received so much, you do grace, crack. So much mm. grace that you did. No, I do not. I never have in my life. But thank you for the comment. Neither have I. Was, um, <laughs> something I prayed for. I'm so thankful that Oh, those things. Those are good. And it's good because we have a living example. Godly guys do exist. So the single <laughs> girls that are out there feeling like there aren't any left. Well, John it's was single true. once. He, she caught him. She, they got are together. You godly? So be no. encouraged because they still exist. Well, John and Elizabeth, thank you yes. so much for being here today thank and thank sharing you. with the Girl yes. Fine Girls. Y'all, we are so excited because they are going <laughs> to be at the Radical Purity Conference this yeah. July 14th through 15th, and they're going to be sharing more of their story and just giving you go. awesome tips on how to interact with the I, guys like, I would go. God honoring way. It's going to be so We should do awesome. a, like a fundraiser to on July 14th and 15th send Jacqueline and David to the Purity Conference or whatever Thank it's called. Thank you so much for watching Blue. this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from us, you can subscribe. <laughs> We're going to have a lot going on after listening to them talk. I don't blame Wednesday. you. Right, done. <laughs> Bloopers! <laughs> Holy spirits! Holy spirits, David. Yeah. Thank you so much for know, spinning, the 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 spinning the wheel. Thank you for spinning the wheel. Fun details with you about their story, so I have no idea what I'm saying. Wheel <laughs> of <laughs> drinking! <laughs> We're breaking the cameras. <laughs> oh, they're still doing it. Yeah. What? <laughs> they're, they're still doing when? Cameras right now. Right. Uh, oh, it's so July, August. good. Well, we're... No, there's no way. Yeah. In Texas. Hey, it's just Kristen here at They're Girl not Fine quarantined? Today. And in, no. in July, I'm going to be personally sharing with you six things every Christian girl needs to know before getting married. Oh, I've been great. We're about to get married. We need to pay attention years, to this. Which is crazy. Like, time has flown. Blue, and this is for you. For six years, which Anybody who is of legal drinking people, age that I have likes to drink, so that wants to take a shot, cheers. Since those early days of marriage. I can even remember back before I got married... The hilarious thing is, is that I thought I knew so much back then. Like, I remember the wedding day approaching, thinking, like, man, this wife thing, like, I've got it down. I've read all the books, all the Christian resources. I haven't like, read I'm any gonna nail wife it. books. And then I've I not read any wife books. I discovered that it was a lot harder to actually live out a you lot of the things I've been reading yeah. in Everyone real life. And so me, in babe. this vlog, I just want to share you, get now that I'm looking back attacked. on my marriage, the past six years, Why don't there are some things nice. that I definitely wish that I had worked on I would on be more nice. I just don't think they would be nice. Before getting married, that would have totally helped me in my marriage, especially in that first year. So in this vlog, I want to share those six things with you. So number one, your husband or future husband isn't the answer to your happiness. Now, I know that may seem kind of basic, but I remember back as a single girl, seem I really actually bought into that idea that Zach was going to be the one that would ultimately fulfill me and make me so happy, even though now, you can never rely on somebody knew, else like, okay, to God make you happy, but you can be happier with unknowingly, someone. I was Fifty from a Raven. Lot of my expectation and oh fuck! Yeah, Raven. Zach. Sorry, so as a single girl my right language. Now, of marriage, you may be thinking, I live with an evangelical. You know, if only Ooh, I could get a she's not even close to this religiously day, pushy. Engaged, yeah, no, a lot of Christians are not this pushy. Would be the answer but to this war in my heart. And guess what? I remember feeling are. that at times too. But the truth okay, is, okay, so that we I've have a spin from Raven. Years, do you want to spin this one? Husbands, boyfriends, they it, do it, not bring you that ultimate happiness, that ultimate satisfaction that you long for. So if you're I'm getting married, to thinking that your husband is going to be girl the source book. of happiness, book. then you're buying my heart. I keep thinking it's going to be the bomb. The road da of bomb. despair, discouragement, and unfulfilled longings, because God is truly the only one 
that can fulfill us and bring us that inner joy that we desire. And that takes us right into number two, which is this. God is truly your only source of lasting fulfillment. Oh, shit. Now, I had to learn We're this screwed. the hard way, unfortunately. So <laughs> early in my first year of marriage, like I said, I was looking to Zach to be my happiness maker, to complete me, you know, whatever. And so in those moments, I would take my eyes off of God and instead place them on Zach. And that never led anywhere good. It just led to discouragement and I felt more unfulfilled than before. It's in those moments when in my life, and especially in the past six years of marriage, that I've seen more clearly than ever. <laughs> okay, I have, I have a good I have a good thing to read. Source of fulfillment. I'm ready. The ultimate source okay. of satisfaction. Getting this, married is wonderful. If you I'm, have sex purity in the longings of a girl's heart, this is for you, Raven. I hope you learned something. Chapter two on page 25, lust, a girl's problem too. The moment of truth finally had come for Katie. Over the next hour, Katie shared her story of struggle and shame. Years and years of pain were finally coming to the surface. For the first time ever, she confessed her multi-year battle with porn. Hmm. <laughs> hey, not exciting for you? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Katie brought the secret into the light, she felt as though a huge weight had been lifted from her shoulders. There was no longer her battle to fight alone. <laughs> He now had reinforcements in the fight. Katie and I spent some amazing time together that day. I bet you did. We prayed, we cried, and we created a serious battle plan that would help her walk in grace, forgiveness, and victory from that moment forward. Ridiculous. There's a little quote down here. I felt like I was the only woman who struggled with lust. You know, I really hate this, because, like, you don't relate, but, like, I grew up with a lot of shame. Like, yeah, Catholic. Yeah, a lot of shame. Like, they make you feel so bad about your body or exploring anything sexual or, you know, even having impure thoughts. They make you feel like you're the worst, like, scum of the earth. Yeah, I didn't have that. I had Jewish summer camp, which was so much making <laughs> Everyone out. fucking hooked up with everyone. Woo. He tells me these stories of him as, like, a 10-year-old pimp. It's amazing. Yeah, I was a 10-year-old pimp. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, very different situation. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, this, this makes me so sad, though, because, like, they're perpetuating this terrible idea that it's wrong for women to be sexual or for anyone to be sexual. It's totally not. Be careful, be safe, but, my God, have fun with life. Agreed. You know? Agreed. All right, Ryan picked up some merch. Oh, thank, thank you, Thank you Ryan. very much, Ryan. And he picked up the Imperfectly Human Tour shirt, which is very much on sale. Because oh yeah, it's like how much is it? Like nothing. It's on sale. It's on sale. sale. Jewish summer camp represent. Jewish oh! summer camp was crazy. Yeah, the so stories crazy. you tell me. I I went to Christian summer camp. It was not crazy. No, oh, yeah, you guys weren't crazy. Although I do have trophies from singing in the choir at my Christian summer camp. They're like, they're like cross trophies. My mom has them. That's cute. Should we display them proudly in our house one day? When yeah, we have that's, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, do you wanna do you wanna keep watching this shit? Yeah. All right. And there's so many joys and blessings <laughs> could in that, add but Easter my husband cannot the, uh... fulfill me the way that God can. And so you wanna dress I up? look to God yeah. and I work on a daily relationship. Everybody's with him, like, yeah. Anybody who's Catholic prayer, knows. I'm walking in the a shame is like a thing. God, guess what? I feel so fulfilled and so content more than ever before. And God, He's our creator. He's designed to give us something get, um, that earthly husbands, boyfriends, they can't give us. God is the only one who can truly fulfill us. So right now as a single girl, I challenge you, even before you're married, to start working on developing a strong, deep, constant, consistent relationship with God that you I can would take in change your all of this to be with thing yourself. Thing that ultimately relationship with yourself. Be three, happy with yourself. You won't magically mature once you're married. So before I was married, I kind of had this idea that like, oh, once you get married, you suddenly become mature. Now you're basically grown up and you're a missus and all of these things that I just thought somehow I was going to be like a different person after marriage. And I you imagined that person Adam and being really mature, maturity wise, conference. godly, like all these things. That's funny. And then I got married and woke up the next day. And guess what? I was the exact same person. I was the same girl who had wow. all the same Wow. So when we get married, we're going to be the same issues, people. The same selfishness Did you issues. know that? And I recognized, yeah. oh... So the Her lighting I was is the before same as I got ours. married, like that's the exact same <gasps> person with all the same. It is similar as after marriage. Ew. So if you are buying into that same lie as me, that oh one day when you get married, then you'll yeah. suddenly oh, magically okay. mature and become this godly woman, <laughs> it doesn't happen. Enough with the hands. So the things that you're struggling with right now, 
maybe in your family, with your friends, impatience, ingratitude, selfishness, whatever it is, those are the exact same things that you're gonna struggle with after marriage unless you work on developing those like godly character now, unless you start working on those things now, <laughs> then you will take them into your marriage. So I challenge you and encourage you to look at your life, look at the areas of weakness, maybe the way you interact with My your siblings. My husband is like, Jewish is and godly? I am Catholic is raised. Is it loving? Like look at the way you're nice friends. Are you self-focused? You know what or works? Are you others focused? Yeah. Whatever it is, look at your character, look at your actions and analyze that and see where do I need to grow? Where do I need to become more godly? Because that the woman you are, the woman uh, that you are before you get married is the exact same woman that you're gonna be after you get thanks, married. Thanks, Kristen. Number four, being totally independent doesn't create marital unity. So just like Not you, I'm growing up in this culture where we're being told as women that we need to be totally independent. It's our way or the highway. We need to make a name for ourselves. We don't need anybody. We can do it all on our own. That's really the mindset of our culture that we as women are encouraged to embrace but sadly, when you get into marriage, that kind of super extreme independent mindset doesn't really work. It doesn't create marital unity. Instead, you come into marriage, and I did this. You come you into marriage attention? with more of like yeah. Are we learning a competition things? mindset. Like you start to view your husband when you disagree as almost a competitor. And rather than working together as a team We're getting... and striving for unity, striving to be selfless Nate, and serve the other, thank you, you for ordering merch. Demand Amy, your way and demand things. Ryan, and demand Quinn, your rights. Natasha, so me, you guys I are amazing. You, if there's Thanks for ordering I merch, guys. Before marriage, girl to find code have gets you more of a, a selfless, others-focused heart instead of such an independent, self-focused mindset. So I encourage you. Instead of embracing what the culture says, she a says woman so much is, about a whole of lot of nothing. Says a strong woman is, yeah. A bold and courageous woman for his truth, but also a woman who is I feel like such a fangirl right now. Look at me. shows genuine <laughs> Christ-like love. That will create so much more marital unity in your future marriage than embracing a self-focused, independent mindset. And number five, domestic skills are extremely useful. Uh -huh. Now, I know some of you might be thinking like, okay, what in the world domestic skills? Like, what does that even mean? She does laundry well, every day. Back in my early years day. of marriage, I had some Just saying. domestic skills. Like, Not I did every dishes, day. I every single meals, day she does laundry. Honestly, I, did, I, like, do laundry. I could wear the same shirt clean every day. Grocery planning, like budgeting, um, how to like when do the laundry hamper is full, I do laundry. Run an entire home. If it weren't for me, like you would let that shit overflow I was and honestly take over your entire room before, before doing anything. I, I kind of view those things as lesser than. It's not every day. So he I thinks it's every day. It's every single day, maybe twice a, a week. A lot of domestic skills, and honestly, You're when you get married. <laughs> You are gonna realize, like, wow, so much of your life is centered around. <laughs> Can relate. Live. All the girls are like, "Yep." And in God's word, so are, are they really? But like, a high are they value really saying stay at home and do home. that? And specifically, calls women to be good keepers of the home. You see in Titus yeah, two, yeah, that's uncomfortable. And God also commands hospitality all right? throughout the Scripture. And so, if there's they one thing I could go back and work on, I have said many times before that women so many of the essential should domestic skills that you be more domestic and, will and so that like highly valuable being a career woman has like your warped marriage. the minds and of so six, many that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Is the key to a vibrant marriage. So Zach and I always joke because before is we got it bad married, that we I like to cook? I have to be selfless, and then no, after we got married, it's, it's like hilarious. we woke up and I don't know what happened. You're great Someone at cooking. Someone stole my brain because He's a better I cook than I am. The most selfish, per selfish Although person I should make she's a, better on the planet. Italian Zach would say the same thing yeah. about himself. And I think what happens is that you wake up and now you're on this other side of marriage, and you have this other person who's actually a sinner, and you're a oh. sinner, and now there's a conflict of hey, interest. Sinner. You both see things differently. You you're a man and a woman, and so you approach so many things in life quite differently and you start to like want your way more than ever and now to give sacrificially to just you know say hey it's okay we can do things your way that becomes really hard as you're living day in day out with this same person and so I want to encourage you as a single I wonder how many quarantine really babies are going to happen start cultivating a heart of I feel like a lot an others focused heart because that is truly the key to a vibrant marriage. When you and your future Ugh. husband are both seeking I'm to so sorry, babe. We're like not even anywhere near the end of the stream yet. That is when marriage is just thriving, when it's vibrant. For Zach and me, that has been so true in the past six years. When we each have an others focused mindset, our marriage is awesome. But when we both give in to our selfishness and instead look at how we can get rather than give, our marriage really suffers and we really struggle. And so I want to encourage you right now as a single girl, even if you think you're not that selfish, chances are you probably are, right? Because we're all pretty selfish. So I encourage you right now to start looking I wonder what for that edit was. in how you are being selfish what? and then pray and ask <laughs> There was a hard cut and she said. Have a selfless, others-focused heart and start cultivating that 
and working on that we'll right know. now in yeah. your family. Only God knows. Groups. So there you have it. Six things that every Christian oh girl God. needs to know before getting married. If you desire to get married, but they don't one day, talk about single, what I think the girls want to ask. That God would provide that right? in the future. Then don't I they, aren't they curious about the sexual stuff, or am I wrong? Right if I could go back in time as a single girl, I would really invest. I guess so much she is in a way. Isn't that the, those the six things click, that I just shared with clickbait you. So thumbnail and title? Now, before you're married, to uh-huh. take the time and effort to put into cultivating those character qualities, those skills, those different things I just mentioned, because those will be a huge blessing in your future marriage and lay a strong foundation. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you Thanks so much for watching this video. Up. If you want to see more videos oh my from God. me and Bethany, who's normally on here, you can Raven. subscribe to our channel below. We post brand new videos uh, every Wednesday. Solstice shall light an altar fire for you and you guys look with your wedding. Thank you, Raven. (laughs) mm, We do. About what I didn't know, uh, I had, I wasn't able, no, Lord willing. uh, How Chris and girls can do prom in a pure and modest way. Wow. Second time's the charm. And number five. Just only hand jobs? And number five. That's a wrap. (laughs) Okay, too much. A joke. Hey there, it's, it's Kristen joke. and Bethany. You were way more sexually active as a young person than I was. Do something I was like shamed forever. Yeah, was. Today's vlog I was actually very well Bethany behaved answers as a personal child, questions as a about teenager. thriving as a single girl. So one of the most popular mm. questions that we get through our website and through our YouTube channel from girls like you uh. are about singleness, guys, marriage, romance, yes. anything. Okay, so I remember when I was putting this playlist together, I'm setting the scene for Bethany, right? Because Bethany is the girl on the left. What do you do about that? You know, she was single for a long time. <laughs> Kristen was married. So she can't respond to every single email. So there's like a ton of videos on being vlog, single. Would be really good and then there's Bethany's relationship really with pointed and personal questions about her being single. Now husband. So you could hear her answers and kind of how she's working through this. And it will like this develop into that. And then we can and talk we about that relationship. Really but for now, she's still single. Do we have to see any of that? Oh yeah. And we're just going to keep going. I don't know what the question an hour long stream in here of Bethany and her husband. Okay, so question number one. Everyone girl who really is talking about. To he was. He went to a gay conversion therapy. Yeah. For that. Uh-huh. How do you? Like that's not even a rumor. Like during uh, this prolonged season of singleness. Is gay conversion Ooh. therapy expensive? Yeah, that's true. I think that's a good point, though, because I, I now I've never looked into it. I'm very content with single role, but that doesn't that's a good mean question. Let's call our. Let's call our health insurance. Excuse me. Do you cover gay conversion therapy? I want to really like every day, not to think ahead, not to. Oh yeah, we're watching that stream, Catherine. It's. I'm probably going to be a hundred years. Old, very soon in a actually chair all by myself you know that's depressing like, my hair looks like shit yeah, guys imagine, like, no one said that yet but it does <laughs> is this <laughs> growing out woman, that's i can't miserable. get it done we're in quarantine well, so I, this is what you get but i've had to completely like take those years mm. so excited of it don't electrocute Honestly, people anymore the best things for me to really remain content my grandmother was actually put um, through electroshock therapy about the future i don't know why apparently ocd reasons but given me it's a fucked up thing giving me this day how can i serve him best right now how many drinks have been drunk so I'm far. I'm not worrying about the future. I'm not going to worry about what three you know, or four. Yeah. Chair, yeah. Sitting on the porch. I don't remember. We haven't spun today, the wheel in a while. In in a we- Didn't we just do it? How I can serve him the yeah. gifts he's given me today. So that's know. something I would recommend for the yeah. other single girls is really look for the joy and you know Aww, what God has Amy, that's so cool. for you yeah. today and not to worry about the future. Lesbian okay, cat loving two. We're going to keep just rolling. What has been the most helpful tip for you? Some of my favorite people are lesbian, cat loving, during the singleness. So not just surviving, yeah. not just getting through it until you get married, but yeah. truly thriving as a single yeah. girl. What has been the most helpful tip? One of the best things for me has been not. I think. So yeah, this is I, when Bethany I, when was I still was younger, single. I used to like think that my life started once I got married, mm. and I was this was just kind of like a holding pattern. And once I got married, once I had a husband, once I had children, Edward, then my life would really start. But I kind of had to have a rewind and realize, no, my life oh, starts shit. right now, and God can use That's me right up. now where He has me today. So one of the That's best a good idea, though. I should do a stream. To glorify God and to live to the fullest. Watching the transformed wife. That I'm That's... in right now, and not to wait That's a good to start one. my life until one day. So really, to just have purpose oh my and goodness, not getting merged for the future, but live to the fullest mm-hmm. right now. Nate, live to glorify God. What's up? Completely and yes. fully Riley? as a single mm-hmm. today. Thank you. Question number I like three, that and this That's one really cool might be yeah. a little off guard, but I know a lot of you might be wondering that. this, and this will be great for them to hear your Oh my answer. God. <laughs> How do you handle no, your No, David is not bisexual. What is with these comments really asking about your sexuality? Guy. We're oh. getting married. <laughs> Not that, not that it wouldn't matter. That's funny, because you want to get married and you notice the single guy. So how do you handle no, your thoughts? I think sometimes girls, because they'll email me, and I think they think I'm, like, blind. But it's, like, weird to ask. <laughs> like, don't really. Like, you can't get any guys. Like, I can't I see like. guys, or I'm oblivious. But <gasps> Miss just West. for the record, that's not true. I very much desire she's marriage. She's not as funny I to me. I don't think that would be a good stream. Godly? A 
attractive young men <laughs> around me, That's single normal. young men. It's yeah. I'm very normal. Mm -hmm. So I have to deal with those thoughts just Are they a little loud? You, but they I might be a little loud. Thing for me. Is Jacqueline just bisexual? On a daily basis. No. To learn to guard my thoughts and to learn to what is, what is guard the, what I'm thinking what are about the and not have rankings those on the Kinsey scale. Huh? Because if yeah. I'm struggling with my thoughts all of the time, when I meet like a really cute, godly guy, it's going to be instantly like, oh, imagining life with ten kids, you know. Mm -hmm. So for me, I've learned that the more faithful and diligent I am to take my thoughts captive, so sad just during the day to during think about where she is now. I go to bed. The easier it is mm -hmm. to take my thoughts captive mm -hmm. when I meet that really handsome single young men and it's That's easy so for me not to go down single a young road gay that man will lead to something not god honoring <laughs> so i would just encourage that you guys out there to just them. learn to take your thoughts captive that he had to do the, the day, therapy during the week so that when you meet and that godly young man how would you, you feel though like his character if i were her it, it would be difficult because you would always be like is he even attracted to one what's the yeah there's an insecurity no there's an insecurity with that i would drive myself crazy but then eventually maybe you like love your partner enough that you how have you personally Notice they're not the happy and you want the best for them, but you're like godly so that constricted. Think, what if you never get married? So, but then the best oh, that you would that. think is the best for them would be that? to mm -hmm. not be so gay. So you would that. continue it's to encourage that. that. I don't really you have wouldn't the grace to open up to right now because I do desire to get married. They wouldn't. But I think something that has helped me when I think about no, this, because they think it's a sin. Thing. They believe what in hell. Do, what if I never get yeah. married? So like, what if that's what God has It's messed for? up. I've really had to basically <gasps> remind myself. Nikki, of who God is thank you for I ordering merch. Uh, Future Sunset shirt. Thank you. Is, oh, that's a good one. Truly knows what's it's actually really soft. Brand new. Your life. What's best for your life? He truly braiding of hair. Uh oh, Bethany's braiding her hair. How we can glorify. They both kind of do that. I've putting on gold jewelry oh my god to the puzzle right so now, much sinning god, ethan if i'm striving to glorify him if i'm striving to god honor him he's not oh thank you ethan i definitely need luck with the stream say, oh well it would be better if bethany had a husband she could better glorify all right kinsey way, scale that away from mm -hmm. no he where are you on the kinsey scale so zero is heterosexual is six is gay that is how i can there's no question as a single well, no, you just have to like be single and I'll remain I'm, single. But if it's I'm best not, for him I'm, to give me a I'm straight. Then he'll give me that. I would say I'm point so five. Worrying about it and wondering, oh no, I can just oh, wait, oh, wait, I was it's that, that side of it. God, well, yeah, this is heterosexual. You have for me, then I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, know you're not going to withhold anything good for me. Well, that wraps up our. This should be a bigger scale. I don't like it. Very quick. I hope that that was helpful. It should at least go to ten. That's weird that only is your brain. And some of those questions we've never addressed on the blog, or on a video. Are we reading chats from streamers? I'm looking. As yeah, Bethany is striving to honor God as a single and Are we getting any chats from Facebook? By the way, we're also on yeah, Facebook, really so what's yeah. up to people um, on Facebook? Being very productive um, and honoring the Lord during this season. So I think you're an example to many, and we just really hope that this video was encouraging to you. So we would love to hear from you. Well, yeah, the Streamlabs should pop up on the, the on the thing, too. Maybe something as a single. Yeah, how you people in their 20s self righteously talking about how naive they are. Bethany shared some yeah, tips. Yeah, they used to be. Yeah. Share your tips with us. I'm sorry. I think they are because they are. Thumbs up. And if you want to see more from us, thumbs up to our channel below. Francis. Videos every Wednesday. Carolyn, thanks guys. Oh my God. Killing it on merch. Today's vlog. We're at a thousand likes. Yes. Let's keep going. Great. Everybody right now watching liked this video. Okay. And That'd be amazing. Uh, you were doing so well. Everybody, go like the video. I was. Oh, can I help you? <laughs> oh I love the bloopers. Oh I love their bloopers. Okay. <laughs> they fake their bloopers to be relatable. <laughs> hey, it's Bethany with Girl Defined Ministries, and today I'm going to be talking about praying for your future husband. Praying for, myself, for your future. Do you see where we're going in the lineup of videos? Yeah, so we're getting closer ago, to her weird relationship. Oh, thank you, Betty, for picking up picking up a sweatshirt. A long time ago for me. I oh shit! We went from 1,000 to 1.2 1. real quick. Wow. Let's get to 1.5. A Christian girl. Keep liking. Kind of like mid to late 20s. So it really helps the stream a lot when you like it. And she had started I will share it. Or if That's you dislike it, it. I don't give a fuck. A rating is a rating. So, and if you have a YouTube channel, feel free to share the stream. This is a way that I can actually start Thanks, guys. serving my future husband even before I know him. I can be praying for him, praying for his character, praying for his How sad. safety, his relationship with God. I can actually serve him in this way. And I thought that, that was such a cool thought. So since I was 13 until now, and hopefully into the future. Aw, well, I appreciate the kind sentiment, the Raven. Tell her thank I've you. Been praying for over the last several oh, we're at 1.3, guys. Challenge you, as Let's you keep going. Mind, think to yourself, hmm. 
What things can Raven, I you're be thankful amazing. for my own future husband? So if you haven't ever done this before or haven't even thought about this, I really want you to think about the qualities that you're looking for in a future husband and the qualities that you could be praying for. Now, I'm not talking about... I swear, like, both the girl defined oh women have the same step for wife smile and the from Saint Anna. Not that sort of thing. I'm talking about character qualities. qualities Meet up with girl defined after quarantine. Well, we might go to their uh, convention. So here's my list I want to. Like I'm for real about that. that. I'm praying for my future husband. And I want to share that with you. I mean, you'll have to go to Number Texas. Number one but... is that he would not have a love for the world. Could be fun. Number two is that. He would By the way, thank you, Raymond. Thank you, Raven. Himself. Thank you, Kristen. Number three for becoming new patrons. His mind. I you see got... you guys. Thank you. Number four. I got one. Committed to spiritual growth. And number five is that he would have a First Corinthians thirteen love, so that he would. Do have we have a First Corinthians Corinthians thirteen love? What kind yeah. of this okay, good. An others focused type of love. So as I've been go to their convention things, and really film it, convicting to me like, wow, if that I would be funny. For these things in a future husband. No, we should. What kind of woman should I be? Because a guy like this What's is going to be looking radical. for a certain type of girl to come alongside him and support him and carry out this vision. So I challenge you to make a you list give us free for your future husband of qualities that you desire. I think if we bought a ticket, they would refund us and prevent us from husband. going. But don't stop there. I want you to take that list, just like I have mine, and then I want you to turn it on yourself. Maybe and if you're praying that he would like me not have a love for the Frank, world, then I want you to challenge Jacqueline yourself and David Frank, to do the same thing. I want you to challenge yourself to work on that quality that you would not have Yvonne, a love for the world. Yvonne, thank you for ordering merch. That, you would think of, that he would think of others above himself. I challenge you to turn that on yourself and challenge yourself to think of others above yourself. Because if you're desiring these things in a future husband, you need to be working on it and building those qualities in your own life. And it's a I great time it's because unhealthy to think this way. More time. We're not, you know, you shouldn't be with our husband right focusing now, on your future person. You should be focusing on you and making yourself so I would love who you want to be. Focusing what things on yourself you and like, for in a future you're husband? happy, you'll Are attract you a happy person. Or have you never even thought about this and you need to make like up your own list backwards. right now? I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And then I would love to hear how you are going to challenge yourself. Imagine being like, those, those I don't have a man to be submissive to, to yet. So I'm just going to pretend like my future own. one if you like is already video, here. Give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see and more start serving him now. From us, Girl, Defy Ministries Girl future, serve yourself. Subscribe to us below. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Again. I don't know what else to say for Oh my god, that's really scary. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, silence. Yeah, go ahead, just do it. Oh my god. I think it'll work. Her mouth opened okay. so big. Cut. Kristen and Bethany here, and today we're excited because we're going to be doing a Q&A answering your questions that you submitted yeah. specifically about birth control, singleness, and relationships. Oh, great. We actually pull these questions through our Instagram birth control. app, at Girl Defiance, so if you're wondering where I to take mine topics every from. night we're actually at getting that from you. So we did a poll, huh. and the most popular questions that came in this time around on our what Instagram account had to do me? with mm. questions surrounding birth control, the exact same amount of subscribers so we picked them. probably the six most popular, yeah. and we're going to be digging in and answering those today. So the first question, or questions, I should say, sounded something like this and there were so many more but i pulled just some i'm gonna subscribe to david i put his youtube link in the methods. description of the um a lot video, about bethany so. bethany do you plan on having another three track. times soon it's like i've been married three and a half weeks people um any news about a beal baby <laughs> i cannot tell you how many of you ask questions like that thoughts on the use of contraception in marriage your thoughts on birth control etc cetera, etc cetera. there were so many like that first of all we just want to commend you all for asking these sorts of questions these are important someone topics. get me that pink really girl defined sweatshirt or married these are very important things to think through. i want and just it important questions to ask and just thoughts and i would wear the shit out of it say okay what do i think about this hey, so hey i got so a new patron yeah thank you Yvonne. The risk oh, of really asking this and uh, since I just got married recently, I yeah. obviously been anybody who's a, a patron of David topics, gets the lyrics you really have to decide, tomorrow. Hopefully, before you get married, of like, the song what you're going to do, about what me. your plan is, what you're thinking, what a biblical perspective is, what is God calling us to do. The first. So Dave and I did a lot of research and really had a lot of discussions, talked to a lot of wise people who are already married, and I wanted to share with you some resources that for me were personally the most. Please don't wear a girl to find a sweatshirt. Topics. I think it's because hilarious. This is not a topic anything to do with birth control. I'm a size plan, small. Any of that that we can just say. If someone wants answer, to send one to my PO box, no, this is something I will that wear the shit out of it. We need to study and dig in depth into these topics. 
So I'm actually my last video I did on Paula Morgan. I wore the tank top for you. Really? Two yeah. of the resources that I have hope and be free tank top. I wore it in studying this topic. So yeah. I would encourage you go to those links, listen to them, listen to the entire series, and that will give you a great foundation. All right, who's going to spin the wheel next? Process. I feel like I need another shot. Super helpful for me. Also, when Zach and I have been married for seven years, yeah. and the crazy thing is that our journey. I am sassy. How are we doing? Planning, whatever you know, it's it was so different. We're hanging we were on. Totally. We thought we it's only twelve forty three. We have until kids, and now here we are too. Seven years later, and still no children. And y'all can watch my video I did recently with oh, Zach talking yeah. about our infertility journey. That's but really I think good. the bottom line is, I actually did watch this, like, their video. Their marriage or family, and I left a nice comment that comes before because I feel for her. This like, is your design. Is it, you created are they family. Allowed you to take children. fertility children help. Blessing. How is that can we like have a, a humble heart? As we come before this topic, I'm really I don't remember what not they said about what that. Do I want. What do I I'm assuming yes, because Christians God, normally like you? they're. Where's your heart for children? Fine with Where should medicine, like if they have a health issue. Topics, not in a but if it's sense, to prevent pregnancy, I guess that's a sin. Really I don't know. What do you have to You'd say? think and if so God those, those doesn't, doesn't want you to not get pregnant because of his plan, then trying to get pregnant because of his plan would be the same, like, from a world view but I guess it's not. I don't know. My P.O. box, it should be listed in the description. It's not. If you go to my channel, or if you go to my Instagram, you actively look for a boyfriend while waiting you is, it it. is it still on my Instagram? Has it. It. What's the balance? And yeah. I know this is so hard because we are doers. We're it's on my Instagram. We just want to get what we want to get. What we want to get it. We want to. It's plan. also on my on, on my so channel in my so about section. Be like, okay, have eyes open. Like, yeah, I'm not hiding under a shell. Yeah. Like, I'm getting out there. I'm involved in singles groups. I'm have great friends. No. I'm like, yeah, I'm not blind to like you know godly guys that are around. But how can I do that and best she about at the same no, time? So here's a verse that I think is really helpful. Someone knock. Isaiah 26 3 through 4 says, "You keep him in perfect peace." whose mind is stayed on you because yeah. Francis, thank you. The Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting. I'm excited. They're really cute. And I love that verse from Isaiah because I just, just all of a sudden got a craving for we sushi. We can be available. We can be out and about making friends, you know, being yeah. involved in groups with the same Lunch, sushi. Time, God, would you help I always trust you? get I'm weird not cravings. blind. I value marriage. This is a beautiful thing, romance, but would you help me to trust your plan and your Nala, time here's in something. this to surrender it and then to yeah. rest. Oh, we're at 1. Point good for my life. 4 life. Number 3. Let's get long to 1.5. Relationship. We can do it, guys. Boundaries when you are together. So basically, this girl is in a long-distance relationship, and then when they get together, it's so hard. You haven't seen him. Yeah. Ugh. You know, all of that. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, I think the worst thing you can do is to just go, we'll figure it out when he gets here. No, you need to have a game plan, a battle plan ready before he comes in. bomb. Yeah, we already have ready. one you need to know. mark against bomb. What are we going to do? What are we not going to do? Yeah, we're one more spin on it, Will. And our hearts right in order to honor the Lord in that way. First of all, I would highly recommend reading our chapter in Love to Find yeah. on Boundaries. I think that's so important. Chapter 12 is called Romance Without Regrets. And so you can go there and you can read and it will really help you to get the bigger picture, to remind yourself of where are we going? What are we doing? We're trying to honor Christ in this. You know, the Which physical book? is such a Do good thing right in the right context, but how can Ooh, this we chapter is about masturbation. We should save that next time we have to read. In biblical way. So I would encourage you, if you're in this situation to go and check out chapter 12 and Katie. Life, because that will really help you but second of all i would encourage you to find uh, god we all have we all have, we've been all like when he comes in town taught to feel to shame you, it's sad to pray you, to keep you accountable during hey, that baby. season so that no. you can really be successful in maintaining purity and honoring christ when he's in town question number four okay. what to do when i get a comment from someone like you're still single yep. How do I respond and deal with well, that? And I think anyone who's single knows what that feels like. Yes. I remember what that was like. Like, oh, you're still single. And it's almost like, yes, what? I remember. Do you want love? You is how you're feeling. They're asking you. They're like shocked. Like, oh, still? Yes. Still? <laughs> still single? Yeah. And you're just like, okay, look, yeah, I want to get married, but God what hasn't brought want? the guy around yet. Okay. And that's what you want to say. Yes. Um, you know, you're respectful. <laughs> you've gotten so many, baby. And I think baby. we just have to remember that every, you know, people who ask that, they're not meaning it often in like a negative, rude way. Or like Sometimes mean they are. Uh, but it's they're just like, like, oh, I would love to see them do a reaction yes, video listening to Slayer's discography. Like and I think for us, if you're in the same single list or receiving those questions, <laughs> oh, you're Jesus the Christ. remember that it's God's bigger plan ultimately. Madeline, it's thank not you. Your plan. He's the one who writes love stories. He's the one yeah. who brings together, you know, the man and the woman for marriage. Like, it's his beautiful yes. design, and you can trust him in that. And even if other people aren't maybe helping you trust God by the way they're asking questions, just remind totally. your heart, like, you know, I'm sure they mean well. I'm over this. It isn't a curse. It's a wonderful season. I can serve oh, God in. Man. God is good. He has a plan. Can Girl Define please to react to yourself. porn? After Could you imagine? And I think that will help your emotions. That would be funny. Do you think and they're watching the stream right now? Say a lot yeah. more about if they Especially are, what's five, up, Kristen and Bethany? We'll see you in Texas for your convention. 
<laughs> I would really want to go. Yeah, actually. We we're going. We'll take the RV. We'll do. We'll do like three days. No. Interest than we did, you know. And so I think that if you are in that situation, really take a look at your own heart, your own actions, and ask yourself: Am I kind of leading him on or giving him uh. attention? Because I kind of like the way that he's treating me. Because it's I kind of like the special attention. Mm -hmm. I like when we go somewhere and he, you know, decides to buy my coffee, whatever it is. You know, are you doing things that are giving him any sort of impression, any idea, any false, hope. any false hope that you are interested just because you kind of don't want to lose Ethan. that? Ethan, you know, girls know what that's like. You know, oh. when you're single and you like that attention. Birthday coming up soon. How exciting! Forty-eight days. <laughs> in any time in the long future, then I I'm excited for you. Really think of him and really try to, you know, honor him in that way by not giving him false hope. Really set up some boundaries for yourself. You don't have to tell him that unless he's asked specifically, if he's asked you to your face, like, I like you, and you're like, oh, I don't know. You know, tell him, like, no, I am sorry, I'm not interested. Uh-oh. clear and kind. Bianca. Let your actions follow that, you know? Oh, Maybe Bianca with the wheel spin. Like, boop, boop, boop. Don't boop. Don't Whether or not it's Holy Spirit, I need a shot. Cheers, really love you guys. I don't blame you, Bianca. You're not interested. In the long run, that will be a blessing to him. Actually, love a verse that I think goes along perfectly with this. It's Philippians 2, 3, and it says, Do not It is time for a joke. Or Can you pause? But in humility, count others more I had a good one pulled up that I think is... Listen, I tried to find jokes that were actually funny. It was relatively difficult to do. Um, okay, we did the children one. Oh, my God. Tiny Turtle Tim, you're next. Um... Yeah, I'm skipping the racist ones. Okay. Okay, read that one. Two guys are walking through a game park, and they came across a lion that has not eaten for a few days. The lion starts chasing the two men. They run as fast as they can, and the one guy starts getting tired and decides to say a prayer. Please turn this lion into a Christian, Lord. He looks to see if the lion is still chasing, and he sees the lion on its knees. Happy to see his prayer answered, he turns around and heads towards the lion. As he comes closer to the lion, he hears it. He hears the it saying a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the food I am about to receive. <laughs> get uh, it! Uh, the, the lion was about to eat him. And he wanted the lion to be a Christian so that they wouldn't get eaten, but then the lion just prayed for his food. That's funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny! I think these jokes are freaking hilarious. Okay. Okay. Damn. So, wait, did Tiny Tim... Spin the wheel as well. Tiny Turtle Tim, I'm almost done with my break, and I really want the Wine Kitty Tank or the sizes unisex. The Wine Kitty Tank, uh, the sizes are unisex. Are um, they? Oh, wait, for the tank? The tank top, I think, is uh, on the merch website, Gildan. I think it is says it it's Gildan? a women's is tank. Is it tank, Gildan? But... Yeah, I think it is, but I, I like don't think it would matter very much. But David's reactions to the jokes are killing me. Huh. I think they're funny. Okay, I'm. I think I'm more amused by them than he is. But okay, Turtle Tam. Oh, Nala treat. She heard Nala. me. Her little ears perked up. How cute. Do you want? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Do you want to do it on you? Come on. Sorry, my baby voice. Alright, the tank me. is a Come lady's here. tank. Come here. Do you want? Come on. Come on, get the treat. Get the treat. Come on here. So it does have a slight cut to it. Come here. Oof, okay, now that I get the treat. There we go. There we go. What a good girl. Eh. But if you wanted a unisex tank, you could custom convert a regular shirt. Oh, cut a t-shirt? Yeah. I've cut our t-shirts before, too. Yeah, and they work perfect for that. But the the tank on the store is a lady's cut. What I mean... Style. Oh, David Keating! David Keating spinning the wheel. Plus one on the Slayer. There we go. David Keating, what's up? Oh my god. We're never gonna stop spinning the wheel! Uh, 
Uh-oh. No! David no! Keaton. No! All right, no! So I don't know if you were here at the beginning of the stream, David, but just so you guys know, we have the bomb hot sauce, which on hot ones is, it kicks everyone's butt. It's not the hottest, but it honestly sort it of is. is. Um, this is the one that makes people cry. Yeah, it doesn't have the hottest Scovilles, but it I is. I think Billie hottest. Eilish did pretty well with it. No, she didn't. No, she didn't at all. <laughs> well, I know Shaquille O'Neal cried, and that's enough yeah. to make me friggin' terrified of it. Um, anyways, it takes two spins of the wheel landing on the bomb to get us to taste the bomb. Um, but it looks like David Keating has put us back over the threshold. God. All right. I don't want to do it. You have to. I don't. All right, I'll prep yours. Do you want to chip with yours? Not a stale one. Okay. Did you open the barbecue? No. Do you want me to? Do you want to chip or no? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Someone donated fifty, but there was no spin. Tiny Turtle Tim got a spin. Bianca got a spin. Did we miss somebody on Streamlabs? Let me check. David Keating? No, it looks like we're caught up. David Keating's the Streamlabs. Yeah, I know. I'm looking. I just want to make sure, because someone said we skipped, and I want to make sure we didn't. No, that's so much. Why did you put that much on there? I just did a single dip. That's way more than last time. What am I supposed to do? That is significantly more than last time. This is such a bad idea. All right. Now it's clean. Single dip. I still feel like there's more on here than last time. If you guys haven't liked this video yet, make sure you go like. Make sure you subscribe. If you didn't know that there is a merch discount, you can check that out. And also $50 will spin the wheel. In which case, she might eat the bomb. And now we will all gather around and watch her eat it. You have to do it, too. Fine. Woo! Oh, man, I got a lot. God damn it! Go! It's so fast to hit you. Thank you, David. Where's the lid to the bomb? There it is. Wow. Ah! Woo! <sighs> what the fuck? Hellfire. Why does someone make this? Who makes this? The water did make it worse. More significant. Don't Can I have the other chips? Be kind by Woo. showing him that it's not going to work out. Really like that would work for birth control. birth control. What the fuck? That's not we're going to get to today. How should you stay focused on God and not the guy that you like? You really like this guy. You see him around. He's like the hottest tamale ever. <laughs> like all your thoughts are just like consumed. This is so whatever. stupid. How Why are we doing this? On God? This is so hard. We've been there. We yeah. get it. It is super hard. Something really key to remember in this is instead of just You're up, crying too. I see your eyes watering. Like, okay, God, he's there. He's in my life. Yeah. Now, would you help me to control my thoughts? Because mm. here's the thing we don't often remember is that our thoughts directly fuel our emotions. So the way we feel, the way our, you know, like our emotions are like this, it's fueled by what we're thinking about. And so if you're dwelling on this guy constantly, you're letting your thoughts run wild, it is going to be so hard to focus on God. But get this. God, through his strength and power, has given us the ability to actually take our thoughts captive, which means we're redirecting. We're thinking about that guy. We start dwelling on him. We're like, this isn't going to be helpful. This isn't going to help me focus on God. You stop and you say, okay, Uh, I'm thinking about something else. You start praying. You start, you know, whatever. Like, there's so many things you can just do to redirect your thoughts. Ethan, thank you. you Are they, like, kicking their microphone? Philippians 4, 8 reminds us. It says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, 
whatever is honorable, whatever is just, pure, lovely, whatever is commendable. If there is anything excellent, anything worthy of uh, about these things. And so it's not we don't have milk. We have feelings for a guy. It's, it's fine. Right? It's that we're saying, okay, Lord, help me to focus. Fuck, if you were ever tired, my desire for that shit would wake you up. Yeah. And you can even use Philippians 4 as a yeah. prayer in those moments when you're struggling Ooh. and you can pray that back to God and say, help me to have thoughts. That are pure, honoring them. The whole the sack, that's and hot. You do that see the light at the end of the tunnel. I think you'll be amazed. My mouth is still hurting. Start to follow your thinking. Thanks so much to all of you who submitted questions through our Q&A over on Instagram. If you want to be up to date. I didn't listen to any say, of that video. I, wanna, I have a question. I did. I want to ask. Go follow us on Instagram because that's where we'll most likely take the poll and ask the questions. Get for distracted. Vlog so get distracted and go pray. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more from us, you can subscribe to our channel below because we post new videos every Wednesday. And if you want to keep up with us on a more regular basis, you want to see me with Bethany's blog, hairstyle. We've got class and teenager. It's going to be fast. Where's my hair clip? Quick. So hold on. How does she do it? It's just like. This is dumb. That they asked. So that's going to like a. Like this. Stupid. First of all, what we want to say is just. But then she has like this piece. <laughs> no, no. no she doesn't. Long she doesn't. Distance. These pieces <laughs> on the <laughs> side. Girl, it's because it's been so yeah. long. Thanks for still watching this, even after oh, the yeah. bloopers. Okay, y'all. I'll use the chip clip. That this channel is sustained because we have awesome people who have joined and like literally linked arms with us financially. So what do you want me to do, Bethany's hairstyle, hair guys? Possible. And these people there. are like our Patreon family. We love awesome. them. Is this what you and wanted? Dollar or two dollars per YouTube video that releases. Is this so what you wanted? Can do this channel, and you can have content coming at you that's helpful. And so. Am I Bethany now? Come on over. We are inviting you to be a part of our family exclusive. We have like content that is only for yeah. Patreon family. Woo. So click the link below, patreon.com to learn more and to join our family and help this channel. Woo. I'm starting to feel a little better. Me too. How do I know he's hey, the one I should Kristen marry? Hey, Kristen and Bethany here with Girl Defined Ministries. And in today's vlog, we're going to be unpacking the question. Unpacking. How do I know if he's the one I should marry? So this is actually How do I know? Should I do Bethany's? I can't do this one. This is too hard. And in fact, I used to ask this myself too before I married Zach, and I know even you, as you meet different guys, you kind of wonder, <laughs> how, how do I know him? if he's the one I'm gonna marry? All the and different you know, the guys, Bethany. When I was single, I thought, oh, maybe there'll be this amazing feeling, or like Fire just a sign from the sky, like something crazy will happen, and I'll know he's the one I should marry. <laughs> but as I went through my entire relationship process with Zach, I really discovered that more than a banner from the sky or an incredible feeling on the inside. There were some really practical, good questions I could ask yeah. throughout the relationship to help me discern I want to ask with you these wisdom questions. Yeah. Yeah, whether or not he was the one I should marry. Now, the things we're going to share with you aren't like an exhaustive list. This isn't like everything you need to know. But as a single girl myself, these are questions and things that have really helped me think through potential suitors or people I've been getting to know, and they've really helped me determine, okay, is this a good guy to get to know? Is this a good relationship I should move forward with? Or There's my hair is beautiful. it not? So even in the process towards the beginning, they're really great questions to ask and ultimately <laughs> I know with you getting married Still actually spicy. getting there so we have that <laughs> is this, is this yeah, close enough questions help me discern yeah. like yes is that because I'm just gonna do my hair like Bethany every that. episode so be really helpful for all of my how is this is, is this beautiful asking this question question number one is I like it the central focus of our relationship? I tried this has got to be your foundation Christ has to be the foundation oh. Christ has to be the foundation of our relationship. Oh, man. Your feelings can only carry you so long. Yeah. I mean, from Guys. the very first right? Right? They don't, you're still going to you know, have the feelings, but they don't last. They can't sustain the relationship. Is my hair beautiful? Exactly. So you need to ask yourself, wow. Wait, hold on. She's got, like, these pieces, though. Focus. Is he really what we're most concerned about in this relationship? Yeah. So that's the first place that you need to start. And number two, do we encourage each other spiritually? This was a huge, yeah. important question for me. I look like I Bethany now, guys. Because I just, didn't, I just didn't want, like, a good Christian guy. Yeah. It's really, to be, like, good really Christian hot. Buddies, but Thank you. I want to marry someone. I want to look at a guy and ask the question, is he going to encourage me spiritually? Yes, so do hard. I encourage him spiritually? Do we spur each other along? Are we, like, iron sharpens iron? Mm. Or the more time we spend together, we just get duller and duller and duller? This is a very important question to ask because the person that you marry, yeah. you want to live your entire life spurring each other on, encouraging each other in your walk with God, encouraging each other Man. to get into the Bible, to pray more. That's the kind of guy you We can't be doing any more to so bomb. such yeah. an important question to ask. And a oh, Zachary, in the thank you for ordering three, merch. Do wise people in my life support the relationship? Do we? This I need is to kind of a hard one to ask because when you really like someone, 
sometimes you don't really want the honest <laughs> wisdom of those outside of you. I've been there. Like, I have literally yeah. been in a position where I didn't want what the wise people had to say. I just wanted to kind of, like, get in my own brain, ignore everyone else, and just go, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. But that is not the Ugh. best thing to do. That is not Tom, thank you. Just in your All right, I can't brain. do this hairstyle <laughs> anymore. It looks so bad. Live longer, who have been married and actually know what it takes, and ask them, have a humble heart, and say, hey, looking into our relationship, what do you see? I don't even know why I tried to do my hair before the stream. This is a good guy that I should get to know. You think this is a solid guy that's leading me spiritually, that's doing me So how did you know I was the one you should marry? Well, you just had Christ at the center of your life, and I knew that was really important. Be open to it and be willing to receive Yeah. How about me? Was it because I was pure and domesticated? value God's design for purity. This is yeah. such an important one and something that may not come out Good early reasons. in the relationship. <laughs> I know way back in the day, I was in a relationship way before way Zach, back in the day. <laughs> a different guy. We didn't get married because it wasn't supposed to work out, obviously, but at the beginning, he really seemed on board with God's design for purity. He really seemed to respect me and yeah. to value those oh, things. Oh, God. It became really clear as he we only have four more hours of this. Push really? Those Five? To try to get outside of those boundaries that he had said four. good. And slowly but surely kind of Four hours. Leave a comment if you've been here from the beginning. Out. Regarding purity, and so that was a cute. We're curious, right. and so we want you to carefully evaluate in the relationship. Do we value purity? Does he honor me? Does mm -hmm. he respect me in this way? Because if he's not willing to respect you and honor you and value purity now, it's probably not going to happen after marriage either. So that's wait, such is there an purity to, to honor after look at marriage? And number five, I don't know. I thought that they were okay with sex after marriage. Life. The Maybe there's other kinds of purity. Marry like a total couch mom that just like shows in his mouth all day and plays video games all day. After a while of being married to someone like that, that would be kind of wearing like get off the couch to do something with your life. You want a guy uh. that has passion, ultimately for Christ. He understands uh. where he's going when he dies. He knows that he's going to be spending eternity with Christ in heaven, and he wants to use his one life now on earth to count. And you let's get to two thousand likes, guys. Oh my God, my mouth. You're still on fire. It's still burning. You, you, you don't feel it? The czar has been here for an hour. Oh uh, yeah, I want to see what you guys are saying. And so we really encourage you to look at him and say, okay, does he have a vision? Does he have any passion? He doesn't need to have all his ducks in a row. He doesn't need. Not sure how you haven't smashed your computer yet. Imagine being quarantined with them. Oh my God. Oh. I mean, we kind of are right now for a little sex while. Sex is always bad. Also I guess, in like, marriage. Yeah, when you're married, you're supposed to have sex, but you're not supposed to enjoy it, right? It's supposed to be purely for procreation. The Jews are all about it. have all these amazing qualities. He might be a godly guy. You might think, oh, he's a really fun friend. When it comes to actual, like, marriage, like, day in and day out, waking up together, going to bed together, a lot of times doing everything in life together, do I really truly want to spend the rest of my life with this guy? And so it Tippy's inside. Checked out and it's green, green. We could I, show I could go Tippy. get her. We could show it Tippy really at uh, the final question of do yeah. I truly want to spend the rest the next of my life with this person? So that is the final question that we encourage you to ask. So we hope these few no. points have been helpful as you're thinking through whether you're in a relationship right now or someone in the future. Like, okay, do I want to spend the rest of my life? Still drinking. With this oh, person? Rachel. Do I want to marry Thanks for hanging. <laughs> Oh God, that's that hot sauce makes me feel like my whole body is on fire. Yeah, the wheels turning. Like, okay, mm, like, I've never really thought that through. Have you guys ever tried this hot sauce? Are we the only crazy people us. stupid yeah, enough to like buy it and eat it? So helpful as I think through potential options because I'm still single, but it's been helpful. For Probably. Me, so I really the answer to that is yes. We are the only people so dumb enough to do that. Video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, and if you want to see more from us, you can subscribe to our. They're like Valley Girl Christians on speed. Do you think they party? Not bad. Is he not in a place he needs to be in a relationship? I don't know. <laughs> so if we go to this convention, She's do you think scary. like it it will be partying at night? <gasps> Barbara! Hey girl, hey! Oh hey. I was just talking about you. Someone in here was saying that they were from Slovenia, and I'm like, oh my god, one of my good friends is from Slovenia. What time is it? I miss you, Barbara. Come back to LA. If that's what you Barbara, you have to come back to LA in October for our wedding. It's 10 p.m. It's true, Barbara. Jasmine! You book okay. your flights now, it's cheaper. Do we still have some brain cells? We're running very low. Hey guys, it's Kristen and Bethany, and today we're going to be talking to this girl about the wedding, honeymoon, and marriage. And oh, man. You know, I got married about three and a half weeks Woo! ago. So oh, so oh she's married now. Log back since being married, since becoming Mrs. Beale. 
And we talked before in a few like videos back about like, my <gasps> Destiny. I'm pretty suffering with you while I'm alone at work. Married. Pretty Let's excited about this one. First. I've been married and I know what it's like planning a wedding and it can all What is my destiny? Destiny. I'm sure you get that shit all the time. It's probably so annoying. All right. Fucking hell. All right, that's that's so that's one. That's one, one mark two. on the bomb. How does that keep happening? How? That's great. We're closer what to getting Tippy in here. How does that happen? There's no way that the probability should have had that land on that that many times. <laughs> that's okay, Destiny. I was hoping for a Holy Spirit, but that's just me. <laughs> doing me it's so funny because i keep posting tiktoks of drinking alcohol because i think it's funny so like almost everything i post is like wine people are like oh my god you have a problem excuse me i'm trying to listen to the highs and lows of leading up to the wedding sorry i'm so sorry there was still so much to do and that i was actually posting and scheduling a blog for a girl to find like the night what is she wearing what is she wearing like all that stuff that the frilly shirt is bad enough but then overalls so that was kind on of top low, of like, that oh, you wish you could just be like done oh. like all done the high definitely the actual wedding day when i finally got to see dave because we had hardly seen each other the week before from being so busy so actually getting to see him and i would say like all the parties like, oh the but can you check the you posted, um, which was just so cool someone sent and us fun and amazing layla There's thank you the friend and family gatherings leading up send to it and then, like, the how do the onion shots compare to the bomb shots what would you say was your i'd rather do an onion shot 100 percent would rather do an onion shot wedding day of the wedding day. Maybe like the I wedding. wonder if they would <laughs> quit YouTube if they knew yeah. computers were invented by Probably. a gay man. Oh my god. I mean, it's just so surreal walking down the aisle mm -hmm. and then I just told my Jehovah's Witness day. mom like, that I'm an atheist and she's fine with it. it. I'm now celebrating it by watching like, you guys so torture yourselves. Yeah, no, Cameron. Way, like, Congratulations. Like, oh, like, so, like, <laughs> I'm so happy that you got a positive response. And good for you. Very much there. For having that kind of courage. It's hard. And I think that's what was so interesting. You guys should like, do a Paul and Morgan stream. This is my wedding. How is this my wedding? Like, we oh, could. Right we could yes. continue the tradition. You know? I'd so like I think that. that was just absolutely amazing. We could do I Paul like and Morgan. more entertaining than, than these guys. And just feeling like, this is crazy. I, can't I do too. This is happening to me. Yeah. Now let's talk about the honeymoon. A few questions. I know oh, yeah. you guys have Raven. had a ton of questions for you. As a fashion like, designer, what she's wearing is disgusting. And you actually wrote a post addressing that. So how did you yes. before Is it bad that married, I want to go on Amazon right now and look for overalls? From yeah. not being yeah. intimate with Dave, not living with Dave, to now Women's having all those things. Yeah. You know what's really overalls. interesting? I mean, you know this. I want to look like we, Bethany. We, the two of us, wrote a book called Sex, Purity, and the Longings of a Girl's Heart. During the, I can't. the process of me being in a relationship. These are so bad. So I yeah. have the yeah. privilege, yeah. really, of getting to study. Look at all these. design for sex, purity, just all of that, our sexuality, like, dig into it and really study it because we were writing a book about it How is and that actually releases in april of are there pink ones but i think that was really helpful because i yeah. was able to gain such a biblical perspective and really kind of like debunk any false ideas that i had like oh sex is bad or oh you know it's gross or awkward Look at that, these like, pink well, overalls like amazing design and intimacy within marriage is such a beautiful thing in the right context you know and so i think that particularly just really studying these, and being intentional to prepare for that was probably yeah. the most helpful thing. When it comes to honeymoon experiences, I yeah. think we hear a lot of mixed Should I get yellow? Should I get pink? Yeah. Like, my honeymoon was awesome, or like, my honeymoon was terrible. Yes. So now that you have experienced a honeymoon, how was it for y'all? Where did they go? <laughs> I actually loved our honeymoon, and I think that's because of the intentionality of getting advice, getting wisdom, and talking to a lot of different people beforehand, getting those mixed reviews, but then realizing, <laughs> like, oh, we can do a lot with our mindsets and the choices that we make going into our honeymoon. So if I had the mindset, like, this is going to be the best of my life, you better make me completely happy, right. I probably would have been pretty Your expectations are, like, 100%. Yeah. Because he's just she human, have been I'm just human, and he can't satisfy me in a way that only God can. But I think because we went into it knowing, like, only God can satisfy us, we were able to just enjoy the moment. We didn't have, like, an expectation that like, we want to accomplish this or do this or experience this. It was just like, wow, I can't, we just want to enjoy I can't get together, overalls. I'm looking. I just other, can't do And it. there's no pressure or expectation for either of us. And so I think because of that, we had an awesome <clears> time. What would you say was what about your the dress favorite one? part about the honeymoon? 
Okay, this is going to sound probably really stupid. This is kind of cute, babe. <laughs> so we were actually in yeah, Denver, Colorado for a little while, and we decided to just like totally just have fun. And we Should actually I put went on to a wish Denver list? Nuggets basketball game. And NBA <laughs> and then basketball. And I can look like that. Bethany. We got burgers and fries and like Cokes, and we sat there. We had really great It was spontaneous, seats. right? Totally spontaneous. We rode like those scooters that are all in oh, the major cities. Those. We rode it oh. all around and we went to the game, and it was just like such a blast because we both love basketball. And so that was a Allison. Totally spontaneous, unplanned moment. I could do a supportive stream. Absolutely love. But for some I reason, like, so people like to see me suffer. Maybe and everyone really just hates me. Back, it was lonely being here <laughs> by myself. If I was like, enjoying I content, I don't know if that would be. Like, I was kind of lonely. But you're back, and now you're married, and you've been married for a couple weeks. Also, I would so feel kind of bad, though, like, playing someone me? else's content. You know, it's crazy, because I... And I like monetizing it. I, I don't feel bad with Girl Defined. Like, or Paula Morgan or Ongezion, but like. I am Mrs. Beale. Like, that's a little different. I don't know. You keep I mean, commenting it is like, oh, it's support. It's support and promotion, but like. Because I think this is what it is. Dave know. and I are best friends, and we were best friends before we got married. And so it's not only are we best friends, but now we're husband and wife, and we're lovers, and we love each other, and everything that goes in with that. But. Like, I'm the same person, and he's the same person, and I just feel like we're becoming better Lovers. versions of ourselves, mm. you know? So, I'm a sinner, he's a sinner, so it's not like I don't have selfish moments. I for sure do, and he does, and it's, you have to work through that, but if you're expecting to have a perfect marriage, it'd be a disappointment. But if you're expecting to have, like, I get to work through this with mm. him, then it's amazing. All right, so, I put so far, a pink overall <laughs> dress on <laughs> my Amazon wish list. What would you say <laughs> are some challenges? There's also Nala you know, treats on there. Really well, There's a cat food on there. Exciting things. Well, we actually think But if someone gets me this, I will make because something we wearing it the airport in honor of Bethany. Flight. We had to get back off our plane. They completely rerouted us. It's actually kind of cute, though. To Colorado, That's kind of cute. We were going. They had lost our bags, and we sh had to go two hours, drive <sighs> two hours away to the place we were staying with not a single bag. I had my purse, and that's it. So <laughs> you have all these expectations. So it was did they say where they went? You realize, like, no. you're still human. Did we miss it, guys? Where did no, they, they go? Never said you still it. have. Oh, well, they did go to Denver. And my natural part of tendency it. is to start. I started They went on a honeymoon in like, Denver. Okay, now it's with dark. I'm <laughs> yeah. getting there late. I wanted to drive through the mountains in the light. And so I've noticed moments like that that can trickle in, and I have to be so intentional to to really like guard my thoughts because my thoughts affect my emotions directly and I've realized like it's really hard you know because you're with this person all the time they don't just like you I leave and I'm like bye and I right. see the next day so if I'm mad at you I can kind of like okay give have a, a day, little you know? break but it's like if a day I feel frustrated at him or he feels frustrated at me you you know even at the end of the day you're together and you have to work through it and so there's no escaping <laughs> conflict and I think that is a challenge to really act Christ-like and be loving even in those moments when it can feel a little difficult. Now that you're on the other side of marriage, if you could go back in time to that moment right before you got married, knowing what you know now, is there any specific advice you would give I want to hear this. Before? Back then? Don't do it, he's gay. Mm -hmm. I think it's, the word that I keep thinking of is intentionality because it's like, it takes so much intentionality even now when you're married, it doesn't go away. So I think being intentional to really like love Dave with a Christ like self-sacrificing like no expectation of return you know just like mm. i love you what are you reading that's how christ loves i was reading me. about her wedding that night how nervous she was. oh my god are you kidding me so whatever you know so i think if i could develop more of that self-sacrificing just other centered i'm freaking kind of out and totally excited on that more i feel like that would only be the hugest gift and blessing to both dave and i <laughs> Thanks so much Once for David and I get married, we will be. Super glad you're back from your we will get to do with our bodies what we are committing guys? to do with our lives. Bethany, we Absolutely, Bethany. I was like, everything. What about me? <laughs> but no, I know y'all love me too. But they were really excited to have you back. So thanks for the too. update. And if y'all want to check out the new book that you mentioned oh, yeah. that's coming out, Sex, Security, and the Longings of yeah. a Girl's Heart, it's not releasing for like over six or seven months. But oh, yeah. April of 2019, you can just stay tuned. We're going to link below a little thing where you can go and actually read about it. I feel so lucky right now. If you're curious, but we're going to be talking what? about it a lot more. Oh, but just a heads up, that's coming out. And then also, I know y'all are going to ask about the shirt because you've seen the Girl Defined shirt. So this is the Sisterhood shirt. And we are going to be releasing, we're going to actually put these for sale because we never sell them yeah. online. We are going to open up online sales just for Christmas, exclusively for like a two week window. So stay tuned. Keep an eye out on our Instagram page. Over Fine. At um, they're talking we'll about merch. About that, we are, we are so selling merch at ffemerch.com. If you use the code girl to find one word, you get 15% off so of everything. Today's video. If you liked it, give Yay. it a thumbs up. If give this a thumbs up. Season, Let's get to 2,000 likes. I believe in us. Every Wednesday. And if you want to keep up with us on a more regular basis, head on over to our website. Imagine, imagine fumbling in the dark <laughs> on wedding night. Oh. Yeah, loosen up. Yeah. I don't want to imagine Back it. On the job, folks. Hey guys, it's Kristen and Bethany. <laughs>
The outfit gets me. What the fuck is she wearing? The wedding? Ah. Uh, it'll be like this. Bobble head. So don't bobble away because I'll be here. That blue okay. shirt is scary. Who support us on a weekly video on your mind? This channel would not be possible without our amazing patrons who basically support us by donating a awesome. dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Oh my god! Basically Their making this channel sustainable horrible. and alive. And so I just want to I feel like shout I have out contributed a few to that. Sam O, Gabrielle, <laughs> let's see here, Chris. Olivia, Heidi oh. Wolfred, Victoria. Why is there always Wilson, one pretty one and Samal one arm? Um, Hamdi, Amanda Thompson. Just I think a they're few both pretty. I just think their style is weird. Supporters, teammates. Patreons recently. So if you want to join us, oh. link arms and say, yes, we like what you're doing. We want to support this channel. We want to see it keep going. We want to join the family. Click the link below and it'll take you exactly where you need to go. Oh join the family, join the Girl Defined Sisterhood and keep this channel going. Join the Girl Defined Sisterhood. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. Oh, yes. Fun. Kristen. Zach yeah. and Dave, we are so excited to have our husbands on. Oh, wow. So the Talk one honest conversations about in the jean jacket the went we through really gay conversion therapy. So many and people also asked, think like, the other James husband said, is gay too. What? You and then there are some theories marriage, apparently like, that they're gay together. Why did you choose <laughs> to do that? Was it worth it? Like, that's what do y'all really think? Strange. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, weird. Oh, is that all so theories? Do we know anything? We know that the guy on the left is went through conversion therapy. We don't have a script. We're just going to be chatting. I'm really sharing each from our own backgrounds and stories of like why I'm so excited. Is it worth it? This is the one I've been wanting to get to. Well, this is only really 14 minutes. Like I know, but like it's, has had sex I haven't seen it. And you're like, man, I regret that. I really do want to honor God in this area in my life. Then we want you to know that God's forgiveness is extended to all of us, that he offers grace and forgiveness. And that overall, again, of us, as we've made choices in the past, we can choose today to draw a line in the sand and say, God, would you help me from this point forward to walk faithfully for you? Gay confirmed for jean jacket? Any of us can make that choice. So are jean jackets good? You yeah. That God is in the business of restoration and forgiveness and that our like future blue jean jackets? Past. Okay, so to kick things off, let's just talk about why in the, the husbands world keep you looking at each other for marriage. So, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't because we're not fans of sex. We yeah. love sex, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, the reason is because. God has called us Raven, oh my God. Word. I cannot so, wait. Don't be sexually <laughs> I put overalls on my Amazon <laughs> wish list. <laughs> oh my God. Right. I can't wait. I'm going to be like Bethany. Five. For, the will, for this is the will of God, your uh -oh. sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body or her own body in holiness and honor. Raven, you're me. Not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. And so this is, this is one of a lot of different verses mm -hmm. in the Bible that God talks about. Yeah. The one on the left keeps staring at the one on the right. Sexual immorality as being a sin. We don't want to do that as Christians. Mm -hmm. And having sex before marriage is what God calls a sin. So, and so that's the high calling. That's like the base yes. of what we're doing here. It's, it, the reason we did that was because God has called us to something greater. So that's, that's the main point. why. That's the yeah. main yeah. why. As I like far that. as like, but intellectually, like yeah. why did I do that? Well, yeah. right. um, <laughs> Yes, exactly. Like yeah. bring it down, yeah. bring it down. So, I mean, because... Uh, you know, that was the idea around the community that we were in. It was like, hey, don't do not do that. That was yeah. one of the reasons. Right. Good good positive encouragement from those around me. Um, but I, I think just intellectually, like, I knew just sleeping around with other girls is not going to be that helpful for right. me. Right. Um, <laughs> and it, just totally. thinking about the future, I want to yeah. have one person that I'm committed yeah. to. Yeah. And, um, you know, yeah. knowing one person is different than knowing ten people. Yeah. And I just get, it's gotta be better. Yeah. Like that just intellectually makes totally. sense. Yeah. So I think uh, that's so good. That takes such forethought too. I love that. It's yeah. like you have to think ahead. Like what do I want for the future? Mm -hmm. What's interesting about that, what especially what you were saying, the scripture passage, um, is that God we believe that God made Oh my god, Allison for real sex for a reason. <laughs> Wait. Is that, and so how is that possible? Says, Wait. You know, we miss merch orders. Patrick, thank That's you. That's not just Jose, a thank you. statement because he's God and we got to obey. Like even though that would be enough, but it's not just. Oh my that. God, I'm so excited. He's actually, actually introducing these these uh, guidelines and these uh, not just guidelines, these boundaries, boundaries for our good. Yeah. And yeah. so I, you know, there's a passage where. Oh right, my where God, it you says, guys. Uh, he that you know, uh, basically <laughs> has sex outside of marriage is sinning against himself. Like he's saying yeah. it against I'm his so own excited. body. And what we believe, I believe, sex is a promise. 
the act of sex is your body making a promise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it's schizophrenic to make a promise with your body without making a promise, a covenant yeah. with your mind and your heart. It's and that schizophrenic? And actually is uh, disintegrated from mm -hmm. what it means to flourish. That's the way you use it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there's that. I have so many issues uh, with that. The great analogy is, you know, uh, Using you schizophrenic as an insult, at, like that's an actual thing people suffer with, first of all. Free. Like, that's a, just a and it also has cultural narrative. Like, I need to be having sex. No place uh, in the conversation. It doesn't make sense. Express itself in this sort of in what? This way sexually, mm -hmm. and and in that way, I will be liberated. I will be my truest self. I will. I right. will be. Yeah. I'm so confused. Uh, fullness of life. Yeah, because there's that, this idea that yeah. to withhold anything is exactly. going to be damaging. That's right? a false or narrative. Unhelpful. That's not true. That's just not true. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Uh, Why do they say yeah so much? People, because they know, don't have anything else to say. It. Most people you know might believe it doesn't make it true. Yeah. And the reality is freedom can only be experienced within proper constraints. Yeah. That That's mm -hmm. what we believe. You take a fish, oh, like poor a fish. Guy is the most free when the fish is in water. I heard this great analogy, right? Fish is the most free when it's in water. The moment a fish, you know, jumps out of the water onto the land, yeah, you could say, well, it's more free than it was in it's the in water. It's in the perfect world. It's in the <laughs> world. It, you know, it, it doesn't have the constraint of water, and it will die. <laughs> like that, and, and so yeah. God has put these boundaries. There we go, Raven. I, us, that's the first yeah. thing I thought. Through, like through his word. For our good, so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He knows what. So what's it stands yeah. to reason that a designer is gonna know how best. The fish analogy is stupid. The ocean is vast. It's totally, like, totally, like, yeah, not like a small so space. Not to, not to mention the one. Sorry, one of the. No. <laughs> like, would we be more free if we <laughs> drowned? There's just studies. Like, Institute yeah. for Family. Uh, Institute for Family Studies. There's some government websites that just talk about yeah. how. Like, do you want to be happy in marriage? Well, don't. Is have he a sex gay fish? Oh my god. That's the. That's hilarious. The more you have sex outside of marriage, the more unhappy oh, you can make a video saying that in the uh, grocery store. Yeah, yeah. And the frozen fish. So sexually, like no one Christian people are saying. Just then you should try to do it. But I had one wish. Because you know that I'm a gay fish. Gay fish. A motherfucking gay fish. And I think that backs up scripture in so many ways. Like as Christians, we can have scripture and then we can also have science. Like and so often they come from one another, and it's just a reminder that God, like you were saying. God's design Gay is fish, for yeah. us. He's not yeah. against us. And I think so often we can have this perspective. <laughs> that Tom, God is just a this is worse than the My Pillow right? guy. Like he wants to squish our fun, squish our passion, yeah. and give us this bland life where we're just like literally sitting there, you know, not even laughing or smiling. But God overalls. is a yeah. God of passion, and he created yeah, cool. sex, and he created it Oh my God, we can match. Can you get me a pair? Experience, like filled with yeah, ecstasy and wonder well, and exploration. But like you were saying, he's given Why? Us you can be Kristen and, and I can be Bethany. We can actually give me like a pair of cool and thrive overalls. in. And so if we even change our perspective of God and say, yeah. like, wow, God is for Myra, me. thank you. There are fish that can breathe air. Snakefish. Right, then it really puts it in this positive light. And if you're before marriage waiting to have sex, you're not waiting in misery, but you're saying, I'm waiting for something so awesome. Yeah. And I think so much that's better. the yeah. perspective yeah. that yeah. so many yeah. of us have. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to stop that question. <laughs> we've got more. We've okay. got more. So you have to... <laughs> you have to... That one no, no, no. It's a good so question. So now, you're, we gave perspectives and thoughts. Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? Because all of us did choose that. Right. We all chose to wait until marriage to have sex. And so now looking back, we're six months looking back, y'all are eight years looking back, right? Mm -hmm. Was it worth it to save sex for marriage? Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, obviously I didn't experience anything beforehand, so I can't really like say, well, <laughs> exactly. Really, you know, but <laughs> yeah. I, I can't say that I would, man, I wish I had kissed more girls. And yeah. Right. More girls. Like, no way. Yeah. Like, I've experienced so much joy with just being with Kristen that mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine anything else. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't regret Even though we were Even in the days, context no of schizophrenia, the culture doesn't make, doesn't make, make sense. I, exactly. The journey. Yeah, the journey is so It bad. makes no it sense. Is. And then with you know? the committed relationship, like the covenant, the promised relationship of marriage, it's just so beautiful because there's that freedom to just explore and enjoy knowing yeah. you're not going anywhere. We're going to yeah. be together. Whether I'm bad at this, good at this, we can just enjoy and learn together. Yeah. I think there's this perspective in the culture, like you've got to be good at these things, right? Like uh. you've got to practice and you know, yeah. test drive things. <laughs> well, and, and what is good? Yeah. True, what's the standard? So athletic and other things. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, get rid of that. That's, that's yeah. totally, totally. A, a, an expectation. There's an expectation that is just yeah. hooey. 
Yeah, yeah to put totally. it lightly. <laughs> to put it yeah. lightly. I've never, yeah. So you guys are newly married. So what about yeah. for you guys? I feel yeah. so uncomfortable. I think, yeah. I think looking like my body back on it and thinking, wow, was it worth it to do that? Like 100%, there is not one doubt in my mind. I now, especially even being on this side of marriage, it's like absolutely like I can say that from the core of the core of my waited, 30 years. Right, you waited yeah. a long time yeah. 30 years to kiss or have sex or any of that, really. Jesus Christ. And I think, wow, what a beautiful moment. Like the anticipation is so beautiful. Could you imagine telling so your seven year old self that you're like, summer camp and you have to wait until you're 30 to even and kiss? Wow, look who I get to experience this. And I can tell much you seven, seven's a little late. Sweeter much than less saying, touch wow, a boob. I'm going to wait Jesus to share this with the man <laughs> who has committed a crazy everything to me. We're entering into a covenant uh, and he has chosen to give up everything else and to love me exclusively for the rest of his life. You like, should send girl to find an invitation to your wedding. You know, and he's not looking at me. You're not looking at me saying like, you have to be perfect and I'm expecting like these moves you know it's like there's an, like you're saying like some acrobat i don't know yeah, what, um, what do you want from me yeah. yeah it was so sweet and so like the innocence and beauty of it i think is something that you just how like, uncomfortable must that have been and so, like 100 percent absolutely no regret yeah, absolutely and i i mean yes absolutely worth it it's I've experienced, we've experienced so much value yeah. in, in our sexual relationship that um, if that's really, especially as time goes on, even though we've only been married for several months, yeah. yeah, as time goes on, I'm finding that there is a sweetness that is actually growing. Do we need shots? that lines up with, mm -hmm. you know, neurological know. research. Something. The I'm more like sex you have right with now. one person, the more connected sex you're having with one person, the more your brain gets tied and starts to associate sex with that person. So sex outside of marriage, um, before the promise, before the covenant, yeah. is going to be totally different sex, yeah. right? And especially, especially I think that if it's with different It's gonna people. be pretty you know, similar. Because your body's trying before to get tied to that, for us. And, then, and then you're breaking that. And so yeah. your body is making promises, Decided breaking try promises, it. making promises, mm -hmm. breaking promises. Now, if you're having, we can if, make if one of these videos. Have, you know, sex with you before we got married, that would have been, totally different sex than after we got yeah. married because we're again our bodies are making a promise we haven't yet stood in front of each yeah. other and said I will commit my the rest of my life to you and it, what I'm experiencing what we're experiencing is a heightened joy and a heightened yeah. sweetness as, as yeah. time goes on yeah. and we can even attest Good, eight yeah. years later it just still gets sweeter yeah, yeah. yeah. it really does because that I love what you're saying that bond does grow oh, deeper Chris, and that I'm so promise sorry. of what we're committing to with our life and our bodies all reflect the yeah. same promise so the final fight. question to wrap yes. it up that a lot of you have asked is, would we do anything differently going back? So if you could go back in time, would you change it? Would you do something differently? I bet they're gonna say no. Maybe yes, maybe no. Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> no, would you do anything differently? Or smooching in high school? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably not. Um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a thing. Um, I would uh, even be more committed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I see it on this side and the, the yeah. benefits and the value and, and the fact that yeah. God didn't lie to me yeah. when he that's told true. me that this was good. Yeah. I go, on this side now, it's like, I would even be more passionate yeah. on that side. Like, I gotta fight are, are for this. Really yeah. That's a really good yeah. point. You know, whereas it's other people time. were really helping me see the light and stuff, I'd be the first one yep. to be like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, no mm -hmm. way. I agree with that. I think the same thing. I would have been even more of an advocate. Like, it's so uncomfortable. It's so worth it. It's so awesome. If I could go back and have the knowledge I have now before I was married, I think I'd have that same perspective. Totally. Yeah. I think it's only complicated because there's just a lot of cultural narratives that are who yeah. like, <laughs> we and, and Ooh, that's yeah. honestly I think the one the one reason why we're even talking about this you know yeah. it's been a given for I, I think for centuries in a lot of different uh, cultures and ways but um, the reality is I would I would be just like you're saying I'm more of an advocate after I've experienced it mm -hmm. I had to be an advocate by faith yeah, for, that's yeah, true. for saving sex for marriage now I'm an advocate by experience. Yeah, yeah totally I think that the only thing I would go back and do differently is really strive to gain even a more biblical perspective mm. that would have penetrated my heart more because I think when you're younger you're like okay it can be a little bit more about the rules because you yeah. don't take the time yeah. to really strive to understand why did God this amazing good father put these boundaries there for right. me. So I think if I could have better understood that as like an early single, late teen, whatever, I think that would have been even more helpful and given me just more of a gratefulness to God for yeah, creating this true. amazing, like creating sex and putting it within the context of marriage. I feel like I understood that a lot right before we got married. But Did we I mess up by not waiting? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you yeah. so much guys. I know. For 
being on here. Should we start <laughs> now? Being, being on the table with October. us and talking about some very. It's my favorite topic. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Honestly, it's actually my favorite topic. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I love talking about sex. <laughs> well, everyone else wants to hear about it because we get so many talking about, about it. it. So I think we're going to have to do something like this again. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, definitely give us a thumbs up. If you want to see the guys back on here, comment below. <laughs> Let them know. And if you oh, want to see oh, um, this uh, your videos on a more regular basis, definitely hit the subscribe button. And of course, support us on Patreon.com. Yeah. That's, That's just huge. Uh, it's huge, it's huge. Where you can help our channel to continue on because as you know there aren't a lot of channels like this and so we need your support to keep this ad free commercial free and to help it continue on so patreon.com slash girl define to help us keep going and you can make for joy's sake yeah, that was, that was <laughs> well that was an interesting one you guys okay. thank you for being here Expected. Are you looking so, up tickets to their right conference? Okay, well, okay. I'm just curious if they've said anything about it. Oh god. Oh no, this is a long one. This is a live stream. It's an hour long. Here we go. So this is Bethany and her husband that apparently went through conversion therapy and this stream was a huge topic when it came out. He hasn't but the stream did. Oh. And I apparently have been told by a lot of people like, oh my God, you need to see this. It's so obvious that he is gay and married to her and has all this pressure from her and Christianity. And uh, I feel really bad, but I am interested to see what it is that people were picking up from this stream that made them say that. So uh, buckle up. This is an hour long stream that we're watching on this our stream is six hours but this one is an hour and we are going to begin right now anybody who wants to spin the wheel make us take a shot might make this slightly more enjoyable for us but yeah please feel <laughs> free to spin the wheel Ugh. feel free to merch it and uh yes thanks for being here save me I feel like someone. this one's so far away but that's okay <clears throat> so we have instagram and youtube this will and be an we're interesting so one. super excited for everyone to be on here oh with us. Oh my god, us. look at him. <laughs> That's right. Are you excited? We are so excited. And guess what? Oh, it's weird. <laughs> we hold hands for those of you who have been following our story. What was that? It's a special moment. They hold in hands. We're so excited. So I know people are probably just getting on because Babe, we... Babe, give me your hand. Them. Give me your hand. I'm we'll trying. Oh. And YouTube, we're... Look it. We're holding oh hands. God, so well, everyone's getting We're warm. happy. Oh, Do you guys see? We're holding hands. Oh, the light. Well, <laughs> it's not awkward. Define straight. Oh, I broke my wrist. Now you can see us. <laughs> now hopefully you can see us. We might look oh. a little brighter. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, they you would love it. <laughs> wow. Right. Oh, I think I got so the excited. audio right. Okay, we're just That's adjusting things because I want everyone to have a great time watching and I want this to be we will. a little bit. Uh -huh. there we go. <laughs> so we're so super excited to be with y'all and hanging out with y'all. It's been a big week for us sure and uh, for those of you who have been following Girl Find for a while or, or been following me, you have probably, I know some of you have said like, wow, it's been so fun to follow along on the journey. And after all these years, you actually get into Look at his smile. And then get engaged. And so right. for those of you who have been following Girl Define or following my journey for like years now, I'm super excited that I get to share this moment with y'all. And those of you who are just newer to Girl Define or newer to our story, we're super excited that you're here too, because we want to keep, keep sharing, so. Yeah, this has been a long time coming, has it not? How do you feel watching this? 29 years, and this is the first time this happened. Really? It's That's the right. first time holding hands? That's right. It's That's true. Deal. I've never uh, had one of these. So, oh, y'all, I cannot wait to tell you uh -huh. the story and for, for us so to So wait, share, are they I married yet or no? Sure that they are. Oh, in this video. Um, I think so, yeah. I just don't want it to be leaning like this. I want it to be straight up and down. Straight up and down. Yeah. Like, um, like this. Like, yeah, not tilted. Oh. Like that. Okay. Uh, like, look at that ring. Uh, what what yeah. was that? It was like was Wait, can you oh. rewind a little bit? <laughs> See the ring? Okay, no, so just rewind I just a little don't bit. want anyone. Please. I know some people are still getting on, and I don't want to start um, 
because I know someone said they missed the notification. Like this. Like, yeah. Is this good, guys? So you're gonna move a little just bit. Just a little bit this way. Okay, and just don't want it to be leaning like this. I want it to be straight up and down. Straight up and down. Yeah. Like, um, like this. Like, yeah, not tilted. Oh. Like that. Okay. Hopefully y'all can hear it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I just felt like I was too much. Oh. I was too much of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just don't want anyone. I know huh. some people are. No, go back and further. I start. Um, really? Because I know yeah, sorry. I, am, I have to listen to the chat. Because I want it. So. I, yeah, this has been a long time. Sorry, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get it. Has it not? Is that the very beginning? Back to where she was standing. Twenty nine years, and this is the first club. <laughs> I knew it was good. Or something. Define strength. Oh, nice. Now you can. Who have been following our story, you know that this is a special moment. Okay, just leave it here. Just leave, just leave <laughs> I'm it here. I'm so excited. So I know people are probably. I have to listen. I have to pay attention. Because we, I told them, I told them on the video that we would be on Instagram and YouTube, but I know it takes like a quick second. I just want to adjust yeah. this though while everyone's getting on. Ah, where uh, it's straight. Does it look straight? Mm -hmm. Oh, the light. Well, <laughs> I knew it looked dark or something. Define straight. Oh, nice. Now you can see us. Now, hopefully, what the fuck? You might look a little bit brighter. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, that's what we needed to see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all, we're so excited. Okay, we're just Defying adjusting things because I want everyone to have a great time watching, and I want. Can to we? Can you play down. that one more time? There we go. We have an hour. Please, so I just want to see so that one more time. Super excited to be with y'all and hanging out with y'all. It's been a bit. We would be on Instagram and YouTube, but I know it takes. Cannot like believe it. Eyes, but while everyone's getting on, ah, uh, where it's straight. Does it look straight? Mm -hmm. Oh, the light. Well, <laughs> I knew it looked dark or something. Define straight. Oh, nice. Now you can see us. Now hopefully you can see us. We might look a little bit brighter. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, babe, you look lovely. <laughs> Oh, y'all, we're so excited. Okay, we're just adjusting things because I want I everyone know. to have a great time watching, and I want this to be tilted down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> so we're so super excited to be with y'all and hanging out with y'all. It's been a big week for us. Sure has. And um, I don't know how to you like been following girl process for a that while, or, or been following me. You have probably, I know some of you have said like, wow, it's been so fun to follow along on the journey. And after all these years, so you actually get into a relationship and then get engaged. And so right. for those of you who have been following Girl Define or following my journey for like years now, I'm super excited, excited to share this moment with y'all. And those of you who are- What do you feel looking at that? I mean, he could have been talking about the camera. That you're here too. He said Define because stretch. Really and then he went like this, sure. come on. So. Yeah, this has been a long time coming, has it? Destiny Davis, hashtag define straight. <laughs> 29 years, and this is the first time this happened. That's right. That's right. Is it just it's me, or do they like go out of their way to be like really clingy oh, on each other? Know, like, I cannot wait to tell you uh -huh. the story and for, for us to share, but oh. I just want to make sure that hopefully. I'm no! Gonna, ah! You're going to move a little just bit. Just a little bit this way. Oh, okay, I just don't no. Want it to be like this. I want it to be do you yeah. want a treat? Like, like, yeah, I can't. Oh. I cannot believe yeah. this. Okay. This poor, okay. poor guy. Exactly. No. Like Do you want a treat? Oh. <laughs> Come here. Okay. So I just don't want anyone. I know some people are still getting on, and I don't want to start. Um, Come here. Because I know someone said they missed the notification. But we're oh. super excited that y'all are on here. Super excited. Okay. And on, just baby. so you know, we can't really see the comments because the cameras are kind of far away. So if you're asking questions or anything right now, we can't really see. On YouTube, I can't see anything, and that's okay, though. Um, but we will post this video to Instagram Live for the next 24 hours, and YouTube will be up permanently. So you'll be uh, able oh, to Oh, Levi watch just uh, picked up some merch. Anytime. Thank you, Levi. Share it with your friends. Share it with your neighbors. That's good. <laughs> share it with your grandma, whoever. Thank and you, share Destiny. This story. And for us, it's really special because then we'll have it forever. That's true. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, we are thrilled. This okay. is out there. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you're, you're still this talking. This is a thrill. This is so great. All right. You want to start? So what do you think? Yeah, I think that we should uh, we should tell them the story. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tell you the whole story from conversion therapy on. Yeah. Go ahead. 
from the beginning to the end. And so the beginning starts with him because he's the one that decided that he wanted to keep. I was excited and he kept wanting to be excited. So All right, here's how, it, here's how it goes. About two months into our relationship, give or take. Yeah. I don't remember the exact day, but I think somebody wrote it in her journal. I have it somewhere. Yeah. I told Bethany we were at a wonderful, authentic Thai restaurant, as you do, and um, I told her that I wanted to marry her, and that I was sure, and I was very, very specific about that, and that was a definite uh, uh, update or upgrade in our relationship and just the way we were talking, and so uh, that kind of started it all, because the whole point of that stage of the relationship before engagement was to figure out whether or not we should be married. So about two months or less, I feel like it, it was, was less. It was pretty fast. And I have had it all figured out. I definitely wanted to marry her, and now it was just a matter of uh, getting on the same page about that. And you weren't, at that point, you weren't asking me to marry you. I was not saying, yeah, no. Not you at the Thai just... restaurant thing. Yeah. Not at the authentic Thai like, restaurant. Well, you married me. He just wanted me to know, like, I am so there. I know I don't have any yeah. more questions that I need answered. I'm so committed, but I, I know we need to keep getting to know yeah. each other. Because then she'd and have. I was, shocked. I was like, yeah. Then you'd have some time to be able to get used to the idea, <laughs> and uh, and that's actually how that's how it happened. So we had a, a couple things that we wanted to do before we got engaged. So even though I had expressed to her my desire to be married to her, and that I was sure. Um, we, we missed a streamlab spin. Going to classes, um, like uh, free Nama, Nama, stuff like that. Can I have the, um, Please come to Israel, like you that. guys. So you two now. are adorable together. Can yeah. we get Nala and the kitties? Lots of love from me and my three hamsters. Oh, hello, Nama. Toda. Uh, we will definitely ago, come to Israel I was someday. Convinced that this is a great way okay. to do relationships. Oh, I really think that this is great. You know, I thought it was a great way. What is it? A, a Holy combo. Spirit. But that's yes! The point. That's what I wanted that's it to be. That was a good, a good one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much so, for the love. Anyway, um, we were doing those things. One of the things we wanted to do before being engaged was go visit my family because she hadn't been with my family since uh, we'd been in a relationship. And so we wanted to go and she had met them. So what do you guys think? Is there any staff, chance we to that you think maybe like he is not gay? Which we do did. you think this there's maybe a chance he's bi? Yeah. Leave yeah. a comment April. and let me know so where you think and, uh, it was fantastic. that might be. Because well, I need more. I don't know. I personally need more evidence. And and I'm not seeing any in here. So really quick on what he was saying. Yeah. Seven years. I was probably like seven years ago. Yeah. Is when we met actually at a church. <laughs> and so we went there. And I last there week I lit a bonfire and that so was nearly six feet tall. It still had less flame than this so dude. It's not like they were strangers to me. And, <laughs> and That's I great. Have known each other for quite a while, which is why we can be in a seventh month relationship and be engaged because we we were really really good friends. Like okay, some friends people say definitely like gay, zero percent straight. Years. Before Some people think maybe by and so all of that leading up until this moment. I'm just wondering if part of the journey, you know, so yeah, they're so like having known someone, you know, you went to church, you know, like it's, it's so much. And you were super good friends um, and on a close level, like they're in your home. Could be by. I just wonder if like really is he so forcing himself to be romantic with someone he's point. not attracted to, <laughs> That's or a good point. yes, yes, That's is a good he like point. still into it? We but also guys like selena just picked up some merch oh, selena thanks selena yeah. we went for walk thank you and we were talking about the timeline and specifically about okay like do we really want to get married in october october the month that we've been talking about so if we want to get married do we want to get married in october are we still thinking of that that's now, our month at this point in the discussion we're not engaged yet back then and so we're having a conversation like about when we would be getting married but we don't know when we would be getting engaged. And so it was a very interesting conversation because- uh, That's true, if he was uh, bi, he would not have gone to conversion therapy. To one another was our desire to not that is have true. an engagement that was really- That's gonna uh, suck for her though. Like why would you subject that. yourself to a relationship where the um, person's not attracted to you? And so I'm on the walk I mean, to myself, maybe he like, is, oh, I don't know. Maybe the conversion can work. Out of time, no. like, we need to. We. I need to. I need to get on this because I for sure I do want to get married in October. But I was thinking, 
and maybe three months. For See, because like maybe he just wants to get married, you know, and he wants to be like a family man, but so here's, because yeah, yeah, yeah. of how religious so, he is, he doesn't know that that option is available with a, a guy. I didn't really want like a so maybe the excitement months. that he's yeah. like um, showing is I real excitement, really but for the idea of marriage in a family. And so I just, you know, like if we were gonna get engaged oh like, that's so sad I mean, can we choose something happy married. like that's we're committing to that and happiness so I, don't, I just the idea before no. both of us of having like a long engagement you uh like, to oh, no, nala no, having treats yeah. yeah cheers but for me I'm like, like to you guys treat. suffering with us yeah, yeah to all the people that are here with us you know like it's just hard it would be really stressful and just with all the stuff that's and this conference that we're going to like just a lot of busy oh my god it's 200 dollars uh only if we want vip hard if there were any shorter than that so oh, 130 dollars kind of like having yeah. just an open and honest Seven. conversation wait what is like vip we, we're getting to that point where we're pretty sure like this is this is is it. there a front row and seating so and a private kind of lunch have a conversation like are we really and a book signing this year or not because if we do want to get married this year oh, we kind of have to get we're gonna get we would get kicked out and we can just like chill and relax so that was kind of the conversation just more like you know we know why we're here. This isn't like a game. Like we're yeah. literally here. You should def get VIP. Perfect. Do the VIP. Yeah, yeah that's right. 130 that's bucks, right. 260 <laughs> bucks, yeah, and then that's travel. A good, that's a really good we could we yeah. take we, we the would, RV. And so there were a few. Things like, where is it, Texas? Yeah. So we got how we got how long of a drive we went and visited to Texas? 24 hours. Hey Siri. Out, uh, two Navigate to San Antonio, yeah, Texas. I'm gonna say 24 hours. Pre engagement courses. Pre engagement courses and. We knocked that out pretty fast, and then we got back. 18 to hours. That was yeah. the last thing. Yeah. That Our RV gets before. really that bad gas mileage. That's fine, but we can take Nala. No, we can I'm, I'm go see Grandma. Like, That's true. Get some barbecue. Guys, this is starting to be Have a meetup in Texas. How we could do shows. So we could do shows uh, in Texas, and we could do shows in Arizona. We could sing Jesus music. You know. Engagement and I'm gonna get down on my knees and start time, pleasing Jesus. Is it it, it exactly. Only happened, like, because of our conversation, oh boy, thank you for the like super chat. Wait, span, do we have a like spin? Really we do, Trevor. And later than that, and so for sure she would expect Hidden pics galore on the so Flamers phone. Oh my God. Like, okay, well, wait. Uh, how do we go about this? I actually feel really bad. I hope that I hope that we're wrong. The brilliant idea. Yes. All right, no, Trevor. Was to uh, capitalize more on the anticipation of the thing rather than oh, the yeah. surprise itself. And so, totally. you saw it. always get stuck. Oh, well, but of course, I saw it coming from a million years Girl to find book. I, we both know, like, we have a let's, conversation. Let's read from this one yeah. this time. There's nothing else we want to do before getting married, you know? And I, yeah. oh, I God. appreciate that. I'm much more I opened open randomly to page 65. Where it's like, okay, Gender. Like, yeah. You are yeah, like, oh so the, magnificent. Gender. Oh my god. This is like, I don't know what part to read from. I want it to be funny. Girl, your gender is worth fighting for. Our womanhood has been scarred, but not severed. Damaged, but not broken. We serve a God who is the restoration. <laughs> what Satan meant for evil, God will use for good. And it starts with you. It starts with us. Despite what society thinks, the gender neutral movement will not lead to restoration. It will not lead to fulfillment. It can't. Why? Because its foundation is built on a lie. A lie that says lasting happiness and fulfillment can come outside of God's design. This is so fucked up. It's the same lie Eve believed. In the end, this movement will leave women and men feeling empty, hopeless, and alone. The only sure way to restore our womanhood is to get back to God's design for gender. We have to believe what God's word says and build our lives on his truth. Every Christian woman has to make a crucial choice, a choice to follow God's word instead of listening to the world, a choice to take a step of faith and embrace biblical gender roles. This isn't an easy task though. It's going to take strong women, women who love the Lord, women who want to fight for truth. Women who are willing to swim against the current. <laughs> and people think these women aren't horrible. Yeah. 
Like, come on, that's so, so like, fucked like, up. Details or the date that it would happen. And I randomly so opened to that page. Eventually, because it's like that's why he's here. Yeah, that's <laughs> sad. Yeah, it wasn't really a secret. Here. Like, oh, I wonder. Does I think you have another stream of. Yeah. Like, totally we do. Mm -hmm. we and so, it, and that it totally worked Who? out that way, and it was totally us. Torrent. You know, Torrent. To do something like that where it wasn't. Torrence, so thank you for the stream loves. So Hasn't been enough shots in the stream. I'm too sober to be watching this. Thank you, Torrence. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I think I'm a little. Well, not really. She has no idea. Oh fuck! I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it! I knew that shit was gonna happen. Didn't know. Like what happened? Like starting with like you. What were the steps you started to take? Because you had to do a lot of stuff behind the scenes to actually propose. Yes. So, like, what was happening? Well, I I got to get that ring, right? Yeah, and so I... Listen, uh, I'm so I curious about his story. I had to get that ring. Were you talking to her dad? Okay. <laughs> okay, after I talked to her dad. Very nice. My ring is beautiful. Well, no, I don't yes. know, actually. I didn't know that. Thank you guys for the super chats. God no, damn it. Yeah, How does that happen? Dad, How does that keep happening? Of course. Um, we meet uh, yeah. Thursdays. Yeah, and he said... Yeah, he said yes and he said we'd be honored and all that and i was just like yeah it's just so <laughs> funny because in, in that conversation it was kind of like you know he said you know yes we honored you have the clearance and all that and, and it was funny because it's like i don't know what you talk about after that i don't know if you're like, like I'm sorry marry you like the fajitas <laughs> like uh this is crazy. what did okay, you talk to my dad about after you job, asked him for permission something anyway so no, that was the whole point of the call. Basically but go, go, he was go, saying go, after he asked for permission, it was like awkward on the phone. Get the plan going. Oh, no, it, he did that in, like that in person. Um, I, I had to do a phone call. Um, I see. Sisters and, um, oh, boy, it's and, um, Stara. Mr. AZ said to me recently that the conversion therapy uh, thing may not actually be true, that the proof may not really be there. Excited, Interesting. And, um, I just saw, and, uh, was it Repsion made a video on it? So basically put together a plan. To I don't know. I would uh, hope, so right? I would really hope that it's not now, true, because I think con the idea of just the entire premise behind conversion therapy is so fucked up. So I hope you're. I hope that's true. But I can kind of. I mean, I do get a vibe. I'm not gonna lie. All right, go ahead. Ash for Bethany is the devil. I can sense it. Thank well, you. Well, we're all in hell, and now I'm actually about to be on fucking fire, so. Thank you, Torrance, for the like wheel spin. <laughs> Can you do mine for me? Nope. <laughs> and I told her that, um, and then I saw, I'm gonna look I the side I saw with less on it. tagline or something. And leave the other one for you. Memorize the URL or something like that. And just then, do um, what you feel. The, the web address Why do you put so much on here? I just went straight oh. down and up. Uh, well, and I know a lot of people don't, like, for, it's hard because like you, I, my sisters knew of a ring that I really liked and he doesn't, like I think Fuck for guys, it's like you're gonna do all this work and you, you, you kind of want to know that you're in the ballpark of something she might like. Sure. And so for yeah, me, absolutely. like I was like, well, I might as well do some people when we're talking about a game, but before I was really like, oh, I like the ring ones, I really liked it. Yeah. Um, I'm super, I get a vibe, like, but I hope it wasn't, me too. I hope honest, so too. Like, you know, Fuck. like go into the ring shop and just like, I hate that. It's like I'm really unique and different in those sorts of ways, and so I just wanted him to, like, you know, at least feel like he had a We're gonna be shitting fire later. To work with, and so, but I had no, I, like, I did not even think that he would like remember yeah, to, help. or like just help try to like get Eat something more. so similar. You know, I just thought maybe like, oh, this might help him at least shoot in a, a ballpark of something I would like. You know, so he's not like. But Thanks for those of you that have been spinning the wheel. She wants all her like. How are we landing on that that many times? We've had to land on it six times to get that. Give me a ring that looks just like it, but it was just like, well, maybe this might be helpful. And it was, it was. I took the, I took the God damn it. to several places for, uh, to be exact, I guess, and, and four different jewelers, both small and big, and to try to. Kind what are of they talking about? The jeweler. On what oh, type of ring this I don't know how you're talking about your dick uh, Oh, oh okay. good. Of course, I learned a lot about the ring and the photo, which is the antique ring, and the type of diamonds that were, was in it, um, uh, that were in it, basically, the, without getting too technical, generally the diamonds and probably most commercial engagement rings that you would Sabrina, we're all going to hell, might as well have fun on the way. Um, yes. The more, uh, they're called like round brilliant diamonds. They're American round 
I don't blame you, Rose. It tends to really be shiny and generally very desirable and stuff like that because a lot of a lot of girls are going to want that just that really shiny diamond ring. Well, this one's a little different. She wanted something with some some personality and wow. these. That's a lot of these diamonds happen yeah. to be old mine cut or old European cut diamonds, which are just a little bit more tricky to find or tricky to get because they just don't cut them like that anymore. And so um, I talked to a bunch of a bunch of jewelers and basically tried to get a sense for how feasible would this be. I have three weeks basically. Can you make something like this? And uh, can you find diamonds that have that sort of personality? And, uh, Ultimately, a few a few attempts and the saddest thing so is she well, looks so happy. I found this one great shop um, that's actually in town. Yeah, I feel bad. Really smaller, and uh, they do lots and lots of custom Man, stuff. Man, some so hot sauce, there. Raven. And, uh, they you know, did it. <laughs> and we'll tell you more about it. I have to agree with you. I don't want to tell you what I thought about it until we get back yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, plan, and then I had to think of a place. And so I thought, well, would it not be quaint? To propose in the town where we met, and so I thought Fredericksburg. Actually, been in Fredericksburg, and uh, I'll t maybe you take a little bit. Um, I'll talk uh, about well, where are we at? The day. Okay, well, let's fast forward to the day. The fast forward. To I the day. can't okay. fill my Saturday. This job. past Saturday is the day that he had picked out, and it was a perfect day. My family had been gone for like the two weeks right before that, so I knew we yeah. probably weren't going to get engaged when my family was gone because yeah. I feel like that would probably not work with all my sisters and family and everyone. They'd probably want to be there, <laughs> like yes. at least to celebrate afterwards, not like they're there. Yes. So Saturday morning comes, and he had invited me out to celebrate oh, yeah. seven months of oh, our so they're not, a cat. They're not married it here. Wasn't technically Saturday. It was a few days before. They're engaged. Oh, they're engaged. Which makes Let's their PDA weird. Let's go celebrate our seven-month anniversary on Saturday. And I'm like, oh, like Interesting. a super big celebration? And he's like, yeah, I mean, seven months All is right. a big deal. It's a big deal. I'm going to go really get to be deal. Wear your favorite dress. Like, <laughs> so he told me to wear That's my fun. favorite dress. Should I continue? That I, oh, yeah. You know, just that whatever for me feels cute. You can fill me in. I, you know, you want to feel cute. So he said, <laughs> we well, promised to be if we got another to bomb and we did. Cute. So do whatever right. you want to feel cute for yourself. And yeah. so I'm like, uh, so I'm starting to like, kind of like freak out like, oh my goodness, I think that it's going to be that day. And so I didn't really ask him right, or my sisters or anything. It's I our really stream now. Surprise. So Friday night came and we were together. So. And then Friday, Friday, I actually. I have an, an engagement house, proposal so video. Like, Edited. I, I actually had Italian paparazzi hiding in the bushes uh, on our tour when when we went to Rome, and uh, I have all of it filmed. So uh, ours is done. It's pretty cute and cool. Um, so in time, in time we'll release it. Not 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 just yet, but uh, it's done. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. It's very cute. Yeah, exactly. Well, you got to dance before the big day. So I was dancing and. I don't know how uh, I feel about these guys. I you know, I'm, I hope they're happy. Downstairs, and she's in this beautiful red poppy dress that she got, and that was new. This is my introduction to Girl Defined. The girl in the entire world, and so she was feeling super cute. I was. Oh, I can see all your comments. I'm gonna see cute. what you guys are saying. And you look so handsome. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uncomparable. She was just absolutely gorgeous, and so. Um, and so we hopped in the car. Everybody was so excited, like, happy family. Is there a spin we missed? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, bye. It's, it's obvious. You missed the you spin. Spin. Oh, never mind. It, then the magic still yes. is retained. So we get in the car, and I get in there, and there's a little present and a super sweet car. Hi from Michigan. In the dashboard area. And there's coffees for both of us, fresh water, just everything perfect. And so I'm like, I think gonna be the day like trying not to freak out just like oh you know and he was, was being so, so sweet. sweet she was absolutely adorable and just like trying to figure it out she'd go quiet sometimes when we were driving just trying to like figure out where we were going he didn't tell me anything i didn't know where we were going oh, what we were doing i just knew that i was in my cute red poppy dress and uh -huh. i didn't have a ring on my finger and we were heading out and so we started driving i had no idea where we were someone asked what my sign like, is i am a cancer Sweet. Not that I don't know if that means anything. Gift, and it was just a super sweet, thoughtful gift. And I drank my mocha. 
because I love the mocha, and it was delicious. This is their and engagement we story? To Fredericksburg. The, yes. the mocha? And we pulled into, we went way out to this like super adorable little restaurant. Yes, called, called Fredericksburg Herb Farm. And uh, this is this no like more shitty men for Jack then. Bed and breakfast with a, uh, like a dining restaurant. area, yeah, restaurant. And so, so we cute. went to the restaurant part of it. And uh, it was so cute. So we walk in and I'm like, oh, you know, and I'm, as a girl, it's like, I don't know, like he could be proposing like here, he could be proposing at the end of the day. Like I'm on my toes the entire day because I literally have like no idea what is happening. Yeah. So we go into the little restaurant and it's super adorable. And then we, the waitress takes us to the back table and there's flowers on the table already with another gift and another card. Yeah. Things like already custom set up for us. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, so I'm like, Oh, like, like so going crazy in my brain and like freaking out, but just like trying not to. See, like, Jackson had no clue. No, I'm gonna get this girl to totally, you know, totally crazy knew. To think about, like, ah, so that was super, super fun. And lunch was delicious. We got all sorts of delicious things. And um, so before the food came, though, the food was taking forever to get to us. Like it really was. It was taking a long time. And so he started to get like, he started to seem like he was kind of like oh. stressed. And so I'm we like, have oh, a, we must need to be a visitor in the like, studio. Oh, the food comes soon, and then the food came, but then something must have changed because he was like, kind of relaxed again. Like, oh, we got now, Alma, you had a second came, donation. It took a lot longer. I wanted to kind of get on it. Oh my God, you're right. Like, yeah, we did miss right. another spin. <laughs> so they brought it. Have another spin. I, Hope I you get something wrong. nicer this time. Been and been please, can we I see the kitties? Naama. We have a kitty. Thanks to you. We ate. And then got out of there, and then what happened? And so we got back into the car. She's like, yes, and I'm like, I, mean, I have no idea. Like, we could walk over to like a cute area and propose. It's like I just am so on my toes. Their proposal so is. We get back in the car, uh, and he's all right she, in. Get, like, she knew what was up with this proposal. Like, oh, she did. Yeah. Come. And so she knew all day. She's like, oh, it'll be sometime in the day. That's not cool. And we she. Start heading, like, the outer, like, countryish Meow, yes. Okay. There are, um, Feel free to wander. Tip. Baby. Restaurants and all of this yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing stuff. And so Come here. we pull in. Yes, we pulled into one of those vineyards and got out. And uh, it was it was kind of like a really no. So we owe a spin? Yeah. yeah. How do you feel? Like all of those questions. Because I was pretty sure this was it. This was the she moment. Just absolutely you want to do it? She was so no, it's all you. Her personality. Like, all of the patient, like she was. Oh, and I was just oh my fucking god! It's just a, it's just that one. is not okay. It's it's just one vote for it. It's just one. It takes two. It takes two to take. But how do we keep landing on that? And um, and so we get out of the car. That that is so stupid, unreal. Restaurant and people just like taking pictures and looking around because the place was just like to die for, adorable. And so then there's like this little lake and pond, which if you've seen our engagement pictures, you know. Yeah. So there's this cute little like lake and pond thing like away from the people completely, like further almost like adorable white. I'm about ready to put a weight at the opposite the wind, end of that wheel. Adorable. And so we start walking through, like not even on. There's the look, there's nothing on the back. Like, like why does that keep happening? And then all of a sudden we just happen upon why? this adorable table sitting in the middle of everything. With flowers on it in the middle of nowhere, yeah. and then um, a whole no sign thingy on the table that says reserved. And then he's like, "Turn it over." So I turn over the sign, and then there's this super sweet letter to me. And then he ends it with just saying, "Are you ready?" And I'm like, "Ready? This is the moment!" And so I'm just like totally freaking out of my brain because I'm like, "Oh my goodness!" Like the moment, like I'm 29. I've been like this moment is never coming like it's just it never has come and i just feel like how can this be like how can i be here like this is too good like this is just too amazing and too perfect and too much like i never imagined i'd be in this moment with someone that i love so much and want to be with so much and never that's, like, be kissed to me. is the girl like, 30 probably, like a lot of you girls it feels like it always happens this is just 29 people, right never no never be kissed kind of the like movie oh that way will never, come. never so been kissed yeah I felt. So it was, like, in would that you moment, bury more i don't remember realizing it was actually about to happen was just so 
crazy. Yeah, what else? Talk, talk, tell him a little bit more about that. So I hope he's at least by. I feel kind of bad for them. Same. I really hope that like, he's into it, you like, know? Uh, am I sure about this? Oh, like no. any of that? So like that? it was, I felt 100%, 100 million percent sure. A lot of the stuff, like the pre engagement counseling that we had done, just being super intentional with all of our conversations yeah. and really praying and a lot and seeking outside wisdom, I just felt like 100% this was what God had for me. I felt like this was 100% the, like, what I would my future and I couldn't be more excited and so in that moment I think it was also overwhelming to feel like wow I have no questions I have no concerns I know my family is so supportive I know this is it's so weird thing. because if it were so anybody else saying this I'd be so stoked for them this, but I, I just feel like so I don't believe it which makes it very sad and feeling that much peace just because I had never been there you know you can't really know it if you haven't been there and so I think she believes like, it which makes it even more sad like so overwhelming and because she gave such a that's that's the that's the uh, vibe that she gave off was this like just anticipation, like totally just excited. I was a hundred percent comfortable in the situation because I was so I was so secure and and free to just move forward with what I had planned for her. And so that, that I really I really think I don't think of it enough, but that really that made it for me. It made it so. So they Maybe can't kiss. Like because I knew 100% that you wanted this to happen. Yeah. And so... I um, guess not. That was really nice. Not every guy is going to get that. And so I, I just, I really, that We're was great. amazing. And so you, you really, you really made she, just what she had in her personality at that time. I, it was, it could not have been more perfect. Mm -hmm. It could not have been more like the perfect, uh, the perfect Colleen! <laughs> To do anything like this with, you know? It was a really sweet Who is moment, that? like really special. We, just, we prayed a lot even before, just like, Worse than not, like on. we just would pray for our future and even for is? the moments no. of the day. I'm going to screenshot your engaged, comment and look it up later. I'm just praying that God would really Thank you, Colleen. Peace and just I just took a screenshot of your comment so I can look into that. Big moments of our future. When we are not we just really torturing ourselves. <laughs> so, we're at that little table that says reserved and then it says, are you ready? And so I'm like, ooh, you know? And so then he says, let's go over this direction. And so. Which is like nowhere. Which is like nowhere, into the woods, like nothing. And so. Into the woods. Into the woods by the lake. And so then we start walking over and there's this big oak tree. And then when we come around. Thank you for it, the super chat player, Rick. Leaning against the oak tree. And in my head, I was like, oh my goodness, this is totally the moment because I know he's probably gonna sing a song to me before sing. proposing. And that's gonna be like the most special moment. And so then. We get over there, and he's super sweet, and he's just like, all right. So then he's like, okay, you stand right there. And then he pulls out his ukulele, and he doesn't really say anything else yet. He just starts singing. And so he first he sings postcards, which is our fate, like our little like our song, I guess, like our favorite little song, um, and kind of like warm up. And I'm like, oh, it's super sweet. <laughs> Trevor, I hope she allows toys like, in the bedroom. So and then he sings another song, and so you know me to too. I doubt it though. <laughs> There's no way I could imagine that being <laughs> we have a sexual acceptable. Oh yes! Is he gonna sing? Bethany. So you have a lot of fans in your life. And I'm one of them. It's actually not bad. And 
then he puts the ukulele down and then he pulls out a gift bag that had been sitting over there and then he pulls out a little box. <laughs> pulls out a little box and then he drop down on one knee. <laughs> <laughs> he got down on one they knee. drag the story out so long they the forget moment, what it's it about just, I felt like you never know how you're going to respond in that moment because you know you don't really get it many moments in your life and so I was just so overwhelmed in the moment I was just like, oh, like crying because it was just so perfect and so special and so sweet and he didn't like suck at singing I don't remember anything you said I looked at her and I said Bethany Lynn Christine <laughs> it feels so bad for him. I feel like he's trying so, so hard to convince everyone that, that it was what they that. wanted. I don't remember. She it. was, she, she's, um, when I got down on one knee, she covered her face almost immediately. <laughs> and uh, I was just thinking, like, this is it. And, uh, That's what so I did. I asked you. It's like said, universal girl thing. You go like this, right? And I was like crying. She and was crying, and I was just thinking, like, this could not be more perfect. She's the cutest, sweetest girl in the entire world. So he can't and I kiss got her. To say that I love her because that's something yeah. we haven't been doing. Oh, I felt like they were almost like gonna kiss her. I had a quota, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and starved of okay. Donna. So the other part that was shocking is because one, I'm like, it's this surreal moment where you're like, oh my goodness, like I am literally, he's proposing to me right now. Like this moment, I've been wait, like wondering if it would ever come in my life, like my entire life, and now he's down on one knee this is the moment it's just like i mean when you have so long to think about it and you're like you know 29 and you're like just never imagined it would come and then it's with someone your best friend and like the person you wanted for sure, Are you sure they can't kiss ever with and you couldn't yeah anyone in the world you'd want to be with different it's like that's perfect well, and then not even on her forehead other part that was so, so shocking is that i really had even though i had shown him a picture of that ring like a long time ago i had no idea like i did not in my mm. ever living mind think that he would go and get Absolutely. basic like like <laughs> replicate the ring replica re duplicate the ring whatever and <laughs> basically like try to recreate, so like, make or get one of those for me and so i'm looking at it and i'm just shocked because i'm looking at the ring box that he opened and it's oh like, i don't like this story exactly anymore like the ring on pinterest that i had pinned literally like back in high school so this was probably like 12 years ago i had seen this ring and wow. it was just my all-time favorite ring you know it was always like my dream ring like oh if i could pick a ring like you know in all the world that i want for an engagement ring it would be a ring that looks like that but of course you know you just never think that you get like your dream ring would ever come true because it's just like that's too perfect you know and so he was so sweet though and he really did he wanted to make my dreams come true and so it's like super special and so thoughtful and he's just, just like super super special and can, like consider it like so kind in that way like anything like i would have been so excited for anything else and would have been so happy but the fact that like he went way out of his way to get make this custom ring for me is just like so overwhelming and so basically i i want to show it to you they're middle schoolers that got engaged it does top, seem like that instead of one big oh diamond, lily it's thank like you a, kind of like a cluster like one in the middle and then more surrounding it with them mixed magic in. keys so it makes almost like a big you're playing animal kind of crossing like also i think this man is struggling but he pretends to be happy with her out of chunky, fear rather than just one so Ugh. on the top i think there's 41. yeah it's so sad oh. so like how many yeah you're right 40, 40, okay, so 41 I want to be on wrong. the top and then two on the side, so 43 total. So instead of like one big diamond, it's like all like different ones. And so it's like, that's a lot of diamonds to have on the top, but it's just like a different style of doing it. And so it makes it look more of like, oh, what is that? Because from different angles, it just looks like almost like this diamondy surface, but then when you get up close, you can really see the pattern of it all and stuff. And so that's all on the top. And then on the sides is this filigree, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, twisting and it's like raised almost and so it's like raised on this little like vintagey looking mm -hmm. siding that's all like windy and beautiful and then there's two little diamonds on the side and then on the band the sides of the band is like hand engraving like swirly things to make it look just super vintage and unique and then on the inside he had a note engraved that says i love you bethy and so it's just like oh thank you for the super okay. chat i'll show each of you okay because there's oh here we go um, now i can see the ring okay so here is for this one <laughs> Here's the ring. I don't know if you can see it. Is he it. dabbing in the background? Um, so he dabbed the in the background. The lights are really bright. Um, and then there's the 
um, top of it, and then there's a little note. I don't know if y'all can see it, so I'll show y'all over here. Hi, it Tib. <laughs> it's just really, really pretty. Hey, so it's perfect, and I still, every time I look at it, I'm just like, I can't believe it. Like, oh my goodness. And so I'm just like still shocked out of my ever living mind. <sighs> Everybody, I love her more. Today Mad than world. I yeah. Ever. Oh, I just exploded my drink. This was actually a really sweet thing that I Yippee. was saying just now. Come here, baby. I'm serious. Yeah. And and I think just being engaged to her and that proposing and that whole experience was just like drew our hearts so Why much. Why care about Yeah, she does together. seem like really stoked on the ring. Really it's really almost like the both of them are just, just so happy to be it, in a relationship. On top of the world. Just, they I want to be married. It doesn't yeah, matter absolutely. about, like, nothing else matters. She wants the ring. She wants to say, I have I was, a husband. I was absolutely just blown away that that's something that's kind that of so much could it. Oh, yeah, I'm using the restroom now. Aw, you will be know, missed. The guy maybe oh, could have missed oh, Tippy. Come here, honey. Come here. There's so many different things that come have to come together. Come here. And um, we had a photographer hidden um, that took some photos, and... Uh, we're halfway there. Yeah. Oh my God, you're yeah, right. That's pretty cool. I had We're past no two. Jesus Christ. Come on, Tip. I didn't know that he was Hi, baby. taking pictures. Hi. And so I thought for sure that it was just like I us. Know. And I, I had mentioned something earlier on in our relationship. Like, oh, for sure. I don't want anyone like, I'm just not the type that wants like friends popping out of the bushes and family like, oh, yeah. You know, it's like just so not my style. And so we wanted it to be more of a private moment with just us. And so... I had mentioned something that I didn't want, like, like my, you know, like, someone like Rebecca or Alyssa or someone, like, popping out, like, oh, I'm taking pictures, you know, and they wouldn't want to do that either, but it was like, I just wanted to know that it was going to be just us, but what I would have wanted was exactly what he did, but I never told him this, that I would, it would, yeah, like, she's would die sweet. to have pictures of in the moment, maybe just not, like, oh, are you jealous? Not you super well, like, come oh, on. they're, they're getting engaged, and so, come on. he was so sweet, and basically, jealous? I had no idea that he had a, no, no arranged for a photographer <laughs> to be there hiding like no, a tree literally taking pictures Come on, of our engagement you sit up? which is like the sweetest in the entire world because i was so in the moment that i just don't remember it very well and so to be able to look on the picture at the pictures and be like oh my goodness this is so hard to watch that was that i can't believe you still three more hours treasure it forever and so we're sitting there we need to take more shots the engagement we go with someone make me take shots we take by all of our stuff and we're sitting there and then um where's my phone girl that i knew but like not on. super well like like not really oh. well at all um looking she at merch a photographer an amazing photographer she levi like, thank you for ordering over. merch like, oh, ready to take pictures and i had no idea at that point that anyone had been taking pictures of our engagement and so he's like oh, can we oh my god i'm so minutes? excited that someone like, got like, the pink <laughs> overalls and so then i'm like wait what like who is she what's going i'm like on? so stoked and, on it and then he's like She's taking, she took Yo, we have greenies for Nala on there. Because look, we, I gave her my last one on the stream. There are no more greenies. There's greenies on there. There's tippy food on there. I'm so excited because I have no idea. Yeah, check out the wish list. Right, Nala? You were set on having a photographer. I know. I mean, you thought of it, obviously. I have thought of it. Yes, yes. No onion shots on the wheel. Yeah, no, but we're doing hot sauce, which is even fucking worse. What do you want, honey? Andrea Connick. Connick. Yes, she did such She's a good fantastic. job. We tagged her in the photo that we posted of us, but she was amazing yeah. and just so sweet. Style your hair like so Bethany. Oh, God, I don't like have like a, where it's like, so special. like a handkerchief in her hair, like a really long bow or something. For it, and I, I just like everything from who she was to the way oh, she took pictures was like just oh, so oh, incredible. And I just felt oh, so oh, comfortable oh, and like, you know, I barely know what's going on. So I'm like. Good like, girl. Like, like, posing Come like, like, you know, and so she was helping us. She's like, okay, <laughs> do this, do this with your hands. That sounds good. Yeah, like, we're both like, yeah, because we're just so excited and, like, brains are kind of, like, gone. And good so she was girl. And so we actually went over. You were great, <laughs> She was absolutely great. I feel like I was the dog with her. So right after we get engaged, with all the freshness of the excitement in the moment, we get to go over and take He looks so bored. And take That's pictures. Right. That's right. And it was amazing. And so I posted a bunch to my... Bethany Baird, my Instagram, and then I posted some to Girl to Find, but I'll try to post more because we just got him back. So we have like 70 engagement pictures. Jesus Christ. And so then. I want to see all of them. And it's like 3 30 at this point, and then what happened? Then. Francis, we thank you for the super chat. Drove back to San Antonio and uh, went to this 
really fun place, fondue restaurant called The Melting Pot, which some of y'all may have been to because yeah. it's in other cities. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, one of the reasons we went there was, you don't know this, but originally I Yeah, this was the live stream of them talking the about their Creek, engagement. Oh, really? The Creek Restaurant. And if any of y'all have been to the Creek Restaurant, I have not. But um, the city, Bernie, which is kind of nearby Fredericksburg, maybe yeah. not 30 minutes. How much is left of this? I had gotten a reservation there. It looked really cute, and they got us a table. They blew back, yeah. and then he went to a gay well, bar. Oh, my God. I found out that How long is this stream? On, well, the one that we're watching with them, like, I think, oh is goodness, probably close to being over. Oh. And so I had the quick scream. My live stream still has two yeah, hours and 40 so minutes left. Jesus like, Christ. Oh, not do. We <laughs> must find something. That's a long ass. That's a long ass video. And secluded booths. Which is really oh hello! Because you know, to be your able seat to has been taken. Moments together, yeah. and so it, it felt, um, you know, like we could um, talk, talk, talk. Like, yeah, exactly. like this, like I love it for like a million times. It's like I love you. <laughs> No, so, but, but you know, but if we walked up to the table, Ugh. and there was in the biggest bouquet on the uh, table, another uh, gift, uh, chocolate covered strawberries, all uh, sitting right there, ready to go. I'm like, the day just keeps getting more amazing, hi, and the more about to eat fondue, it's hi, like, too. oh. But am I right? My little family. She gives and gives and gives and gives. Minus and Angel, she's too scared to come out here. Out for all y'all, and for me, and for her family, and everybody, and she deserves so, so is the gay more. conversion she therapy so thing, more than even what you is got, there evidence of it? I'm just, I'm just I thought there was, but people were saying that it's kind of conflicting. With those things but I mean, so <laughs> the straight um, comment he made at the beginning of this was a lot, too. Yeah. Like, there was a wonderful place. True. And so that doesn't end the day, though. So then we eat, and it's so wonderful. We call his family on the way home, because they don't live here, and so we get to tell them some of the story. And then yes. we, um, so we talk to them, and share Where the are we at on the bombs? We wanted them to know, like, of the other yeah. Just one? Or anyone else, and so we get to talk to them a little bit, and then we drive home, and then we pull up, and then we go inside, and my entire family is oh my literally gosh, Lena, here that's amazing. with surprise! surprise, and a banner, and decorations. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, taking pictures and videos. And so they were all there to celebrate and just celebrate the moment. And so that was so fun and super Jean. exciting. That's all about the shirt you gave me. She gave oh. me this I hope you shirt. and David survived these girl defined videos. Engaged, she's like, oh, yeah, we'll see about that. And so I went right to the car and brought Silver Star, like, greetings from Croatia. I wore it to the party. So uh -huh. I would love to go there. I've never been. That'd be beautiful. I'll try to post a picture afterwards because I knew we were probably going to get engaged. Forget what traveling so is like. I kind of just wanted to bring yeah. animals, so I ordered this shirt like just off Amazon. That's oh, the best Tiff, ever, and picking up some posters and some other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So I wanted him to feel special too, you know, because it's like mostly so much like about the girl, and so I was like, I want him to feel special. So then when we came home, he had changed and put that shirt on, and so when we came in, he had like the best fiance ever shirt right. already on because we were fiancés now. Right, Where's your best fiance ever shirt? We were ready to be fiancés, uh, by the way. Like, I'm wearing we were, it underneath we this shirt. So ready to be fiancés, and it was like you I know, did get him one of those. By the way, we know this now, but you spell fiance for the guy apparently is one e at the end. Fiance one e. I just told you this. I just explained this to you, and you said I was lying. Fiance. It's spelled differently. Oh, that water now has Tippy's drinking out of it. I mean, I can share. It's fine. Okay. Tip, uh, that's my water. From this fort, we add one more. <laughs> <laughs> so then we came home and celebrated, and they were all so sweet, and we got to tell them the entire story, share all of the details, show no them support. the ring, because yeah. they had seen pictures of the ring, but no I one. I feel had like they should be person. able to. Besides him, because he wanted it to be special for kiss if they're engaged, the right? So we got home, then everyone was like, "Wow!" Ah, like you know, so excited for us, and I then think, they, they gave I think us like, it's all gifts. Like, it was like all these gifts, and I was like, "Wow!" I no idea like it was like christmas and birthday all over i was yeah. like this is amazing like yeah, it was, it was super great. unexpected so yeah. then we opened it this was actually one of them um it's a cup that says miss and then crossed out and then misses and there's a ring on it and so i think Alyssa or rebecca i can't remember someone gave it to me it's like this adorable case bay cup and you said and then i'm wearing this choker which you can't see but it's a also i think oh Alyssa gave me this one so rebecca maybe gave me that one but it says misses on it and it's like a little choker necklace and so it's like oh all these things and then we got like other like matching cups, one that says 
hubby and wifey or something and then like all this stuff that's like so fun and like things that my mom gave us something that we can stick in our future house because well we're gonna get married so we're gonna live together <laughs> there's a whole section at francesca's that i can use now <laughs> oh my because it's like the whole like getting married section Aww. you know we always we're have to be like married. wow our fiance is yes so that's kind of like the big wrap up of the story and was this we're getting married was this a video that helped you understand <laughs> And so you can Anything? Tell their relationship? Right. I mean, it makes me well, think he's now, gay even more than I did. We are full steam ahead planning, and I, I, we kind of wanted to take a the little, first week yeah. to kind of enjoy it, which we are planning. All right, still, ever notice Bethany looks like Whitney, Wisconsin? There. And, uh, I don't know who that is. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. I literally have to get on it. It's fantastic and wonderful. And um, so it's been super fun just to talk about those things and to talk about our future and talk about. So we're gonna be we're gonna be looking for a place to live. We're gonna be looking for a place to get married. We're gonna be uh, talking to folks, inviting folks. We're yes. gonna be. Hey, if anyone knows a place to get married in San Antonio, they have connections or know someone knows like a really amazing house. Tell us. Tell us, because <laughs> we're looking for somewhere. Or if you know someone who has. Um, like a um, mother-in-law suite in the back of their house. We would like to live there, so Which, tell us yes. that too. So but. place to live, wedding venue, wedding in general, wedding it's things, really honeymoon. Oh, I'm so excited. Woman oh, charged with food and the city's behavior now sentenced. Oh, we're gonna go what? on honeymoon. That's right. Which I'm very excited about. Are you very excited about? <laughs> yes. <it? laughs> she was mentioning the other day. I don't she know. Really excited about the honeymoon, not just the wedding. And I thought that that was super sweet. Absolutely. Kind of? So, um, and so that's where we're at. That's kind of. We're gonna be doing. I do see a little bit. Um, we talked about finances the other day. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> so, uh, how much do you guys save? Uh, how much do you guys save? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're so excited. We so officially we are getting married unless something crazy happens. The plan is October thirteenth. Oh, that's right. Yes. At October least it's not the same date as us. Super excited. That would have been. I would have been mad. I've been I'm mad at the same date. I have to tell them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can even tell you this. So wow. now we can go to their wedding before Dang. ours. That They're already mean, married. Oh. So this is an older date. video. October 13th. She's like super Back pregnant right now. 2017. <laughs> Speaking of uh, marriage date. having babies, wedding Hunter just had a second. Had today. Yeah, I saw that. Son was born. They posted a picture so cute. They're both so. They're two babies. Hopefully not. They're like both babies. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They're like nine months and a day apart. Oh, 2018. I, I can't imagine going through that. Crazy. I'm so scared of labor. So crazy. It's 2018. Very proud and excited for you. Yeah, that's insane. I lost it. So sorry. Something in my brain. Anyway, so, oh, she already had the baby. Yeah, she had the baby. Oh, no, they're I think they're talking about Bethany. Thirteenth. Oh. I remember. It falls on a Saturday. Yes, I do yes, want babies it's one day. Perfect. So October but the thought of labor Saturday, is just like which makes it terrifying. For getting married. So we haven't done. Lucky like, bastard. I have no idea where we're gonna have the wedding yet. I have no idea. Shouldn't they eat out of the like, tree of evil? Like, no knowledge of good and evil. Wedding dress, bride's dress. almost got it. I don't know if we're gonna have like food. What that's gonna look like. I just don't know. I really. We don't really want to have like a super traditional wedding where it's like, okay, everyone like line up, here comes the bride. Brr, 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 brr. We, we want, want it like to a be, cluster wedding. Like we want something. it to be really reflective of us. I think he's so amazing. It's like he plays the ukulele. He's more like, um, you know, kind of like spontaneous and fun and dances and like cool like that, like such a cool personality. And then I'm a little bit more like less inside the box, a little bit more outside the box. We would really love to have a wedding that reflects who we are. And another thing is we want to be like, we want our guests that come to our wedding to feel like they really get to know us better and that they're not just coming and watching a show. Like we want them to feel like, wow, they're a part of this moment and they're supporting us. Like we're sharing, you know, just all that God's done and we're, you know, yeah. they're, you know. Brooke, I like have no idea. That we're just like our family. But I have no wedding. idea. So that is our hope to figure out. Is there a wedding video? I would love to see really if they have like a wedding video. So that, and then just like, I would really love to have a wedding that's not just at like a traditional, sure. here's the wedding, you know, it's like, I would love. Did they just say they're not traditional? I had the same thought. Like, <laughs> I would love for it to be like. They're so different and outside the box. Were, like, in the backyard because our wedding is slightly different. Or something beautiful like that. It's like, so I haven't started even thinking or scoping in that direction, but that, that would be the dream. Yeah, I had this to run by you too. Like we can talk about this now, but, um, 
A lot of weddings will have the unity candle. Oh yeah. Right? They'll light a candle together. Or Are we lighting a candle? A candle? One. I think if we, we want to. We stepping on a glass. Yeah. Dab. Something like, like that, like together. They are and such the rebels. Crowd, whoever's there will be like, whoa, 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 whoa. like, and the camera pulls away, and it's like, <laughs> like the end of the Lord of the Rings or something, like, yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> that would be that amazing. amazing. She's like, oh, that's funny, honey. Shh. Dubs. <laughs> Laughter, happiness, mm. children laughing. Maybe we'll take an Instagram poll on that one afterwards. <laughs> I feel like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so we're not thinking anything no. weird. <laughs> so I'm yes. I'm kidding. I tease. I tease. He tease. I tease. So we haven't asked any bridesmaids or groomsmen or anything like that. We'll probably have those. We haven't even got there. So we pretty much. All right. Well, that was a lot of cringing. Taking any steps. My God. Like how much? We how? Flower girls, ring bears, everyone like that. We know all. I'll of take Golda Fine yeah. over the we transformed wife. Same. Like okay, here come. Oh, there's still a lot of time on this one. Really? How much? Seven minutes. Lives, but we don't know exactly what we want it to look like. So we need a shot. We're so, so excited. Should we dab we in honor like of her an husband? Family. He has an amazing <laughs> family. Yeah. It's like we are so blessed to have people who can just come yeah. alongside us and support us and help us. And I mean, like, my sisters have, like, all these skills, so it's, like, perfect. Yeah. That's going to be we're so, we're just genuinely. Guys, we're so I, close to 2,000 likes. Let's get there. Let's like, do it. Oh, this is gonna be the best wedding ever. Like literally, <laughs> our weddings, fun wedding. I can't you know, stop I know, cringing. Like one that's just fun to, you know, come to, and that is like, I don't know. It's just gonna be unique and fun. I am super excited, and so hopefully, we will be able to provide a way for everyone to watch it at some point. Um, that would be either then or later. So that's a big priority for us: is um, either being able to live stream it, or if not, live stream it record it so that we can put something together for everyone to be able to participate in the wedding later. So we will make sure that there's a way for everyone to be able to be a part of it because all of y'all and the people who are part of Girl Define are really special to me and I really don't, I really want everyone to be able Thanks. to be a part of that moment, yeah. um, whether it's then or later. So I'm really excited about that. So y'all are all invited through that. Which one of all y'all don't want to see our first kiss together? <laughs> Come on. Come You're on. You're right. Come on. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? <laughs> I told Bethany that we were going to be very good at it. Just just to clear that up. <laughs> we we have not kissed yet because um, we were saving that for the very special moment we can kiss when we get married. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But seriously, we're going to rock it. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell them, like, can we please not have like the most awkward first kiss? Like, <laughs> and, like eat her face or just like... <laughs> We're gonna try not to do either of those. <laughs> Something in the middle. <laughs> oh gosh. So there's no way. Said, you know, go on, go on do you remember your first you know, kiss? So it will just come from your heart. Apparently it was kindergarten. She's very exactly. happy. My mom thought it was cute um, that I was like friends with this boy anyway, and she wanted us to hold hands and then he Anyway. <laughs> that doesn't really so, count. So we're really excited. Genuinely. Well, what does? Your really Jewish summer camp make us count? Yeah. Well then my kindergarten kiss counts. Uh, moving forward, we're just absolutely thrilled to to dive full speed ahead into this season and then get married. That's the goal. We want to get married. We want to live our life together, and from there, we want to just serve God and love each other. And uh, who knows? Have a larger family down the road. Have Never know. I want all the kids to look like him. Yeah, and I want all the kids to look like her. And so we're even. Yeah. So. So we're really excited. We're so excited. We've covered so much of like as far as like. I bet our kids will have brown hair and brown eyes. What do you think? Before engagement, and I feel like I had probably the most brains back then, and now probably. I'm just like, ah, probably. you know, so excited. So I'm excited that we've done a lot of that, and we. Feel there is some really recessive ginger. I think we both have on both of our. Yeah. yeah. And so it's a yeah. never ending. I'd be cool with that. I think it looks we good. Married. We don't want to stop learning. We want to continue. Rafa, to notice how. He keeps grabbing her hand as he was trying to get the ring back. <laughs> Greetings from Portugal. Oh my goodness. Hi. Never been one before. And so we 
husband and wife. Guys, That's stop true. spamming weird we shit. Want like, to work hard at you're it. not gonna get anyone to go vegan by spamming the like, chat to nowhere. go like, vegan. They take work and effort, just like anything. And so we want to work hard to have a good marriage. And we just want y'all to know that we've so loved having you along for the entire journey so far, and that we want to keep to invite you to continue Andrew! this journey with us, and we will keep you. <laughs> I pay to watch how painfully awkward that honeymoon was. Oh process, my god. I just hope that it can be Quinn, watch Especially the girl to find video called Why I Wait Until Marriage to Kiss. Oh I was my there god. For so many years hey, from a bisexual, cat loving atheist. Hi. To have waited for a man Wanda. So my first lovely. kiss happened in it's grade six. It was under so peer pressure. Under pressure. To my life to. Like, I well, I hope it was fun at least. Peer pressure is never cool. Oba, thank you. Like just Serenity! Like, you're like, don't Thank you for ordering so merch. By the way, anybody who goes, like, anybody who goes to um, so ffvmerch.com, so so if you and use the code like, girl defined, one you know, word, you so get 15% off anything on the site. Us. Christ is our satisfaction, right. and he's the reason we have a good relationship. He's the reason we can be so genuinely just joyful and excited, like genuinely, because we're both really looking to him, and that gives us so much to give each other. That's true. Absolutely. That that is um, ultimately you gotta have. Are we almost to the halfway mark? We don't have of watching the about. streams? Yeah. 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 We're over and the so, halfway mark. And really? The thing is, as, yeah. As, uh, God Two thirty-seven. We're done at five. More wow. and more. And nice. More, more complexity. We started at eleven. More complicated and more busy. He'll give us the energy and the strength, the spiritual strength from Himself to be able to rise to each of those changes and be able to new changes. Are you keeping an eye on the um, streamlabs? Um, mm -hmm. Do it with uh, joy and with Lily. And uh, not at all get My first kiss was to the B movie, no get, shit. <laughs> hot. That's hot. That strength. So you never have to look ahead and get overwhelmed if something hasn't happened because he gives mercy every day for you. How are they still talking? So I don't know. They love the sound of their own voice. And, uh, that means Tippy! That our Tippy! Is Come here! Do you want love? Amazing Come here! Yeah. 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 20 seconds left now, so we are going to say goodbye. Thank y'all so much for <gasps> yes! sticking with us Bye, and bitch. watching this entire Tippy. video and hearing our whole Come story. Here. Come Thank here. you for asking me to marry you. Absolutely, baby. Thanks for Mary. Thank you all so much, and we can't. But don't kiss. <laughs> okay, so that's the end. That one went, and I'm going to end YouTube um, if I can figure this out. <laughs> all right, take official. Oh, here right. we go. Do you think we're in the center still? Are you good? Meh. Action. I feel the same way, Tippy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Meow, honey. That's hot, though. What's up, y'all? It's That's Bethany and Dave up. here today. Hey, guys. And I'm so excited to be here with my husband because we don't get to do these videos that often. Let's see if they actually the kiss. last time we made a video was to yeah. announce the baby. Birth. Welcome, Edinburgh. And oh, my gosh, Stephanie. I love Edinburgh. Birth. Thank you. So... Things that have been Yvonne, thank you for shopping at ffbmerch.com. You guys are so sweet. A little bit about kind of we're gonna, when going the stream is over, we're going to spend hours packing up all the merch. I write a personalized note in every really single package, and we will mail them out tomorrow. Like, oh, so oh, anybody who buys merch or if you spin the wheel and you win merch, we will mail all of that out tomorrow. We might even do it today. Well, we're not going to make it to the post office. We'll fill it tonight, but we'll have to ship it out tomorrow. We pulled some questions from Instagram today, and we're actually going to take some time to answer those so we can give you exactly Man, she's so pregnant. You rather than sharing what we think you want we're just going to answer yeah. those questions of exactly what you want if you like this video though give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more from well girl fine subscribe below and if you want to support this channel head on over to patreon.com slash girl defined i'm so scared of a dollar two dollars per video and like late term pregnancy like that is scary to me because here. it looks Here's painful that looks painful uh, we got married about 15 months ago and one thing led to another. Bleach. And we're having a baby. She's having a Conversion baby. Conversion therapy is really harsh. I'm reading a book called The Birth Many Partner. Many think that it works. They're not telling everything. To uh, uh, get ready to, for mm. birth. 
That's one of the things I'm You're doing. doing Among other things. Labor is the easy what are you part. Doing to prepare, babe. <laughs> A lot of things. <laughs> I couldn't do it without you, baby. Yeah. Literally. We're gonna ask each other some questions. All right. Um, Anybody spamming go vegan? I'm just gonna start blocking people because I'm really okay, fucking annoyed. Really, really I'm just seeing go vegan, go vegan, go vegan, yeah. and then there's people saying go keto. Why? Oh snap! And I assume first time. Uh, it is capitalized. You're talking about relations. The first time. Labor is different for everyone. I guess yeah, but like. Relations. My mom really was breached with me well. and my sister and had to have C-section, so I'm just afraid. What did you say in the blog? Just so there was no episiotomy, but those said, scared the shit out of me, too. I said it wasn't awkward. It wasn't awkward. I, I said the anticipation is, like, it definitely beautiful. wasn't awkward. Reese, and thank you for the super chat. Nervous. My heart goes out to you guys for putting yourselves <laughs> through all this bollocks. Yes. Love, light, and peace oh, from North Wales. Wales. Oh my gosh, like hello. And girls are asking that question. I wonder if it's like if guys. Oh, y'all are like so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Late pregnancy is not bad. I was not nervous. <laughs> when you're overdue, you've had a C section. All right, here's a question. Best choice ever. That's What's what I've the heard too. Story? But I don't know, like, part of me just wants to see if I can do it. And then if it's like too much or I can't or there's a complication, <laughs> fine. Fine. Take it out of me. Um, well. Probably the first time. <laughs> she looks no, good pregnant though. Time. Every time I see like a, a uh, very pregnant woman, I'm like, so they look real. like they are glowing. When you cast gas. Oh wow! <laughs> so accidentally, how exciting accidentally in front of I me. said, I this is a true story, and now we're telling you. Uh, I was yeah. we were working out or something. Farting. No, I think we weren't working. What? No. Him, I just the first time he passed gas. And I said, "Hey, babe, watch me do a sit up." And I did the sit up, and I also did something else, and that's what she's talking about. It made me it was, laugh. Really it wasn't that hard. Big. It wasn't like the loudest. It was, it was just really funny because yeah. he was like, "Watch me!" Like trying to be all macho, and then like, so. But <laughs> that. That it's natural, it will happen anywhere, but it was funny because it was the, the first time, so. <laughs> you yeah. blow the there sheets off the bed every night. Like every night. night. <laughs> Any challenges we faced <laughs> in marriage? Oh. Um, I mean, every. I um, feel yeah, like, like um, when you're gay, it's hard for me. To, you know, like being married, there's that, like expectations, yeah. or just that's an adjustment. And then we got pregnant like seven months into marriage, or yeah. six months in, whatever right. it was. Like seven, um, right. And I was feeling pretty crummy for like the first. Emily, of woo! I yeah. get really bad migraines. Thank so you for like, ordering March. I felt like I was in bed more than I was out of bed, just like really dead meat. And mm -hmm. I think that. <laughs> da bomb! You'll both be blowing shit off. Challenges that came along We're gonna have a nice time and tonight, you and I. And took such good care of me, but it's hard when one person feels like they're in bed all the time. Um, and then now preparing, like, okay, we've moved several times since being mm -hmm. married. There's that, and now preparing for like. A new little kid. They're just different, different things, you know. Movie, like adjustment. Movie has been the worst. How do you deal with dividing up chores? Ah, between us. Between us. We kind of naturally divide up chores. We don't really, uh, we don't really t even talk about it that much. <laughs> Sarah. Oh my goodness, you guys are slaying the merch game right now. Picking up an old school future sunset Ooh, shirt. Ooh, I love those. That which one? Oh, That's yes. the pizza. I love the pizza. I was hoping that that one. Like that one's super soft. You it's really comfortable. Like doing, I'll be doing more laundry. And dishes. You'd like, yeah, and I was a okay with that. That's awesome. But uh, other than that, we Ooh, really hope talk Ash. About it. Thank you for like ordering merch. So you guys standard, we are so sweet. <laughs> for a while, and then one of us kind of gets to it at some point. Good night from Poland. It's almost Making midnight here. Bed. Sometimes we. Well, thank you for hanging. So Good night. <laughs> I mean, I, I we're just getting our day started people, with a bunch of shots, really, which, by the way, we could use more of. Talk about that at some point, Pretty but, soon, y'all. Um, I don't know. I kind of assumed that a face I mask as merch. I just kind of. I thought about that. doing that. A what lot of people are doing that, but I felt like. we could have done it early on, but it would have been felt no, insensitive. Early I, on. Yeah, I felt oh, weird I making money it. off of like a pandemic. Um, you know, I did. I something about it just didn't feel right to me. What's it called? Authentic Intimacy with Julie Slattery. And um, if you're a woman, Passion Pursuit by her as well. We could make them um, and sell and them for what we, we would have to sex pay to make them. Of a girl's heart. And so I think sure. a healthy sex life, whether you are single or married, single, I think preparing and understanding it from a biblical perspective and really having proper expectations and not like 
Like what you see in the, <laughs> the cat is still looking to knock know, over stuff. She's very good at that. She just the best right off the out table. There. I think it's like I think <laughs> you know, and so I think um, I think the best That's healthy funny. version of sex is comes in a relationship, a committed marriage where two people are genuinely trying striving to love and serve the other. And so I think the more we can develop that mindset and understand what sex truly is all about, then I think that will lead to a very healthy sex life. But it's like the the amount of sex you're going to have or the um, you know the frequency, all of that, it's like that's important to communicate between two people because it might be a little bit different for everyone. All yeah, right, because she gap, wants it and he doesn't. Many questions about this. Um, <laughs> we're five and a half years apart. I'm five and a half years older. It, does it is it a problem in our relationship? Yeah. Um, does it make a difference? I mean, it's fun to tell people. That's mostly it. I I get I get kind of like I feel like guys can sometimes get props for marrying a girl that's older. I don't know if you've experienced the opposite. Like, How much oh, older than him is she? Are we? Uh, I don't know. If five and a half years isn't actually, in my opinion, it's not that much. Uh, She's yeah, five and a half years older than him. Stuff like that, and I yeah. consider myself to be extremely mature. So she's like and thirty, right, or thirty-one. With the baby, he's like twenty-five or something. Well, 25. I'm definitely going to take twenty-five, yeah, right after. Okay. And so there's that. Wow, so we'll that's be able a to lot. Focus exclusively on. The Man, baby. he's going to figure himself out one day, change, and it's not. Like, you can't pretend like oh, like, it's sad though, because now there's going to be kids, you know. Baby, and I would really love to be very involved and to take care of him, and we have the. Blessing and Matthew, to thank you for the super chat. Their interactions with each other are so awkward and, so and cringy. I, I don't want to do say they're not being really genuine, but it's awkward to watch. I feel that. Um, I do love Girl Defined, though, and what I get I feel to do that. over here. So, Chris and I have thank just had a lot of conversations about it when you're kind of like a small business in a sense. You have to figure out, like, she can't do it all, you know? And so we are figuring out how to balance that and how I'll be able to work more from home, getting ahead on things like videos and content and just planning ahead more. Um, it's just, we're just gonna have to be a lot more on top of it. And so for me, it's gonna be uh, being really productive in the times where the baby's sleeping or maybe he's with my family or whatever. So I think yeah. I'm just gonna have to be a lot more intentional with my time than I have had to because I've just had more flexibility. Question, how will you both keep your love basically how will we keep our love strong and special and going while raising children? That's a great question. Uh, Gwen. Um, Gwen. Fire alive. Thank you uh, for shopping at our merch store. Communicate. She got a wine kitty. I guess as time goes on, I love we'll that. continue to communicate. Um, That's a huge part of it. I really think communicating is, is a big part. I'm LGBT, I mean, we, we and there are so many married guys like him on the DL. It's so common. You know. That makes me so formal, sad. But it's like we just went to dinner and just had that specific. Topic it's of it's confusing to me too because what are we gonna? You know, like we live in California so, where everyone's like very open about things. Going, um, but you know, we we we're they're in very, uh, Texas, it's a more conservative area, really and it's like probably really uh, we difficult don't really go to be open about very long that. Periods of time without being connected or without. I just kind of assume that like everyone's good, but that's not how it is. Yeah emotionally connected Much so i think of the if world. it starts to become colleen like issue, there is a tuber you know, who talked about her story yeah, ha uh, what um, are you have an emergency uh, c-section without movement. anesthetic no way i mean oh, we haven't seen him that's We're, terrible you know, now she has like, severe ptsd broke my heart thanks for so putting yourself through misery guys David from alberta canada hold him and see his face that's a nightmare it's like he's been in here having an emergency c-section without anesthesia that's really really what the fuck but i think getting this may happen with you yeah. um, and getting to I feel like your body would go into shock getting to like pregnancy is still very scary so much can still go wrong you know, I like, know yeah. I am that scared equally a part of oh Jonathan like, we have oh. a we wheel have spin ever experienced before and Jonathan so thank you for spinning the wheel all right question it how breaks my heart also yeah the two of you as a it's so funny David well, makes me so I sad it's, it's so obvious he's gay it breaks my heart that guy's name is David because it won't be the two of us and, also, uh, I hope I can make I'm you guys take a shot. Baby, her, me, all right, Google, Junior, Davy Junior, and Fluffy. So, so far we've been dealing with mostly the dust two and Fluffy. Yeah. But now it's gonna be free merch. <laughs> free merch bundle. <laughs> I saw green, and I was like, that better not be the bomb. Just repeat the same thing a few times. 
There we go. All right, Jonathan, uh, are we if you could send me a DM on Instagram, that would be amazing so I can get your it's information for free like, merch. Um, I guess back in the day, there Congrats. weren't any options. Congrats. Like, like, public school, private school, or homeschool. I don't know. There weren't. Let's see, like, I already got. Options or co-ops. I, mean, I got a were, DM like, from so many, Jamie. There's yeah. so many more options, like the incredible co-ops, incredible private schools, incredible online stuff. So I feel like we have a lot we can choose from as far as how we want to educate our children. Um, I think for me, the most important thing is like watching them as they grow and really doing what would be best for them as a child, their specific personality, right. energy. Jamie, level, I messaged you again. Um, and all of that. Gifts and Jonathan, and send me a DM. Help them to progress in a way that's going to really Cat, help them most. Congratulations. Like, one size fits all. We're ordering a tank top. So for me, Thank you, Cat. You know, that looks like one does really well just being solely I'm so excited to ship everybody their stuff being a does cat really well with a lot more oh yeah where is Tippy? Kind of laptop nature of being in a private school my computer. or more of a so I think that's probably a conversation we'll Cute. have as each like Davy Jr. and if we have more children as they, they get older but I think the goal is for us to just be super intentional about what's being taught we're gonna have a lot of work later yeah sure thank you for the super their, chats guys like, their time is being used in the best way possible okay this question cracks me up yeah <laughs> I think it's talking about you. Is Jonathan. he, Dave, a spoiling type of guy, or is he hard when it comes to raising your kids? So are you going to be, like, spoil? Are you, like, the spoiling type that are just going to spoil the kids? Or are you going to be... Um, the line? Oh, God, that's so funny. I love it. I don't know. Man. Are you going to be more strict, or am I going to be more strict? I think I will be more strict. Who's really? going to be more strict yeah, with us? I do. I kind of do. I do. You, yeah. I mean, strict in a in a certain way. Like, I think I will be. I could be wrong, but I think I'll be more uh, consistent <laughs> with whatever we decide. I think I'll. I think I'll be more. I don't know. I don't. Know, I think I'll be more like. Again, I could be wrong, but I get the feeling that I'll. It'll be more important for me to take time to like. Um, to like te train in like if he's trying to do something kind of like letting him do it yeah. a lot of times and not doing it for him i feel like you're very, you're more patient maybe? i might i might well i think more i'm more i don't know i'm very i'm definitely curious uh to see if he can do it you know mm -hmm. so it's like there's a challenge or something i'm curious to see him you know succeed and even if got it you jonathan a while you know yeah you're That's what I th I don't know. What do you think? Oh well, I mean, you'll be the favorite parent for sure. All our kids will love you most. I do plan to be the favorite parent. My older well, sister's mother-in-law had a botched Let's go epidural. Back to when and we only were dating, just for froze a little half bit. her body, a half Easter her belly. Egg. Uh, while dating, Jesus did Christ. you have any doctrinal or lifestyle differences, Ooh. and how did you resolve them? Um, Great. doctrinally, we grew up pretty similar. I don't feel like we had a lot of doctrinal Major differences i feel like you were kind oh, of like thinking like through things and questioning of... things and things out before you like the way they asked me out. i still am doing all of those things so. he's you're much more you're like i'm we're different in that way the way we process and think about things we're and so it's amazing in that way. because yeah. i feel like he keeps he has helped me learn and grow so much and helps me to just like question things in a good way and listen i feel like i my who i listen to and who i learn from has changed a lot and in a good way and you yeah. just exposed me to a lot of great mindsets and great ways of thinking and things where i'm like well this is the way it should be and it's, you're like well why and it's like well oh actually i don't know if i can take two more hours of this yeah. yeah i mean it's, it's pretty time rough gone on we've i feel had like you guys been there since the beginning i have asked this before but who's building, stuck like around relational capital yeah um and i think the more relational emotional capital we have well, we're together two thirds of the way uh, there the more connection that Whoa, we have the more trust we're we two thirds build, of the way there um, then the more those sorts of conversations are not right scary to have yeah. there's and, a way, um, there's a way there. and i think i think to some degree while dating there were just certain conversations that would have been a lot more yeah. like oh that's Dang. scary you know i don't yeah. want to talk about that you know and almost like we would we would probably have tended to caricature each other you woke up early for this i'm so sorry now, we, we woke up early for this yeah. Yeah. So well i mean kind of well we woke up for this we woke up for this we talked through everything we had you know just great mentors they have six us, sisters we we're reading and we just talked where are the other ones a lot. and so 
there were what are they like where we had different are they all religious um, have like any of them broken away or like I don't know. Ashley, like picking up a tank. Like and so we've kind of Thank you, Ashley. Place, like, you should stream video games together. Now we're cruel to find. We should do that. We can. We, we have the ability, and we've been talking about wanting to stream. Like, There's like a dance game. That might be more entertaining to do. I want to play that dance game with you. Those sorts of things are always on the table. That your sisters play. You can't do six hours of that. No. Not for six hours, but that'd be more entertaining to watch us play like a game where we have to move around and dance than a game. Than a, yeah. We could do both, but... Um, I put those, um, not being each other's police what are they called? The motion so, like, I think that's important too. thing. So for sure. I feel like I, I feel like I probably, when you play the dance stuff. game, you have to have How like about the, stick. uh, I put those I on the, the wish cam link for yeah. gaming. I thought we had the PlayStation camera. Oh, oh, but then you really can't do one. stream ups. How would you feel if oh. your child didn't believe you in God? You can only do Twitch. <gasps> wow. Um, how would you feel if your child did not believe well, in God? How would I feel? I think I feel a lot of Honestly, I think I feel a lot of empathy. I feel a lot of sympathy for, for him, you know? You can empathize uh, because you... Doubts and, and, you know, questions and struggles and, you know, belief, lack of belief. It's all, I, I see it as all a part of life and all a part of growing. So, you know, I think, um, I think it's just more, like, exciting to see, like, how... Uh, our relationship as parents with our child develops. I'm actually more excited about that. I'm less, I'm less concerned with my child not holding my views. That's not. That doesn't actually bother me that much. Um, She's I like, "What the to, fuck are you saying?" I want to. I want to raise a kid who is a decent human being. I want, of course, I want him to love God, and of course, I want him to. In that sense, believe in God, but at the same time, um, I I I, I want to have a great relationship with him. So Aww. I think I'll feel a lot of sympathy. That's a I sweet have answer. Doubts and still do about all kinds of stuff. So it's it's not to me. It's not a uh, it's not super scary for for a child. Wow. <laughs> I feel like he can empathize because like he also has. All right, well, Some struggles. there are more questions, but this video will get too long. So we're going to wrap it up there. If you have any more questions. <laughs> I wonder what her answer would have been. Shut them off. <laughs> you want us to talk about, you can leave a comment below letting Aww, us know. Aw, poor guy. And I think he's that's sweet. That's pretty much a wrap. Thank you all so much for submitting your questions. If you want to be a part of, like, when questions All right, happen, now we're going to go. Got to wrap it up. Um, Got to cut that shit off. To find. That's where we kind of do all of that sort of stuff. And, and even a lot more, like, in the life and lives and things like that. Um, again, if you like this video, we would love to see you over on the Patreon community, patreon.com slash girl defined, um, where you can help What's support us on a more regular basis. And until next time. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Take him to church and spank him with no. church. Church, can we do that, please? <laughs> Why don't... Okay, do okay. What do you think? Oh wow, they I did the best I could for that one. That was really good. <laughs> That's a wrap! <laughs> Alright! Oh, can you pause this or mute the audio? <laughs> okay, so I don't want to get a copyright claim for this music, but I thought this was really funny. Wait, should I actually mute the audio? Just mute the audio and play it. Uh, this video is titled, like, The Perfect Day in the Life of a Christian Girl. And I thought it was so funny. With the audio, was literally like... Why don't you... Uh, do your own cover of it. Why don't you do your own cover of it. Um, but I thought it was so funny, and I put it to kind of break up the monotony of the streams for a little bit of comedic relief. A Christian Girl's Perfect Afternoon. Look how ridiculous oh, wait, it is. Did we have an order from Marissa? Did you Marissa, think Marissa? No. Thank, Thank you. you Marissa. Thank you, Marissa. All right, here you go. All right. So, perfect afternoon for Christian Girl. At the beginning of this, it showed her ordering a Girl Defined book. So, she orders a Girl Defined book. Oh, my God. She's wearing overalls. Oh, my God. The book came in the mail. She's so excited. Oh, my God. I'm just going to put it in my little backpack and get on my bike. <laughs> and I'm going to go find the absolute perfect tree just at random
Gonna find a tree. Looking for the tree. I know the right tree for me is out there. Oh wow, this one looks really good. I like this tree. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Oh my god, I'm gonna pull out my book. It's my perfect afternoon reading the words of Kristen and Bethany. All right, that was nice. So stupid. But it's how fucking conceited is it for them to be like the perfect afternoon for you, ladies, would be reading our book. If you didn't know. This is Kristen and Bethany here, and today we're going to be talking about just because it's popular doesn't make it right. I was talking to our younger sister recently, Rebecca. She's 19. She's actually been on our vlog before, but I was asking her right. what are some of the things that you as a teen girl feel like you're struggling with or are hard just because it's popular doesn't society. make it right and she said that one of the hardest things for her is when she's trying to embrace god's truth in a certain area of her life but then she looks around and sees so many <sighs> people embracing something that's contrary yeah the onision stream was a little it easier so fun and everyone's doing it and yeah. you kind of feel like i'm missing out i want to jump in like oh uh, and so she said it's just so hard do we miss a super chat you feel somebody? that pressure I... when you feel like you're missing out when everyone's Noah. Doing it. Noah. thank you for picking up the new future that sunset shirt thank Noah. you Noah, for your Street, order whatever it is and so she said for her that's Colleen. a really hard thing go back so up go back up if that's go back up. for her we're guessing it's probably hard for you too and it's here we go colleen thank you colleen for the super chat looks like y'all need a laugh how many flies does it take to screw in a light bulb because the reality is there are a lot of two, but I don't know how they got in there. Popular, that are trendy, that oh, everyone's doing, screw that everyone's promoting, and everyone's light watching, bowl. whatever it is. But just because it's <laughs> I love that it doesn't automatically make it right. It doesn't automatically. Thank you. Hi, my you mom had a cesarean, but was so unconscious for it was I was three months street, early. And Ooh. grounded in our relationship with him so that we can discern the truth from the lies Aww. and be empowered. Well, serenity. That's I'm, I'm glad you're okay. Three months early. Creamy, very creamy. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That by testing, it's midnight here, but I can't stop watching. What is the will of God? Well, thank what you for sticking around. Thank you for the super chat. And perfect. And we I appreciate you being part. here. This has been personally challenging yeah. for us. Just this, this idea of do not be conformed to the world. And I think the fact that that verse is even in the Bible is telling us what that is her hair it's hard. right now? We be want pressure. to be conformed. Mm -hmm. We want our sinful flesh. What's popular? What's what everyone else is doing? We want to totally. conform because it's easy. We just want to go with the flow. It's hard to stand out. It's hard to be different. But God is saying, do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed <laughs> by the renewal of your mind. And essentially he's saying, you need to be transformed in your thinking. As a Christian, you need to know what I say, what I teach, what thank you, true, Thank you, Naja, right, for the super good, chat. It's midnight here, but I can't stop watching. Thank history. you for staying up so late some of these popular things to watch this ridiculous kind of going around Do you feel like you have an understanding of Girl Define now? I do. Yeah, I, I started you this with start nothing, and now I think I do. Four popular areas. I don't know as much about Christian, though. Sexting and sexual acts before marriage. This is a huge one, and one honestly, when we go speak and when we, we open up our email inbox, thank you to Casey for picking up a uh, future sunsets pizza is shirt. Hey, that pizza this shirt's is really true. comfy. And April for picking up a wine kitty hoodie. Woo! And Harley so for picking normal. up a tank. Oh my goodness, we are just okay, you guys. I do. I don't want to give We're gonna have a lot of work tonight to pack up all these orders. Like I said, I like write little notes in each one. Most honoring to God, and I know that's not what's it best takes for a hot me. Minute. As God's but I'm daughter, so God's happy creation, to do it. You guys are amazing. For me. But it's hard, and we get that. I want to share a verse with you, though, that speaks directly to this from God's time. Oh, the hair Lord, looks fried. Enough, it does. It I mean, yeah, but I'm not one to talk. My hair is really bad right now, and I can't dye it. Look how grown out it is. So this is but like the girl that does my hair. Sanctification. Well, we're in quarantine, so. From sexual immorality. This is what my that hair is. Each one of you know how <laughs> October rain. And holiness I accidentally and married water. my man before we kissed so due to him being okay abstain we need to run away from hair we not need to give yourself to sexual immorality. okay and well you know exactly. it's not bad to have you things in common with them you know that is of a sexual nature and it's not your husband so they're you're not married, people still at the end of the day you're gonna have things in, in common but just as long as you're not terrible photos, sexy, <laughs> you know um, having sex before marriage you need to say no that's not God's best for me I need to act in holiness and honor towards God I need to honor God First and foremost. Your hair so looks adorable. Thank you guys for lying. I appreciate the lies. 
pin it on your mirror, highlight it in your Bible, memorize it. And when you see the culture going along and you see your, you know, friends at school saying, hey, this is normal, this oh, is fine, man. pull out that verse and remember, no, as a Christian girl, I need to live in holiness and honor to God. And I'm going to say no to that, even though it's popular, because I know it's not what God has for me. And number two, sensual and seductive clothing. Mm. This um, is something that can be yeah. so hard as a Christian girl when you look around. But those overalls are sexy, though. You see the fashion trends, what's popular, especially during the summertime. It can be so hard because as you go to the oh, store, yeah. I know you commented once, it's like you walked into the store and all the clothes have been chopped in half and they're all like this big. It's like chopped up, like, okay, yes. um, is this a shirt? <laughs> very, very tiny, often very sensual styles, very seductive, very provocative. And as a Christian girl, you walk into the store and you see the Is my shirt cut in half? You see what everyone's wearing, yeah. what all the people on social cut media are wearing. And it can be hard if oh, you're yeah. striving to dress in a way that portrays modesty, purity, dignity, dignity and you see that and it can be so dignity. hard. But again, this is an area that's very popular in society for women to dress sensually, seductively, provocatively. But as we see in God's word, that's not God's Christine, best happy birthday. He calls us to it's going to be boring, but your videos and TikToks keep me going. For his glory. And I yeah, guys, follow us both on TikTok. We're actually Likewise, having kind of a lot of fun on TikTok. Women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control. I actually did a TikTok making fun of them, of a girl to find on their modesty the inside out, I at the beach you. one, I like, honor you with how to wear swimwear and be I'm modest. Like so I put like a, a bathing suit over sweatpants and a sweatshirt. And as others look at me, so I want stupid. them to see, wow, yeah. she's a woman who loves God and to look Kiki. at my face and not just be drawn to my body. And they wear hard. one braid for every battle, one verse, Satan. Catering towards a certain way, that. But as Christian women, we need to recognize that. I'm gonna drink some of this white peach rose with modesty and purity and so whether but that's popular or not i am ready to, to take a shot and yeah. whoever spins yeah. the wheel that's good design in this area and the third area i saw a comment about their sound being low i have to sort of balance it because each video is no, different yeah, yeah their videos popular audio or come out recently not the very different any current movies it's probably not a surprise that what's trending and what's popular isn't exactly holy, isn't exactly pure, oh, and you isn't got exactly a, uh, intended lives. to point we towards did? God and yeah. his glory and what? to reflect Jordan. what his word has to say. That's just not what's happening. Any note honestly, it? it can be very no, hard no, no. to find Jordan. a song or to find a movie that's actually Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Or respectful or pure in Ooh. any way. It's just, it's just not what's popular right now. But like we've been saying, just because that's what's trending, just because that's what's okay. popular out in society. You do it. I've already done the last right. few. Now, there's a verse that I was actually really surprised to read it because it's like it is listing exactly what we see the book. in you know, music videos and movies. I want you to listen Ooh, that was carefully. Close. Okay? Galatians 5, 19 through 20 says, Now the works of the flesh are evident. The works of the flesh being Which like one? the sinful side of us, things that are not honoring to God. They're evident. And what are they? They're sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, Strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, or drunkenness, and Woo! like these. This verse is saying that these are the works of the flesh. These are not things that are of Christ. These are not things that honor Christ. These are the things of the flesh. These are not good. And here's what they are. And now, just reading this, I personally feel like, wow, that is so much of what we see in pop culture pop society the music the movies so much i mean just recently someone sent us a song on through our email and they're like have you seen this song yet and i looked up the lyrics and it was like 100 percent what is what we're reading in this verse and so that's what's popular but girls know just because it's popular just because everyone's listening to it doesn't mean you have to participate you can take a stand and say i'm not going to give into the peer pressure in this way i'm going to take a stand to honor god and i'm going to not give into the flesh not listen not watch these things and i'm going to strive after purity and holiness instead choose to be set apart in this area even though it's hard so when it All comes right, to something. music and movies we both want to challenge you to take a stand and be set apart and the last okay i bethany did an internet search to get an idea of how culture defines a woman as successful. I typed in the question, what is a successful woman? And I clicked on the image tab. Pictures are worth a thousand words, right? Within a matter of seconds, my computer screen was filled with images of women wearing suit jackets, women giving presentations, women in board meetings, and women working on their computers. The message I received was pretty clear. A successful woman in the 21st century works in the corporate world. She rubs elbows with men and women in prestigious business meetings. She's quickly climbing the corporate ladder. <laughs> 
Contrary to modern culture, the purpose and motivation behind the labor of godly, hard-working women in the Bible was quite different. Almost without exception, these godly women worked hard for two reasons. One, to glorify God. Two, to bless and serve their families. Their purpose for working hard wasn't to exalt themselves. It wasn't to hang their achievements on a wall. It wasn't about becoming something. It was rooted in glorifying God. It was centered in loving their families. It was consistent with God's design for femininity. How do you feel about that? So they, they're, they're not down with the business work in women? They skirt around it by trying to be like, it's fine to be like successful or whatever, but like if but, you have a family and blood, but they, yeah, kind of. They're, I mean, that. that was pretty clear. I read verbatim out of their book, so. That's <laughs> annoying. Well, that was a lesson from Bethany. Thank you. Thanks, Bethany. Thank you. And thank you, Jordan, for yes, spinning the wheel. thank you, Jordan. And then hold on a second. Thank you to Owen for the super chat. Drunkenness. Woo! Woo! Huh. <laughs> and okay, also... Yeah, oh, sorry. How do you spell it? Lucian? Lucerne? Lucerne? No, it's an M. Oh. Works of the Fleshlight. Oh. Okay. We want to talk about Thank you for the super chat. Disrespecting <laughs> your parents rotate and the couch rebelling against My authority. Oh, this, this is the sticky one. It's the sticky one sweet. because we remember being young and yeah, this is up. hard. And it's so sad what? because Thank what you. is portrayed in society and so often movies that are geared towards younger people like teens is parents are often portrayed and authority is often portrayed in cool. a terrible light oh, where yeah. you can disrespect the authority, you can speak bad about them, you can rebel against your parents. Like your parents no are problem. so dumb. They don't They're know anything about dad's yeah. doofus. Your mom's just an idiot. Dang. Yeah, so Thank often you for picking up a pop socket. Is portrayed in that way, and so, so it's oh. very easy. Steven, for us, Steven. especially with Thank you for picking up a Jack and a David to shirt. To just rebel Woo. and to disrespect and to give yeah. no respect yeah. for yeah. authority, and that's so common, so popular. And you may be wrestling with that right now, or look around and see friends who are wrestling with that because it is just so normal to treat yeah. authority and parents that way. But when we look in God's word, as Christian girls, we need to realign our heart and say what is true, totally. what is right. And God's word speaks to this. In Ephesians 6, month through 2, he says, children. Have y'all gone nuts yet? We're working on it. Lord, yeah, we're definitely getting there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honor your Lisa, father Lisa, thank you for picking up the first a with promise. wine kitty so shirt. here we see, it's not a suggestion. Like, if you Woo. feel like it, you know, if it's an easy day, you know, if they're agreeing with you. No, it's saying children, referring to children in the home. Sure, not, Obey not your bothering. parents. This is no. right. It's Honor that we're your constantly and doing this. And this is and like, so huge because I need to be we, straight as children, ahead. as daughters, I mean, we still honor our parents, yeah. even though I'm okay. married, you're getting married, you like, we don't obey them, them. we're not children in the home, but we're called to still honor them yeah. and to respect them respect because God has still put them in that position in our lives. And so that is what God is calling us as Christian women to do, to be set apart in that way that we see God. This is so hard, but would you help so me hard. speak to my mom respectfully? Would you help yeah. me to honor my dad as the authority in my life? Would you help me in these areas? Because it's so hard and I can't do this on my own. And as we pray and ask God to change our hearts, he will. And Thanks in for this, hanging out with, with us. I did not expect this many people to still be here yeah. at this time. Those are I'm four like very big surprised. areas. Those aren't Quite the party. Areas, those are four big ones. And so we know you are probably struggling with one of those and you're like, oh, I don't want to hear this. Keep it's liking, guys. But we hope you will. The more likes, will the better the stream will do. You will Thank you, Ariane. Ariane from Tank. Ooh, yay. You have to write those verses down and pray and ask God, please help me in these areas. I'm, I'm excited to get my overalls. I'm going to be more like you, Christ. I'm like really excited about it. I to walk and act in this way. We want to challenge you to choose to obey God can. rather than giving into what's easy, rather than giving into what's popular. We want you to be a young woman who glorifies God above all. 2.1. Let's keep going, one guys. In life. So it's we hope to like. and pray that you will take this challenge. It helps a lot. And that you will choose to pray about it and begin to make change today. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from us, you can subscribe to our channel below because we post new videos every Wednesday. Like my stream, not their videos. Just regular my basis, stream. Just head on over to our blog, girldefined.com, where we post new content on a weekly basis. I have like really weird hair, like very kinky, but yes. it's fine. The teen it girl. Is weird. Wait. Maggie, no scratching. <laughs> when we talk, she starts scratching more and more. Do you have a cat? Oh, it's a dog. Maggie, these areas that... Crystal! Just a couple bucks of... <laughs> bunks.
Oh, it's scary. Wow. Oh, okay. Kids. If you like Mama this video Dr. and Jones. you like what oh, we're I love doing that here, channel. If you want to get behind us in a more personal I way, watch that you channel. can consider becoming a Patreon, a partner over. with us. Very if you're like cool. Kristen and Bethany, I want to support you guys. This that. is the best way you can do that yeah. by giving a dollar or two dollars a video, which is just a few bucks a month. And essentially, you are the ones that honor Jesus on our knees. Yes, bitch. If you want to find out more, if you want to support us, we would be so encouraged by your support. Haley and Rachel. Haley and Haley Rachel. Rachel, you guys are amazing. Thanks for getting merch. Hey, Make sure you so use code Girls of Find at checkout for a discount. Who are here week to week? We so appreciate you. If you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from us on a weekly basis, subscribe to our channel below. And if you want to keep this channel going, you're like, I love this content. I want. I to did, Dan. On, head on over to our Patreon. Today we want to Oops. share with you. If you what? Yourself My mouse is being weird. So for the glory of God, we oh, like to, but keeping this channel ad free and helping us continue on. Well, today we're going to be talking about something that every single one of us can relate to, but something we don't really like to talk Break about. Break free about from habitual sin. sin. And the Bible says that we have all fallen short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. We're all disgusting life, sinners. Dirty, wrong. dirty, dirty, dirty angry, sinners. We ever, whatever, like we've all sinned and we sin on a regular basis. So but there. what we want to talk about today isn't just the fact that we're sinners, but the yeah. fact that God is calling us to walk in freedom, that God through his son Jesus Christ died on the cross to break the power of sin, to break the bondage of sin, and in Christ we can find freedom. And sometimes we find ourselves in certain seasons of life, we have totally been there, where we are stuck in a pattern of sin that's a habitual uh, sin, and we just feel like, I am stuck in this rut, I do this every single day or every single week, and I, I hate myself for doing this dream. Like, like, this is too much. This, ever get on the other side? At least it wasn't eight it hours. Totally you know? The Onision stream was eight hours, and we almost did that again. I'm like, no, I can't. I cannot. I can't. We could do another Onision stream. The onion shots were nice. I would rather do an onion shot than the hot sauce we've been doing. I know we wanted to be like the in hell theme, but man, that's too much fire for me. I can't. We're actually pulling these four steps from our book, Sex Period, the Long Colleen! But these are practical steps. You can want a content break. The sin category doesn't have to be a I can post a link in the comments. It's 17 minutes, absolutely shocking. Colleen, send me a link on Twitter. We want that for us, and we want that. Send me a link on Twitter, yeah, and, these are actually the steps and I will make sure that I check yeah, it out. Like I already screenshotted uh, your um, comment before about free. it, so I'm gonna save that. that yeah. to be oh my God, Brittany Rose! So the first my friend is to loves Girl Define. She is mad at me for watching an atheist make fun of them for six hours. Here's money to annoy her even more. Aw, your friend should not be annoyed with you for watching content that you like. If you can respect her for being a Christian, she can respect you for the kinds of content that you're interested in. It's not personal. But <laughs> cheers to that. Let us spin the wheel. Well, Brittany wrote. Are they still talking? So what we don't want to do is we don't just want to feel sorry about ourselves. We don't want to say, I don't want consequences for my sins. Yeah, I feel bad. I shouldn't do that. If we have that kind of like just sorrow over our sin, we're Joke. never going to find I, I guess I always get so scared. I think it's going to be. Okay, I genuinely need forgiveness from God. I have sinned against tighter? God first and foremost. So you have to get on your knees and just like God, use your fingers for I am sorry for my sin. I, I have okay, I'm going to use these consequences my website that I have pulled up for jokes. Let me find a good one for you, Brittany. Yo, mama, so ugly when the devil saw her, he started praying. I'll find another one, but that one's good. Um, oh my God, this is a good one. Can we can we pause for this joke? I have a good joke. This one actually made me laugh. Okay, Mother Superior tells two new nuns that they have to paint their room without getting any paint on their clothes. One nun suggests to the other, hey, let's take all our clothes off, fold them up, and lock the door. So they do this and begin painting their room. Soon they hear a knock at the door. They ask, who is it? Blind man, they hear. The nuns look at each other and one says, well, he's blind so he can't see. What could it hurt? So they let him in. The blind man walks in and says, hey, nice tits. Where do you want me to hang the blinds? Ah, uh, he's the blind man. <laughs> that was a good one. That, I thought, it, okay, I thought it was fun. Thank you for fake laughing. You didn't really. <laughs> I thought it was funny. You like that the one? The blind man? Yeah, the blind man. Oh, that was really good. That was fucking hilarious. Thank you, Brittany Rose, Thank for the you, joke. Brittany. That 
saved us a little bit. <laughs> I use I saved us as a pun. It's nice to break up the monotony of a stream, which is why I put that in there. I think these jokes are good, okay? And good. I had to look really hard to find actual funny Christian themed uh, jokes. No, wake up. Uh, we sure. have more partying to do. We still have an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> On our journey toward freedom is to bring journey towards freedom sins into the light. yeah now something that is the most terrifying is yeah. to have a sin that you're wrestling with that I remember distinctly going through a season of this where I was struggling with a specific sin and nobody knew about it I talk about it in this chapter but I was terrified and the thought of bringing this sin into the light telling someone else about it was the most terrifying thing I could ever imagine but then I came across a verse like Proverbs 28 13 which says whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper but he who confesses Can I see the book? forsakes them Which one? will obtain the white one. mercy. And I remember seeing that person thinking, by keeping my sin a I wonder what her sin was. Anyone. And just thinking that somehow... Wait, did she say where it was? ...wrestling with this sin, I'm just going to somehow find freedom in and of yeah. my own self. Like, no, this verse is saying clearly that I will not prosper, but when you speak I up, think it's just her porn addiction. The light, Proverbs is saying, you will obtain mercy. God will give you mercy. And the thing is that as I prayed through this and was wrestling with this, God really yep. did convict my heart. You're kidding me. And gave no. me the strength and the power to step forward Her? to actually yeah. be honest about it. And so I went to someone and I said, I am struggling with this certain sin. Can you help me? Can you pray with me? Where? Can you help me walk through that this? The and chapter that, that she was reading. was the turning point in that habitual sin in my life. And so Bring your sin to life. That is ongoing that you're wrestling with. We cannot encourage you enough to speak up. Tell a Christian, um, if you're a guy, tell a godly Christian man. A that's woman, what she's a reading. A Christian woman, someone that you trust, someone that's biblical, someone that's oh going to walk with you. And bringing in that sin. In oh, life, Rachel. Break its grip on you. And the third step is to seek ongoing discipleship. Here's another one to celebrate my brother telling me that he no longer like believes in hell. We hammer this point home and that he and his wife aren't going to the conservative lives, church we were raised we in anymore. That the Bible Baby steps like, and hope for the future. For That's actually Christian really exciting. Wait, say that again. We obviously see in Titus um, two her brother in, is never, he's to not going to the um, conservative church they used to go to and he doesn't believe in hell anymore. Brother, That's cool. How exciting. Is in any that is hope. Any yes. You who are spiritual. This is for you, Rachel. In a spirit of gentleness. Keep walk on yourself lest you should be tempted. Bear one another's burdens. And Holy Spirit. All right. We get to cheers to Rachel's good news. We're not supposed to do this on our own. And I think that's the lie from the enemy that he, he wants you to think, no, you got this, you got this, you can do it. But where do we find ourselves month after month or even year after year? We keep believing that lie. Like, I've got this. I can do this. I, I, I don't really need the help of someone else. But that's not God's design for us. He gave us the body of Christ. He gave us body of Christ. women around us or men, if you're a man, to say, okay, I'm not going to do this on my own. God has commanded those who are spiritual, those who are wiser than us, to walk alongside of us in Jesus. Jesus. And how it's encouraging okay. is that? Yeah. Like, I know you're struggling, but I am here for you, and yeah. I will walk with you and point you to truth. Rachel. If you're wrestling with something, you're, you're believing it's lies. good. I'll open yeah. up I like it. And show you the truth. And so we encourage you to find, be proactive. Don't wait for that person to come This to boy you. loves Go after them. Look and say, okay, I can't drink because I'm not 21 yet, if I don't, where but I'll be I drinking with you in spirit. Is there a good Bible-believing church in my area that I can get involved with? So well, cheers to you. Woman. This step cheers me with water. And, your <laughs> and the last helpful step y'all are so is fun to make radical changes so this sounds kind of like okay make radical changes what are we talking about but if you think about your life and you think about the specific sin that you're struggling with on an ongoing basis this is something that was so helpful for us is to think about where am i struggling how am i struggling when is it happening why is it happening and to think about the context Ooh, that so shot got me sin yeah. it's if it's a particular sin it's not just happening all the time it's normally yeah. specific times specific days specific scenarios specific, specific situations places, yeah places, whatever it is. And so if you stop and think in that particular place at that particular time on the ongoing basis, that's when I'm struggling and to think, is there anything surrounding that that I could change to make it easier yeah. to resist temptation? Because we want to set ourselves up for success. God wants to help us and help us find freedom. But if we're being foolish about the things we're doing, then yeah. it's going to make it a lot harder to walk towards freedom. And so making radical changes is looking at your life and saying, is there anything in my life that yeah. I need to remove, mm. that I need to stop doing? Sir, I just stop bought my wine kitty hoodie. Yeah. To, Can't wait to mix drinks in my new hoodie. Like <laughs> Love you too. Happy people. Sunday. Happy Sunday to you too. I cannot wait to send it to you. In your room at night alone, and that's where the struggle is happening. It might be a good idea the to make a radical too. change and say, you know what? 
I'm not gonna have my computer in my room at night. That's not helpful or my phone. I'm gonna leave it outside. I'm gonna charge it in the living room, whatever it is. Or if it's a certain place you're going and you're always tempted and you sit in that particular place, like, you know what? Maybe you make a radical change and don't go to that place anymore. Don't, maybe it's a certain friend group. Maybe it's people you follow on social media, whatever yeah. it is. How like think, toxic? How can I help myself? By she needs to charge her phone outside of her room so that she doesn't look at porn. Radical and removing certain things from your life for a season or Just forever, look at porn. If it's not helpful in fighting sin. And so that's something that we have both done and it has been hugely helpful. So don't neglect this last step. Baby. The entire reason that we're sharing this with you is because we want you, we want us, we want all of us to have freedom because we have to remember that's why Jesus came. He came to this earth because he knew we couldn't fight this battle on our own. We couldn't do it on our own. So if we trust in him for salvation, trust that he rose from the dead and conquered sin once and for all, we have the Holy Spirit who is our helper who can help us fight in this. So as you're sitting there and thinking, this is hard. I don't know if I can do this. Stop and just pray and say, I'm back. What have I I'm missed? Um, help me. Kristen you know, watches porn and she has to charge own. her phone outside Again, of her room so she doesn't watch video, porn. Definitely give us a thumbs up. We would love to hear from you. <laughs> That's so pretty good. Below, yeah, it's a good analysis of it. Yeah. More of this. And of course, Welcome back. Go Welcome back. <laughs> Patreon.com slash girl with where you can support us on a weekly basis. Today. Oh, pour your Patreon out one more time. David wrote a love song about me, and he's posting the lyrics on his Patreon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so, Patreon.com slash future sunsets. Yes. It's a it's an epic ballad, but it's real and has very real themes. And uh, it's about me. Sure. And how messed up my brain is. That's not necessarily true. Kind of. I I, I fully accept it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, it's but, a really beautiful song. It's very sweet. But it comes out. Well, it'll come out in a few weeks because I have to do like a whole Spotify playlisting thing, whatever. But the lyrics will come out for the song tomorrow to everybody who supports on Patreon for as little as one dollar. Um, and then I'm gonna also give away the demo of just when I started writing the song, so it's not perfect. It's just the first verse and pre-chorus. But it gives you a good idea. Of, like, yeah, the feel of the that song was like and, like, yeah, and it was like me being like, "Is this a good song? Should I finish it?" Yes. And that was the start of it. So that comes out tomorrow. So. Patreon.com slash Future Sunsets if you're interested yes. in hearing that and seeing the lyrics to the first song written about her. Yay. Yay. And if right. you love me, support my love. <laughs> oh, oh. Darn it. Okay. Do you know which talk? My dog. Also, we're getting married, so any yeah, money you I give was. him is also mine. Ah, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> forget it. <laughs> I think the two of them is so dumb. Nice. I love the quick ending. Hey, it's Kristen and Bethany with Girl Defined Ministries, and in today's vlog, oh. we're going to be talking about how to use Hello. the Bible to answer tough questions. As modern oh girls, goodness, we I'm have so a excited. lot of relevant oh, yeah. questions in this day and age, right? Definitely and we live so in a culture loud, that's telling us Jesus all Christ. sorts of different things, and sometimes it can be hard to know, okay, what's right? Yeah. But the truth is... Calista, am I saying your name right? All of the answers that we need. For but you who can sit through way more than I can, I appreciate it. Oh man. For, for these tough questions. Okay. God's word has we the have a that wheel we spin. In fact, 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All How to use the Bible to answer God tough God questions. For teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness that the Joke. man of God I'm always so afraid of the bomb. Because we already have one mark, so next time we land on it, we gotta do it. Using the Bible to answer All right. our tough question questions and in this oh Aaron we want to show thank you, you for getting merch I've studied God's word in the moral like, both us have studied yeah. God's word we really realized like wow the Bible actually has a lot to Wait, say I had about one our modern day and age and if we read it and if we're in it ourselves topics start to come out and I'm like oh my goodness this is actually answering mm -hmm. my questions this is helpful for me in my everyday life as a modern girl right now and so we want to take you in and take you through several modern relevant topics to help you answer your tough questions. So we're just gonna take you through a few to give you the idea of how you can take a modern, relevant, tough question and answer it through scripture. So the first topic we wanna to dig into is love because that is a huge love. topic in our day and age and the culture defines it really as like feelings, sparks, personal opinion, happiness. It really is emotionally up, yeah, based. Like emotionally based, left up to the person to decide how I want to mm -hmm. love and what love is. And as a modern girl, it can seem like, oh yeah, that is, that makes sense. Like it should be up to you where you should be able to love in whatever way you see fit. But when we open God's word, if we turn to 1 Corinthians 13, starting in verse four, I'm looking for a good joke. Some very practical verses on what love actually is. It says, love is patient, love is kind, 
Love does, love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. Okay, I find, okay. Irritable or resentful. I'm so it stupid. It took me a minute to get this joke, but I, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> Four nuns are in line to go into heaven. God asks the first nun if she has ever sinned. She says, well, I have seen a penis. So God puts holy water on her eyes and lets her enter. He asks the second nun the same thing, and she says, well, I've held a penis. So he puts holy water on her hands and lets her enter. Then the fourth nun skips the third nun in line, and God asks why she did that. The fourth nun replies, well, I need to gargle before she sits in it. Sits in it? I had to think about it for a minute. Was it a spitting joke? I didn't get it. Are you going to explain it for the people? Well, I looked at it for a long time. I was staring at my phone. I was trying to understand this joke, and then I felt stupid that I didn't get it. But... <sighs> Isn't it like that the, they, like, hooked up or something? Oh, Was my interpretation? Now we're going to have live stream footage of us not understanding a simple joke. I mean, doesn't it just mean, like... No? Fine. If nobody gets it, I'll read a new one. I think it was a spitting joke. Like a blowjob nun spitting joke. Well, hold on a second. Hold on. I, I thought it was... Anyways. The third one. Okay, this is what happens when an atheist is quarantined for an extended amount of time. They go insane and watch Girl Define. Yes, Gray, I, I am going insane. No one understood it. Hold on, fine. I, I don't feel you know that what? bad. I thought I, I thought I understood it for a second, but maybe I didn't. I think I got it close with my analysis. Um... I'm trying. And the passage actually continues on for quite a while describing what love is. So if we listen to the mm -hmm. culture and say, okay, this is their definition of love, I guess I'll take that for myself. It's basically based on our own opinion. Mm -hmm. But if we turn to God's word, we can say, wow, there is a true definition of love. And if I look there, I have to shape my worldview, yes. my beliefs off of God's word and answer that tough question of what is love yeah. according to scripture. And the what next tough question that we're going to use the Bible to answer is the topic of creation, right? Yeah. Where did we come from? Where did the world come from? How did all of this stuff get here? Very relevant. <laughs> if you're in high school, in college, you're probably being taught the most popular theory out there, which is... The theory of evolution, the Big Bang Theory, that's what's popular. That's what scientists are telling us, oh, we're finding new research. This is what yeah. we all need to believe. But as Christians, we need to say, okay, that's interesting, but what does God's yeah. word say? What does God's word tell me? This I mean, is she wearing a lot? Bethany seems to be wearing a lot of makeup. Is that godly? In our Bibles, we can find a very clear answer to this question. We turn to the very first book in the entire Bible, Genesis 1. I'm sorry. And it clearly states the first verse, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then it goes on, as you probably know, to explain all of creation and how God did that. So when we open our open up our Bibles, we can get answers to the tough question of where did the world come from? Where did we come uh, from? God. In the beginning, God created it. And so she doesn't like evolution? That we really need she doesn't an like the Big Bang? That was, her, that was it? Eternity, the question, where am I what is the difference when I die? between... This is, this is a short one. What's the difference between a nun and a woman in a bathtub? One has hope in her soul, and one has soap in her hole. Uh, <laughs> it's just a play on words. Hey. I still don't understand the, the, the gargling thing. Fourth did a BJ, and the third did butt stuff? But what does the butt stuff have to do with the third one gargling? The fourth one gargling? It's because none four had penis in mouth, and none three had penis up her butt. That's what... We had two people say that. Okay. But I didn't... I didn't get that.
We'll have to save that and just run that. I think that that's the correct interpretation. I didn't see that. <laughs> what? I didn't get that from the joke. Well, I guess if you're using, like, a communal holy water, like, one goes on the girl's eyes, that's fine. One hands is fine. I get the drink out of it. I guess you'd want a drink out of it before someone... Yeah, I thought you splash it on people. I That's what I was... Yeah. I don't know. So anyways, they use the Bible to answer, don't listen to your high school evolutionary teacher. The answer is actually in Genesis 1. I hate them. Sorry, guys. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. And even these days, we Kitty. have people in churches telling us, no, everyone goes to heaven. There is no hell. Everyone goes to heaven. Or, no, there is no nothing after life. Mm -hmm. You just die, and yeah. that's it. And there can be a lot of compelling yeah. arguments. Like, we yeah. have this evidence. We have that evidence. Or you hear someone that you really yeah. trust saying, no, actually, you don't need to worry about it. Just be a good person, and you'll end up mm -hmm. in heaven. And you can think, like, how do I answer this question? How do I know? Is there heaven? Is there hell? Where will I go for all of eternity? Yeah. Well, if you open the Bible, there are many verses mm -hmm. on the topic of eternity. But one of the one of the verses that we love most is John 3, Yeah, 16. so she wants the water in her John, mouth before the same water is on the fourth one's butt. Chapter says, hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Start. that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And that's just one verse that says that mm -hmm. we need a savior in order to get to heaven. We are need you still saying, Jacqueline, I left three hours ago? No, perfect people are I'm not. To heaven. And so that's just one verse that says, yes, some people will perish Hope. and go to hell. It's been super awesome will go to heaven, knitting and watching y'all at the same time. Aw, they will never stop talking. Below, but that's just never, ever. chapter that you can go to that talks about eternity. And the final tough question that we're going to answer well, Colleen, is Colleen, you're amazing. Don't worry about marriage. it. We live in a day and age where marriage is being Fourth totally did a BJ and third did butt stuff. Okay, we've established. I get it now. Marriage is, the definition seems like it's always changing. Okay. And so it can be very <laughs> Sorry. confusing as a modern girl. You think, wow, what is the true defini definition of marriage? What does marriage look like? How does God define it? Does he say anything about this? God's word says a ton about this. In fact, going back to Genesis, God was the original designer and creator of marriage. And here's what he says in Genesis 2. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. In Genesis 2, God makes it very clear that marriage, according to how God designed it, is between one man and one woman. They leave their family, they join Great. together, and they become one Homophobia! Flesh. Yay! And within that covenant, that is marriage in God's eyes. And as Christian girls... We need to open up our Bible and have answers to these hard but relevant questions. Alina, sure did I say that right? God's mm -hmm. word Alina, is thank you for world, ordering merch. His word is telling us truth, and then we need to believe it. Because God's word has so much to say God. about relevant, tough mm -hmm. questions. So those are just a few of the tough questions that we as modern girls have. There are so many more tough questions mm -hmm. we have. And thankfully, like 2 Timothy says, all yes. scripture is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, that it will yes. answer our questions. So we are going to link these verses below so that you can dig into this yourself so you can start practicing answering tough questions according to scripture. Mm -hmm. We want you to dig in, ah. look for yourself, learn how to do this. Using 4,000 year old scripture as the basis for your argument. The older you get, the more of questions the origin you have, of the world, and, you and yet not acknowledging to answer those questions. Thanks so much for watching this video. No if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Yes. And if you want to see more from us, we post new Conveniently videos every Wednesday. Conveniently cherry picking, So you can subscribe to our channel below. Here we go. Okay, are you, Here we go. Are you going into Here it? Here we go. Oh, no. like a huge crunch. I'm going crazy, <laughs> guys. I'm going <laughs> I'm so insane. Like, guys, do what? Are we done I'm yet? Like, I'm just going and you have it like an expectation. It's so it's like an hour and a half. I need to stop looking at the clock another, because oh, wait, it I'm just like, oh, okay. goes forever. Crimson! You literally have like a huge scoop made. <laughs> the dumb blonde trope but make it religion. I probably was. <laughs> like, oh no, af actually after... Oh, you were, yeah, you were on a roll. Thanks so much. I always do it. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Chris hey and Bethany here. Thanks so much for joining the conversation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs Boom. up, two thumbs up. And That's if you want nice to see more plant. from us, subscribe to our channel below. We post it's new videos nice every single week. And if you want to support this channel to help us keep going, click the support link below to patreon.com slash girl defined. The topic we're going to be having a conversation about today, I would say is really geared towards young Christian women yeah. because this is something that as young Christian women, it can be so hard, so confusing. And I remember being in that yeah. stage where you're trying to navigate. How many lamps do you think they have? 
interested in some guys but not yeah, others. I've oh, never so really wondered that. Yeah, but if you look, the shadows on both sides of her head like that, so they're just who we were really great friends. And you I know, one light in the middle that's have really great guy friendships and a Christ honoring. No, they don't have to be a large light. Guy friendships can go down roads that I think they have two lamps to go down. Like, uh oh, now what am I gonna oh, do? Yeah. So that's what happened to me. You're right. And, uh, there was this guy friend, and we actually had a conversation at the beginning of our friendship. Like, hey, let's just become really good friends. You know, we really get along. We love hanging out, but uh, we don't want to be anything more than friends, right? You agree? You I have not liked this video. It's like I've been torturing myself really now for all time, day. day. Right? But we thought we're like, yeah, we've got it. Like, we made we're this so I think that <laughs> yeah, should be supported. So we would hang out all the time, one on one. We would have these deep emotional. Make sure you leave a comment about what you guys think about the lamps. You know, it was all great at first, but then as time went on. Now, also, so make sure you leave a comment below. Probably gonna get interested because you're spending all this time and you so that when the video, because I'm gonna keep this on my channel. Right? I mean, it's like you're So, oh yeah, comment on the actual video, so, not the. Course, yeah, like not, not just in the chat, but the chat does stay though for a stream, right? Really yeah. Am, like romantically cool. interested, and I just remember being like, whoa, like wait a minute, you know, because he was kind of hanging out to take the relationship down a more romantic road, like becoming a couple, and I was like, I thought we agreed. And then I Lance. realized, you know, my actions were very confusing to him. Even though we said, okay, we're just yeah. going to be friends forever and we're going to agree to this. When you spend a lot of Tippy. time one on one and you're yeah, emotionally money. involved and you're yeah. invested yeah. and you're, you know, you're just so Come invested here. in this relationship, chances are someone is going to get yeah, emotionally child. and romantically yeah. attracted to the other person. Yeah. And so that's what happened. And looking back now, yeah. and even afterwards, I realized, yeah. you know, I need to be more careful. Like, we both need to be more careful. If we're going to say that this relationship is just going to be friends, then we need to be careful yeah. to make sure that our actions actually yeah. reflect that. And looking back at my heart, I'm like, in some ways, it was like false advertising. The overlord says, the lamps like, are very important, actually. My actions were kind of pointing to the fact yeah. that maybe I wanted something more yeah. for the relationship, even though I didn't. So if you've ever found yourself in that spot, which I'm sure a lot of you have, you know how totally. challenging it can be. Yeah. So today we just want to unpack a little bit of how can we navigate that in a Christ-honoring way and have friendships with guys that we're not rom romantically interested in that really oh. do just stay friends. You know, when I was a teenager, kind of like early 20s, like that whole phase where you're like, okay, you're not officially in a relationship, <laughs> maybe, you but you're definitely interested in yeah. guys. But Tiffany then you went to drink water and she stuck her head too far into the cup. Yes. I, I remember like this. feeling like, is it possible to be just friends with guys? Because I do think that it's so important to recognize, like, wow. Aren't they just two, friends you know, with all guys? And, female, and I think it's a beautiful right? thing. And I think there can be so much benefit from having guy friends. Even her so husband? In a moment of desperation, I was at a conference and there was a speaker that I really <laughs> admired and trusted. And I remember there was a Q&A and I wrote down my question, is it possible to be just friends with guys? And there like, were is hundreds, it possible? Don't like you think that session, you can't be friends? Of people in Didn't there, you say and something like that? Selected, and I remember um, she answered my question. I have question, friends that are guys that are just friends. I mean, I knew that. I thought you said that in the video. You see, David. That she told me, I've so had a series of relationships woman with guys that I am found it I need help. I impossible to, to only be guys. friends with women. Maybe advice she gave me will be helpful so my opinion so was skewed one, for a time. Don't make your guy friendships all to only about be friends or to not be friends. Do your best to keep your friendships. That I didn't think guys could be friends setting. with girls without Work hard sleeping with them. Because that had been my experience for so long. Immediately, I was just reflecting in my own life. But these two are supposed to be super religious. Because I feel like maybe he's getting interested in me, but I really just want to be friends with him. I really like, wow, I am making this friendship a little bit more. I think they're not talking about like kind of sex, they're talking about the attraction. I shouldn't. And if mm. I just focused on more like group text, friend group text, group hangouts rather than these one on one, I think that would help yes. a lot. You know, that's where I went wrong. Yeah. I mean, that was a huge part of it for sure. The second thing was she said, don't make the relationship deeply emotional and feelings oriented. Mm. Another they thing talk so that, much, try not to yet they say from so the little. Ways that would draw you two together I in feel an that. an emotional way. Save the deep, deep emotional stuff oh, for your girlfriend. Nick E. So Y'all you know, you are like, troopers oh, going through guys, six you know, hours of this. Thanks for the good entertainment while I study for finals. But if you really want good luck with your finals. Hard, you know? And I thank you for went the home and applied these super chat. That she said to a specific friendship that I was concerned about, feeling like the guy was interested in me. I you was know, not interested in him, and I really at least we're in quarantine because I remember whenever I would have to study for finals, of like, oh, you know, people yeah, would be going out and doing fun things, and I'm like, I hate all so of you. But now everyone's miserable. So these two strategies, and I started making things more group oriented, and I started to stop kind of sharing some deeply emotional and asking those deeply emotional questions, and really say, Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit of God. Is and entering our room. Wait, and I realized, Nick wow, E, this is I for you, girl. To navigate these friendships 
in a way that can be beneficial and loving to both him and myself. I don't just have to be a victim and say, oh, well, this is always going to happen. There are strategic things that we oh, can shit. do to we got really another one. make the friendship and keep it in the context that we're really hoping for. So if you find yourself struggling to keep guys in that just friend zone okay. like we had, yeah. then we Am I saying that right? Two, like, really yeah. strategies, I would yeah. say. I've, I've had, imply that. Like, I've had to go to church because I care for a lady who goes. To, like, not do things you were doing or do things you weren't doing. Just and I work Sunday. It's so worth it. So we just encourage you to even take some time to pray and say. There's evidence for the resurrection and though. I know that's false. Sermons like that give me anxiety. It still gets to me. I don't know why. Have you experienced this? How can I be intentional? How can I be? I did at first. And think through these things and not just. I did at first. Like whatever happens social media and real life. I did think like that at first. It's it's hard. It takes a long time to. Let go of the fear and anxiety that you have around all of that. Over time that you really can you just kind of have to wait it out. Again, thank you so much for watching this Eventually, video. Eventually, peace will come. Up and subscribe so you can see but I feel that, and I went through it for a really long time. And of course, if you want to see this channel continue on, we are asking you to join us to link arms with us to help us continue okay. creating videos Let's, and making this channel I owe you a spin. ad free. So head on over to Yo, Patreon. Oh, you have one Holy Spirit and then one. Yeah, but thank you for. That's sweet of you that you take care of somebody at church. Yeah. That's really awesome of you. Oh, What's it gonna be, Nala? Like, let's just be friends. Okay. <laughs> Another Your Holy dog. Spirit, uh -oh. Jesus Christ. Right. And I'm sorry, guys. I'll try to keep it more convinced. <laughs> yeah, I was getting really. I was hoping it would be a treat for Nala. You know what? I'm still nice. gonna give her a little one. She's so cute. Were there any questions that y'all had major disagreements? Good girl. Oh, that was a lot of Audio's. spit. Audio's down. Oh snap! We haven't thought about right. this. I want no kids. I want ten kids. Like, yeah. Be a problem. It worked out. <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> What's up, sisterhood? It hey, is Justin and Bethany here. We are so pumped to get to hang out with you guys. So pumped. We just want to say <laughs> that we love our patrons. Okay, this channel is supported. So by is she patrons. pregnant? Here? Help us keep going so we can produce yeah. really content for you. Uh, is the audio good? Who were some of our recent? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's recent, quieter. So we have okay. Ashton Wheeler, Mariella. All right, this is our first. We've got Zoe Witzel, Hannah Boom. Stoneman. We've got Jeff Cheers Clark, to Schwab, Nick E and, and everyone that's still watching this stream. I know, Thank Jesus Christ, y'all are troopers. So yeah. Yeah. We're troopers, y'all are troopers. That signs up. You guys are the reason that we're able to keep this channel going. So thank you for your support. Do you, you want to take like five content, before we do the next one? You're your we life. can take a few minutes, yeah. yeah. I'd like to take a few minutes. It's like one, two, three, thank you, Che, K. It's not that much. Click link below, patreon.com. I hope that was a good enough answer. You can help us. You can join the team because we love you. <laughs> I would you find know, people I that think like you that you can talk to about it. I just feel like because the more I would like, oh honestly, even making okay. YouTube videos, the more I would talk about it, and the more I realized how ridiculous all of it was, the better I did feel, and the more at peace I felt. So just expose yourself to more atheist content. Read Richard Dawkins' The God Delusion. It's so good. Okay, we had questions though. You had questions. Just try to like talk it out. It really does help. The reason that I compiled this is because. Previously, like before Dave, I had been uh, specifically in one. I'm gonna pour this just so that we don't forget. I we have to do it. Me and this guy were on the same page about a lot of things, and so I just assumed we didn't need to talk about like certain subjects. Well, those we of you who missed part of the stream, I see people saying that. <laughs> Nichols, you only we missed 40 minutes. Lot, You've been here a long ass time. Certain topics, but like, oh, this will stay on. live on my channel after the stream ends. Yeah, and that relationship kind of went down. So if you miss something, fire. I don't know. No worries. And a lot of it, I look back and reflect, and I'm like, a lot of it was, I think, could have been avoided. Y'all are so it. fun. Have been more bold and wouldn't have assumed we were on the same page about certain things because we weren't. And I think both of us just avoided talking about it because you want it to work. You want it to, to last. And so when Dave came around, I was like, I'm not making that same mistake, even though I assumed, again, like, I assumed Dave and I were on the same page. I assumed, like, we probably believe the same thing about this. I didn't want to assume. And so I actually... Thought of a lot of these questions. I hope Kristen and gets pregnant. The resources and grab some questions and yeah. created this list. I watched the video of her talking about the their infertility issues before we got engaged. One was really sad. Are they doing it? Was awesome, and I'm telling you, I don't like, remember. I just remember feeling really bad. Some of them we went yeah. by like about no, that. yes, you know, super fast. But there were certain even though like I don't really like out on or we sought advice on the stuff that they say. There's still like people. The you know, mind yeah. going, at least we and like as a woman, that, like I like I can't imagine how that would feel. Subject, at least we're being intentional so. in our conversation. Wishing and her it the was best. super helpful for us, and we both really enjoyed it. And now I recommend it all the time. And I feel like <laughs> everyone I know, like, where's that list of questions? I, I get know. DMs all the time, people asking about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. About it. People are wishing okay, they never get pregnant. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And not, you know, not necessarily. I think. 
like when it comes to the topics of you know, and like Bethany, like, um, like, like her husband cleaning, said that if the kid didn't want to be a Christian, he would on that and, prioritize like, the relationship with his kid. So, <laughs> but, yeah, you know, that like was a great the, answer. Uh, yeah, that like, was a really good answer. So, I don't like, think that right, right. their kids so would be kind of like, oh, I really thought about this. In a bad spot. On and stuff. So that was the helpful yeah. part. It's like, oh. I don't you know. know. At least than, I'm like, hoping. Married, you know? Like, oh, snap. We haven't thought about right, this. Right. What should we do? And then one person's like, I very strongly want right. this. You know, it's like, I want no kids. I want 10 kids. Like, yeah. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. So one thing I love about this list is that it is, it's broken up into categories. So like spiritual life, personal relationships. Yeah, I watched their video on that a long time ago and I left and a nice comment. Perspectives, I mean, moral standards, marital yeah. roles, so it's not People random. thought I was like, joking, but it was not. questions where you're just like, That's I don't true. know what's going to happen. You can work through even the categories, which is really helpful. Zach yeah. and I didn't have this list, but we had a list. I want to stop yeah, watching, but I can't. Too, and they were really helpful. <laughs> so it's just like more organized and hey. more organized. Yeah. Now, whenever we talk about this, people are like, well, there's probably a lot of you questions that aren't on here. And I'm thinking like, oh, 36 is a pretty good place to start, but no. This isn't Ooh, foolproof. It's not something. every single thing yeah. all encompassing that you would ever ask in a relationship. I know for sure working through this is going to yeah. be extremely helpful, but there will be things that aren't on here that you'll yeah. want to work through, but you need somewhere to start. And this yeah. is an awesome way to do it. And I Whose hubby so went to conversion therapy? Talk about Bethany, the one that's pregnant in the some red people, as sweater. We've shared this are like, well, that's a lot. Like, that seems like a lot. Is that overkill? Is that too much? And you know, maybe, maybe, maybe but this. here's the thing. Most relationships, and you've seen this, I've seen this in my own life, in relationships we've been in the past is most relationships start out where two people are attracted, they like each other, they get really infatuated. They've got that fire. They've got that fire. They get really attracted, really infatuated, and then you just want the relationship to work because you like this person so much that you so start infatuated. to not want to ask some of the hard questions. Am I right? Like you want to yeah. avoid oh, sure. the Are you curious what these questions are? Like, Ooh, I really like Do this you person. love I Jesus? I really want this relationship to last. I really want it to work out. And totally. if we talk about our moral standards, that could cause some issues. So we're just going to avoid it. We're not going to go yeah. there. And then the relationship progresses. These things will come out. Yeah. That's the thing. They will come out sooner or later. Yeah. On this side of marriage, on that side of marriage, they will come out. Yeah. So you that's not terrible advice if you just take it, like, you commit. not in a religious way. Like yeah. So like, you should communicate your expectations proof, and morals and... Such a yeah. good foundation. Yeah. And what you're hoping for in a relationship like, he's at the a beginning. Real person, I'm a real person with real emotions, real thoughts. We're not looking for someone. But I would be curious what not, this isn't, their you know, questions would be versus what our questions, questions would be. So you're really Mine would be like, I expect monogamy. I want not just something long term. Like, okay, I want marriage and kids. Paper, and this is a great relationship. No, you're really well. Questions, not necessarily statements. What I love about Dave and I's relationship is if you if you are honest with who you are, what you've been through, what you're looking for mm -hmm. or we yeah. needed counsel they were there the problem is people will be like yeah same and, and they don't mean it our relationship because ultimately it's yeah like you want everybody sort of answer the person questions from you're own. not marrying just yeah. someone who checks and not be guided so that by the way guys and they're good tip ask questions about what they want instead of saying what you want because i've had before where i just say what i want and i've had people be like yeah me too to help you seek wisdom to help you ask questions to help you think because in the moment, I can't think of them, you know. So with Dave and I, um, we basically, when we were actually in an official relationship where we were both like, yeah, we're serious, we want to get to know each other, we would just work category by category, ask questions, you know, we would have some, like you know, a go out to time. dinner, mm -hmm. yeah, a couple at a time. It just depends. Some you can yeah, get through, like, uh, 10 at a time. Some it was is like it? we camped out on one for, like, a couple back. hours. How, did, how was it noticed? Mm -hmm. So you can do it so really just however it works for you. This is just where, where a simple oh, it's on tool the to chair. help you dig deeper. And uh, it's okay for you to suggest it, to be like, hey, I found this resource, yeah, and it's free. Actually, we are yeah. not charging you for this. We're, we compiled it into a beautiful PDF yeah. to give it to you for free, so you can actually click the link below. You'll see free. I would love for somebody to send me proof that he actually went to conversion therapy or any video. Yeah, that states that's proof how, because that's how I, used it. We just went I haven't and seen and concrete proof yet. Yeah. You needed it. I love this is a good note to end on. Like, okay, is it biblical? Is it not biblical? Well, the Bible doesn't So let me know. If there's something I'm missing. So send it to me on Twitter. A godly relationship. We don't see that in scripture, but what we do see is I love Proverbs 19, 20 through 21 says, listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Many are the Bisexuality the exists, though, maybe he is bi. Is That's true. I, I brought it up earlier and that so that could be the listening case. Listening to advice, accepting instruction, these questions, like Bethany said. And I truly, truly, truly hope that they are happy together. And, and it's genuine. And, and some that you are going to need to go accept instruction, get advice. I want, I'd like, 
Even though I hate what they say, I like don't want bad things for them. How do you know if he's the one? Like million dollar question. How do you know? Well, you get to know the person, and over time, seeking wisdom, counsel, prayer, asking deep questions, seeing if you're on the same page, if you're going in the same direction. That is the process, the journey that will help you know if they're the one. And this is a tool that we want to give you for free. So click the link, download it, and look through it. Even if you're not in a relationship, I think you'll find it really helpful. Thank you, guys. I actually have read The God Delusion. It was good. Awesome. That was my wrap-up. And, yep, my name is like Shay. Okay. Shay. Sorry. But my mom is weird at all. I'll work through it somehow. You did help. Thanks. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Shay. I'm sorry I said your name. Great. Let's finish it. Boom. It's warm on that side of the studio. Tippy. I saw a question about my Gibson Les Paul, and I I wasn't sure exactly which one it was. That was the question, but I think it's a. Hey girls, and welcome to week three of the Girls Define live webinar. We are so excited to have you. Fix your audio. Make it consistent. My God. Anyways, I think it's like a Les Paul Plus 100th anniversary edition. I'm not really sure exactly which one, but it's a thin. It's a thin Les Paul. Tuning in, we see a lot of you pouring in. Mike we see check. the live feed going, two. so we're so Still. excited. Bye. We're just gonna I get going as a lot you. of you are logging in. As we said, this I is week three, you. and we are talking about God's amazing oh, man. design this for is gender. An, 100, this is, or this is an <laughs> hour <laughs> long video. For those of you who are following along in the this book, this is their design for gender. Four and five oh. in the Girl Defined book. If you don't have a book, that's totally okay. We still think you're going to get a lot out of today's webinar. Okay, so to kick things off today, we usually like to have a little fun interaction at the beginning of the webinar. Uh, oh, so, they're so streaming, so this, yeah. this was a glitch on their recorded stream. What your highlights were from this past week. So what really stood out to you in your week? What was interesting? What is something Lucian. that you would want to share? Hope I'm saying your and name right. I'm trying. And then maybe you would find interesting, too. Books first, I recommend. Faith versus facts. thinking of your answers and chatting facts. them in there, I see all of you chatting. Illusion yes. of certainty. Yay. Okay, uh, I want to ask Bethany, what is a highlight from your past week? Foundational falsehoods past week. of so creation. This past interesting. week, I love Irma. my younger sister, Rebecca, turned 17. And Nothing. to celebrate, Yay. we drove three hours from San Antonio to Waco, Texas, and went to Magnolia Market, which is a oh. super fun store they have the all these fun Shay. so it's decided we're going to their so event i want to go to their event the shop just made we would be thrown out it was a super super what fun time buy we haven't had, to, had an opportunity to spend that kind of quality time together in a while just we're all Can so you, busy when so is me it and the girls hanging out you probably saw it on instagram is it before or after we get married it, but that before. was probably the highlight of my week but can you still buy tickets you? what was the highlight yeah. of yeah. i don't know if i want to travel right now i wasn't on the i guess if we july 31st if we take the rv i was actually on my own trip this past Saturday was Zach and Shay mine. thoroughly enjoyed That's making mine. a stream. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we still owe you. Oh, by the way, yeah. We still owe you, let's actually. Just, let's just do it. crazy. I mean, we were looking at pictures yesterday, and it literally feels like yesterday. Yeah. The guys walking down the aisle. I mean, we look a little different. We look a little older than we do in hey. these pictures. But I just had an awesome week. Zach and I went away just for a few I'm over the shots. Days. Our schedules are so busy right now, so it was so fun yeah. to just get away for a few days. We went to Canyon Lake, which some of you locals may recognize that yes. name. But it's a really big, beautiful lake. Can we buy, like, a, couple, a super package like that gives us north yeah, of meet San and greet? So we went out there and rented I want to have, like, a photo with them. Room at a lodge. Yeah, it's a VIP. It was a cute little so kind of piney lodge out in the country. And right tickets are refundable up to 30 days before the event. You know, reconnecting we had some fun swim when time when you know, we thought we canceled so we went out yeah. on the little lake and we were swimming it was just so super fun. fun time so that was some of the highlights of our past awesome week highlight. and, and we wouldn't fly we would take the rv right here. we could fly I, well i don't want to i'm oh, i'm still like i have southwest so we're afraid of pandemic stuff so i'd rather not fly Wow. Okay. That's right, we had Father's Day. Yeah, yeah, Father's yeah we could take your RV and it'd be totally safe. Okay. We could, like, visit your grandma on the way. To present yeah. the gospel to two girls and they accepted Christ. That's wow. one, that's, that's almost that's halfway. Awesome. Susanna Newsom says she grandma. got him on a two-day trip yeah. to Utah from Texas Ooh. to see one of her favorite Hi. TV shows being filmed live with her mom and sister. Wow, that sounds uh, pretty cool. Treat? And Ellie Oler said that she was able to spend extra time with her mom, which was super sweet. That Do is you so want? Fun. Oh, someone, it went away, but someone said that they started courting or started a relationship. Ooh. That's always pretty exciting. <laughs> Earlier, I saw someone, did someone say they got engaged? I, I saw someone. one. Hey, congratulations. Hey, hey, I wonder if they would be mean to me or nice to me. Away, I think, well, would you be mean to them or nice to them? Well, I would be very Kenny nice to them. Yeah. But oh, whoo, I don't think they'd be nice to me. Jennifer Santiago got to uh, it's their stream. It was their pre-recorded stream, not our stream. Yeah, new trip. Marina King said she went on Sorry. diddling canoe trip and grad. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. Wow. <laughs> that sounds cool. 
Liz Halcom, our friend from oh, California. Says she they has would be fake problems. nice. I would like genuinely so be excited to meet them. Like, oh, I've Hulk, spent so much Hulk, time watching their stuff and like commenting on them. And... Oh, that's awesome. Sorry if that's so loud, fun. guys. I said and just the mic. One more. We I don't know. Have Crystal. She says, I fell in love with fitness and clean eating. Oh, oh getting into shape, eating healthy. They'd be passive aggressive. Really Honestly, good. I think they would have us thrown out. I genuinely think they would have us okay, thrown out. Well, it's at Thank their you church. So much for sharing. You can keep sharing with us. It's like a small so event at their But church. again, if you just want to take a minute to explain how the webinar works in case every single person there us. would hate us. So comments, polls, they would know who all be. I you was probably right because it will enable we it would, when it's what time. Would so right we do? Now, the chat we film a enabled, video? But in a minute, we'll disable it so you won't be able to chat. But when we do a poll yeah. or QA, Could you be in a you'll panel? see it pop up. So just look to the right or to the left. And for Paul those of you who don't know, all of these live sessions. <gasps> Paul and Morgan will be there too? So you have yeah. to skip out early. You're not able to watch the whole thing. Or oh my God, how later. exciting. Or maybe even you miss sessions. They really hate me though. All of the sessions they actually really hate me. And then we put them on our YouTube channel. So just go to youtube.com. Slash girl to find where you can <laughs> find the same thing. all the past live webinar videos. Plus, this one will be on there tomorrow morning. Yes, and also the webinar we is done for eight weeks. For our week so three cute. of eight, so we have a few more to go. Yay. So if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. We love having you. Hi, baby. And we hope you'll stick with us. Yeah, it's a good weeks. girl. And now we have something super exciting to announce. Okay, yes. like I should do like a drum roll. <laughs> we have a super, super, super big surprise for you right now. We are going to introduce you to two very special girls. We want you to meet our two younger sisters, Rebecca and Susanna. I'm, a, I'm actually excited to see this. 17 years old and Susanna is 13. And I think that they are live. So we are going to adjust yes. our sound so you can see them. All right, so, hey, Rebecca and Susanna. Ah, yeah. uh -huh, they do I'm that. I'm so excited that y'all are anyway. here. Oh. This is awesome. Now, Rebecca, you recently, we want to get to know you a little bit first, okay? So you recently launched a fashion blog. Can you tell us the name and what the purpose of the blog is? Yeah, so I just launched this blog in January, and the name of the blog is Hello Modesty. And you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and, like, all those social medias. So, but my name of the blog is Hello Modesty. That's and awesome. And now what inspired you to start this blog? Well, I was kind of uh, looking around trying to, get, you know, get some fashion inspiration for the summer. Um... But as I was looking, I this makes me sad. Thing that was um, modest and stylish. A lot of the things were modest, but they just weren't super cute. So They're I was so like, wow, pretty. I want to like make them have normal more lives. Than girls to dress modestly, and so that's when I kind of came up with the idea of, oh, I should start Hello Modesty. That'd be perfect. I Lynn, I've gotten drunk while you were doing this. I'm so sorry. Time. I'm there with awesome. you. I wish I had had your blog when I was younger. <laughs> We've reposted a lot of your stuff. Mm -hmm. We love it. And now, can you share? Because I know a lot of girls struggle with that. They want to know, okay, how can I dress modestly and fashionable at the same time? It seems like you can only do one or the other. But you really nailed it, and you've done a great job of dressing super cute mm -hmm. and modest. So can you share one tip for how girls can combine fashion and modesty? Yeah, so that's it's really hard to dress modestly and fashionable because a lot of the stores don't help you with that. So. Uh, one of the things I like to do is uh, I like to wear Bermuda shorts that go to right above my knee. I get mine from Old Navy because they have some really great selections. Uh, you just have to look around a little. They're hard to find sometimes, but it's totally worth it. Um, but that's that's good for the summer because the a lot of the times the stores promote these really tiny shorts, but that's not modest, and no, most of the time it's not really cute either. <laughs> yeah. So I, your Bermuda shorts in the summer instead of jeans because that is just way too hot for me. I can't do that. I feel <laughs> bad. I know you just recently did a blog post on that. So if you need some inspiration on how to wear Bermuda shorts in a really cute way or how to find them, just go to hellomodesty.com and Rebecca will give you all the tricks. Yes. It's a quick picture. If oh. you can see this. Oh, it's gone. it's gone. Here's Hello Modesty. It's super, super cute. You can see some of the fashion ideas. Some of the really cute pictures. Yeah. Little shout out to Hello Modesty. I look on there for inspiration because as I've been told by my younger sisters, I don't always dress so fashionably, so I'm trying. <laughs> so Sue, you want to hear from you oh, so now. Cute. Okay, you're the artsy one in the family. You are extremely talented. I just want to and because of the art make them have guys, happy, normal lives without guilt and fear. very special project for Girl to Find. In fact, that project is that you are the designer of the first ever Girl to Find tote bag. Can you show us the bag? Hey, I want to have girls. Go. I'm so excited uh, to show everyone. I've okay. been working on this yeah. and then finding 
different designs and stuff. And then finally, I'm so excited. I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, I have to give an X no matter what. Yes, we have to. That is actually not just your ordinary bag. That isn't something just that aim we right, okay. designed and then had printed. That <laughs> is actually handcrafted by you yourself. You actually painted that on. So how did you come up with that and paint on that beautiful design? I just kind of thought oh. of a design and a font that I thought was super <laughs> cute. And then I took a pencil Sam! and sketched it One out more hour. the yes. bag and then painted the rest of it on. Wow, that is so beautiful. I want one of those. I know, like, I right now too. <laughs> How long does it take you to make a bag? You're in hell now. Oh, we've been in hell for five about hours. An hour just from sketching it out with pencil and then painting it on. Wow, that takes a lot of patience. I don't know if I could do that. That's why we recruited you. <laughs> okay, yes. I love it. This is the first ever Girl Defined tote bag. Now, there is something very special about that bag that you're holding right now. Can you tell us what it is? This is going to be the giveaway for today's Search contest. it up. So you I guys, don't know what that is. Do they'll what? tell you how to do that. And then I'm just curious. You can, well, we'll, we'll just, uh, send this back to you. Sorry, we're going to stuck. And you can have this bag. This bag right here, I have already been Oh, the little one. one. She's so cute. It's like so perfect for many ideas and things you need to do. Very interesting. <laughs> that is awesome, Sue. Thank you so much. So as Sue said, one of you will go home with that bag. We'll get more details in a second. But that wraps up our time with Rebecca and Susanna. We just wanted to bring them on. We know a lot of you have seen them in pictures, and we thought it would be really fun to introduce them to you girls live on this webinar. Thank you, Susanna and Rebecca, for being on here. Thank you so much. It was so fun being on here. Bye. All right. That was so much fun. We love that you got to meet our two sisters. Rebecca and Russ party. Susanna. It's a traditional a celebration for Norwegian high school and pupils in their future, final spring semester. People, so don't yes. miss it. We will that looks like yeah, really so fun. Like they said, the tote bag. I actually have another one here in case you couldn't see it very clearly. This is another tote bag and we are going to give away the very, the one that Sue was holding in her hand. Oh my God, I want to win it. One of you. Now how to win? How can you win the yes. amazing tote bag? So how do you win? The way that you win is by going on your phone, your computer, wherever you access your social media. And we have just posted a picture of, the person's gonna show it to you, let's see. There we go, yeah. So it's about our YouTube channel. And this is where we post all of the videos from these webinars. This is where we post our weekly Wednesday vlogs. You guys, and I don't, I don't mind haters. I think it's, I think it's kind of funny. The webinars, but we need it's okay, I appreciate you, you guys for caring so though. In the back, you want to They're Instagram, haters? Pinterest, Facebook, yeah. Twitter and you either repost or share the images on there. So if you read, if you tweet it, retweet it from Twitter, we'll be able to see that you actually retweeted it and then you're entered into the competition. If you're on Instagram, repost it and make sure you tag Girl Defined and you'll be automatically mm -hmm. entered into the contest. Facebook, share it and make sure that you are tagged Girl Defined. Um, so whatever social media you have, those four, you can share it or repost it, make sure Girl Defined is tagged and then you will mm -hmm. be automatically entered into the competition. And then at the end, one of you I would not have blocked her if it weren't for death threats. The first ever handcrafted I like girl defined telling toast. me I'm I'm, hor I'm a yeah, horrible person okay. or and ugly is fine but picture again. So here it death is. threats are a no go. We've already posted this to Sorry, our guys. <laughs> for the chat. Like Bethany said it's already on there. You don't need to get it anywhere. Just go on our social media. You'll see it on there. And then what hour is this? Five. We'll We've been doing this for five hours. By the end and you'll go home with a bag. Okay girls. Well, we need to dive into our session now. Thank you for all of your comments. We aren't done with you yet. We're just gonna turn off comments so that it isn't distracting they're, during they're the They're sisters time. though. I so just feel off, so much for them. I want them to have normal, happy lives. Now. We're gonna disable those so that we can And grow right up in a household right that so, values science and God's amazing design women's rights for gender. and things and like really that. that. And it respecting sexuality. You might not be thinking it is amazing quite yet, but as we get into today's session, we hope that you leave Thinking Francis that is amazing. So let's kick it off with prayer playing and Sims and watching the stream. Session. Sending love. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, we just praise you for this day. We praise you for this Wednesday night and for some it's oh, this morning, Sunday they afternoon. They were tuning in and it was the middle of the night for them across the world. And they are tuning in as Christian girls right now to be a part of this live event. And that is so exciting. So I just pray as these girls tune in, as we teach, as we share, as we all interact and discuss and ask questions and discuss things, I just pray that you would just stir our hearts to be in tune with your truth, that we would dismiss any lies we're believing, 
that we would reject those lies, that we would not listen to the culture or even our own feelings when it comes to the topic of gender, but that we would soften our hearts right now to be open to the truths of your word. The topic of and gender? That we would embrace those truths what? and live those out in our lives. We just ask for a blessing on this time and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, you're all so I need to make an update like video said, on gender. God's amazing design for gender. And to give you an idea of kind of what we're going to be talking differently. about, we're going to first talk about society's push to redefine gender. Y'all look bored. We're fucking our board. We hate this. We've been doing this for five hours. Like Sucks ass. Next, we're going to talk about building your beliefs. Save us. Spin right the wheel. And how Honestly, I was that. bitching about shots, but I'd take another shot right now. How men and women are created by God to be equally valuable, yeah. but if we had purposely to. different. I don't need to. That's the key word right there. Purposely different. Yeah. We know this session is big, a big topic, and one that is really hot in our cultures yes. right now. So we hope you'll stick with us, pay attention. It's going to be awesome. But really, the goal, like Kristen was saying, is to help you understand that God designed men and women to be equally valuable, but purposely different, something that the culture is not telling us. So that's something that we're going to learn during this session. And we want you to understand that God's design for you as a woman is a good and beautiful thing, despite what you've heard in the past. Your design as a female is beautiful, and we're going to dig into that in this session. And then also, we want to help you understand how to view gender, how to view this issue from a biblical worldview. And we're going to teach you oh my God, I that can't in just wait. a bit here. We're going to be we super you, homophobic like I already said, to view and transphobic. Can't something good and something you guys just hold back your excitement a little. Have say on this and kind of erase this yeah. from our vocabulary. We want you to know that your design as a female truly is something great and something that we as women Andrea. need to fight for. Okay, girl, so I've been here since the beginning. Like Bethany said, wow, thanks, Andrea. Pushing so please. Girl, I need a nap, too. Some of you might be thinking, well, I'm not really Same. sure how they're pushing. Well, when we did research Thank for, you for the super five, time. for the chapter on yeah. gender, we came across... Honestly, El Paso, Sunday Texas, what's up? up? Thank you for the super chat. Around the world. So I'm actually going to read a little segment from our book in chapter five. So Are you booking flights right now? I'm just looking. what's happening over in Sweden right now. So it says the taxpayer funded school preschool in Galicia Someone make me take a shot. Jesus Christ. Gender specific language and actions are damaging to children and society. So they decided that it's not good to give children to identify them by their God given gender. They said instead of referring That's not to children what it as said. boys or girls or using pronouns such as him and her, staff members refer to everyone as friends. So they no longer call them boys or girls. They said that's damaging. We're just going to call everyone friends. Is and friends even insulting? An article from the Star further points out, from the color and placement of toys to the choice of books, every detail is carefully planned to make sure the children well, don't fall into are super gender cheap, so we don't have to drive. So if you call someone a boy and he's a boy, they view that as stereotype. If we had a boy that want wanted a stereotype, nearly all of the children's books pink have toys or Barbies, homosexual couples, would you give single a parents fuck? or adopted no. children? There are if we no had a girl Snow White, that Cinderella, or other classic fairy tale scene. As cementing stereotypes. Uh, so they don't have I don't really. A it's a little much a for me. Why? I don't really want to have that. You know what I'm trying to say? I know trying to say, I know you're trying to say, but like, also try to help the like we can skate together, but like, GI Joe. GI Joe. I don't give a shit what my kids want to do or how they identify or what if they're religious, if they're not, if they're gay, if they're trans, if they're straight, if they're non binary. I don't give a fuck. The hell's a GI Joe? I want kids that are happy and feel loved. And each person can choose and what kind of person And fuck these girls for saying anything different. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hasbro, stop That's making G.I. Joe's. You so, you're, you're asking me if you I care what? if what? our Hasbro? kid okay, you know was what? interested in and collecting we're, we're custom, rare, and valuable G.I. Joe. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> For financial reasons <laughs> alone, I'm with you. It's an investment. You know Hasbro All makes Ouija boards? I do, yeah. If people are like, ooh, they're magical Ouija boards, I'm like, Hasbro has made them. But could we resell so these GI Joes for more money you know if we if save onto them in pristine condition? Girl, we should let him. So they started putting him in dresses, Maybe. started treating him like a little girl, and now <laughs> this little boy is in his teen years, and he looks, acts, talks, and claims <laughs> to be a little girl. And in, in our culture, he <laughs> turns she is considered a hero, and now he goes around and speaks to all of these communities. She and bitch. And feel the same. Way as him, and instead of saying no, God, her, oh my God, boy, it's not hard. That that's a good thing. We, as a culture, as a whole, are saying, sorry, yeah, Nala. Gender should be a personal choice. That should not be something that God gives you. That should be Lynn. something that each person is allowed to choose from. And that's 
so You party for three about weeks? Her, I think we're going to dig in deeper mm-hmm. in just a minute here. Yeah, that's so, it's so scary the way yeah, it is. That's going. so funny. Um, another way that we see gender roles as being totally mm-hmm. erased, and sadly, this is very common in the church. This is something that we wouldn't even yeah. think of really as a problem yeah. because it's really happening all over, and that is that males and females are no longer have gender roles. This is so the, the reason, it matter if one of the big reasons why I cannot stand role defined. To have any role they are want. terrible. There are no People get mad at me no for attacking anymore. these women. That's are you fashion. kidding me? That's just, that's the past. Yeah. We're moving I'm on. I'm never attacking them as people. I'm attacking the things like this that they say that are messed up. We're seeing this push to where there is no longer a man leading his family or a wife, you know, a husband and a wife and roles that are complementary to each other. We see in our culture that even in marriages and in relationships between guys and girls, that those gender roles are also being completely erased and dismissed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want you to open up. If you have the Girl Defined book, go to page 66. This is right in the midst of the chapter that we're talking about. I want to read a quote to you to really encourage you to kind of open your eyes to what's going on right now. So at the bottom of page 66, leading into page 67, we say, instead of fighting for our unique differences, we're buying into the lie that sameness is better. We're We're buying buying into the the lies that say masculinity and femininity are interchangeable, interchangeable, that that husbands and wives should share share the same same roles, roles, that that there's there's no no difference difference between dads dads and moms. moms. Our Our culture is attempting to erase all gender distinctions from from our vocabulary. And many of us are taking the bait, bait, hook, hook, line, line, and sinker. sinker. And so that's just uh, an example of what's going on, that we are, as Christians, a lot of us are buying into these lies, just like Kristen said, and we don't we don't want you to fall into this trap and to fall into this idea that gender is something we can choose, that is interchangeable. Thank you, Sammy, for picking up pop songs. Woo! Goals and purposes. We want you to see throughout this session that Holly! our feminine design yes. is really a good and Oh, thank you so much. Your feminine design and your purpose as a female Thank you for good. the super chat, too. Our good, that's awesome very sweet comment. It and we want you to learn how to fight for it. Girls, this is such a big, important issue, and we want to help you in this session to view God's We want to help you be bigoted. And so yeah. We're really good at it. <laughs> yeah. Now you see why I can't No, I guess there's, there's elements of them that I like. I'm like, yeah, they're like a little off, but they're nice. But then, and then you get into this shit. They, like, and then they... They, yeah. Your about yeah. Gender it's the tough right though. You might be I, there, I, yeah, I try I'm not to blame them. Always. I, like I blame Bible, like what yeah, brought God's them up. Word, or like, sure. You know. Yeah, but they're gonna bring up people that exactly. are the, you know. It's so, just a perpetuating the cycle of, gender, of terribleness. You have two options. You're either gonna view, you're gonna have questions and view your perspective and your worldview from the Lynn. culture's lenses, or you're gonna view the topic Aww. of gender and all Y'all the are questions so sweet. and answers from the lens of God's word. So here how here's how that works. So my cute little glasses. So when you view the topic of gender from the culture's perspective, from the lens of the culture, you're basically saying, okay, you know, God's word, that's okay, but the culture says this, and did well, she Alex put on glasses? She sure about wanted to yeah, change his gender, so I mean, I guess that's okay. That was his personal choice, and the preschool in Sweden. I mean, who am I to say that they? Maybe that's a good idea. I don't really know. And you have all these questions, and you think, well, I have friends who are changing their gender. Are they a pro? And I don't want to be mean and yeah. say they can't do that. So you put these glasses on, and basically all of your beliefs are coming mm-hmm. from Thank you, the culture's lens. They're coming from your feelings. They're coming from what the culture is saying. They're coming from what's popular, what's pumping out of Hollywood and movies. And you know what? That is not God's best. So we want to encourage you to take off those cultural glasses and say, you know what? They may, you know, be cute and appealing, but that's not God's best. And instead, take off your culture's lenses and say, it doesn't matter what I feel. And these are way Someone cuter. give me a it shot. Really Jesus Christ. What God's word says because God's word is the foundation. He's the creator and Is their dad the Kenneth Copeland? He created it. He's a the blow on you, Copeland. You know, I put on these glasses that represent God's word. And oh, I'm God's glasses are sparkling. Culture, everything my friends tell me, everything I see in the movies, everything I hear on the news. I'm going to say, you know what? That sounds okay, but what does God's yeah. word have to say about it? And you're going to pull out your Bible. You're going to study and learn what God's word has to say, and you're going to train yourself. You're going to put on your biblical lenses, and you're going to train yourself to see the world, and every question you have, you're going to answer from the truth of God's word. So we can't encourage you enough, girls, to take off your cultural yeah. lenses, to ditch the lies, to put those away, to don't listen to your feelings, rather put on God, and I realized I'm missing a lot of here. I'm like, I'm really cute. To put on the truth of God's word and view every situation, every scenario, mm-hmm. From his word. Oh, yes. I know. I think those glasses are so fun. I just want to try them on real quick, too, because I want to feel 
Oh my god, oh, they're, yeah, so they're so annoying. They're so fun. <laughs> so, like Kristen said, oops, I'm going to put a record. Okay, like Kristen said, we can't live by our feelings. We can't live by the opinions of our culture. Your life can't be built upon what you think, how you feel, what's popular, because you know what? Those are always changing. Feelings are always changing. Culture's opinion is always changing. Every Shouldn't generation they brings new not ideas. say that? You know, if they follow the right Bible now, we'll of and it is what it is? Generation. Shouldn't In they argue years, that things aren't years, changing? There might be a new trend, something that people are saying, no, with gender, we should be able to do this. We should be able to embrace that. So that can't be yeah. a foundation. That can't be how you view life, how you come to your worldview. Despite how right something may feel, you can't base your feeling, you can't base your worldview mm-hmm. off of that. You must make your foundation god's word like christmas up with those glasses that it's too outdated your foundation. To, to do you can't of truth when it comes use to girl defined as a code at ffbmerch.com to get 15 percent off of merch also yeah jesus i'm trying to like not think about them for a second as a girl if culture, make me take a shot friends, family feelings if all of that if they don't line up with do you god's feel word, tipsy then yeah it's i go. do too because god's word is our only sure foundation it never changes it's timeless, and it must be our authority to define our purpose that as women. That is contradictory to what they just said. About gender. That's right. Girls, oh, about we have gender. a question for you. When you are faced with a challenging question about gender, how do you form your opinion? This is actually You don't need question. an opinion. We're going to open up the poll here, and we're going to- It's not your business. Have some multiple choice do you? questions here. So we're going to start this, and we want you to click on mm. what would be the what most does it matter? accurate answer to this question. When you are faced with a challenging question about gender, how do you form your opinion? So this poll is going to be coming up live on your screen. You just click your answer, and we're all going to be able to see these results. I respect honest, other people. Just click the church is that answer. an option? You know, click really no, when that option. happens. When you hear something like the story of Alex or a preschool or because you it have doesn't a affect me. or a good friend that says, you know what? At all. I want to change my gender. I don't like the gender that I was born with, or for whatever reason, or they roles, think, or roles, or you see a marriage and there aren't really any roles at all. They're just both male and female and that's about it what what goes through your mind where do you go to god's word do you go well that yeah. looks right so i think that is right read these multiple choice questions and if they don't if none of them apply to you then just pick the one that's the what, closest what do we so have this live poll so if the, for those of you we have the first one i follow my heart and believe what my heart tells me we have several of you girls saying yeah i do i follow my heart when it comes to gender just whatever my heart's telling me we also have i listen to the most popular opinions <coughs> in the culture Next, a lot of you are saying, I open the Bible and make sure my opinion comes from Scripture. That, if you truly do that, that is awesome because you are viewing life through the gold glasses, through the lens of God's Word. Or I follow the crowd and believe whatever they are believing. Maybe you're in school. Maybe um, you have a lot of friends and you just go with whatever whatever's popular. Or I'm not sure. I've never thought about this before. Several of you are saying that. I've never thought about the topic of gender. I don't know. That's a really honest answer. We appreciate your honesty yeah. with that. And then some of you say, I look to God's word some of the time, but truthfully, not all of the time. And a lot of you are saying that. And that's honest as well, because I know even in our Danielle life, Fontaine, thank you for God's picking word. up a shirt. Danielle, thank you. Feelings. So it looks like the poll, a lot of you girls have answered, and it looks like the most popular poll answer is, I open the Bible and make sure my opinion comes Well, they led it, everyone to that. that. Is what we all should be doing. Destiny, that. thanks for that picking up a sweatshirt. Oh, Destiny. Second most popular is I look to God's word some of the time, but not oh, all of the time. I'm most, excited too. Most of you in that camp, you're on a Allison. Track, you're moving Uh-oh. towards God's word. And then we have some of you who fall in the other camps. And we yes. appreciate your honesty, girls. Please Thank do you a so shot. Much for well, participating we'll in this see. Poll. Oh, we know no, it's not I have to disturb to you, honest. baby. And if you have questions, if you've never thought about this or you're not really sure, maybe you follow, you follow your heart, but it's not, it hasn't always really panned out that Listen well. Listen to your heart. Well, the rest of the teaching is really, we hope you. it gives you a bigger, greater vision for God's know. amazing design. Okay, we're going to close the poll now. Thank you, girls, so much for participating and for your honesty. Like Bethany said, we know it's not. not oh, motherfucker! Super honest. <laughs> okay, so I thought we were going to get through this without having to do another one. God damn it! Building your life on God's truth, viewing <sighs> everything that you know, every topic of gender, everything that comes up. Sammy just comfort, wanted to say hi. Doing that through a biblical Aww, lens. thank you. Yeah, David did a good job decorating here. Looking forward to getting my merch. It's your birthday next Friday. Happy early birthday, and Sammy. Like we said, we are I had a quarantine and birthday, and too. God designed us in his image, but he created us to have different and beautiful roles. 
So we well, want to get not, back to the foundation. They get to we say that the they're equally as important as men, but they're not and as... why did God design us this That's way? not fair. And I actually wrote a little story in the gender chapter, chapter 5 of Girl Defined, starting on page 66. I thought it would be really cool to bring to life the Adam and Eve story. I don't worship God. Because a lot of us just blow past it. Like, okay, Adam and Eve, great. I worship God. No big deal. Yeah. But when we stop to you know take a closer look, we realize that backwards? there's so much truth mm-hmm. packed in to that story about she Adam and Eve that should inform us on our view of gender. So I'm just going to clearly read the story because I think it's She's so beautiful out of it. and it'll help bring the Bible to life. It's not God's word. It's just kind of a dramatized version of that, that story in the Bible. Yeah. And if you want to follow along, it's page 68, actually. Start starting on the bottom, hell. starting on the very bottom, where it says you can she, follow along. It says she was his girl. All eyes were on him. There was a shift in the Something magnificent. All right. Have allowed me to grow as an atheist. Dozens so thank you. Oh, that makes me so happy. Animals thank you, Tally. Get that shit away from they my eyeballs. Watching. I swear to God. They All right. Well, I'm ready whenever you're the ready. Dirt began to stir. A pile began to form. God reached his hands into the dust to form and shape it. He added a little more. He molded the ground into a mysterious shape. The animals locked their gaze on this motionless mass. Then something amazing happened. Something extraordinary. God bent down and breathed into the nostrils of this but. lifeless pile. The animals held their gaze. Ooh. Then the oh. unimaginable happened. God damn it! The pile began to move. Oh, and we're God out of water, too, because Tippy had her watch. tongue in the other one. Breathing in How about mouth, that, uh, the pile began chips. to rise. Chips. Slowly pushing off the ground, the Sorry, creature I woke stood to up. its feet. I'm a terrible person. As the dust fell to the ground, what the, fuck the are they doing? stared in amazement. What was this thing? It was unlike anything God had ever made before. God smiled at his newest creation. The bomb isn't as painful animals, as listening to the harmful scripture of Girl to Find. For the first time ever, a human <laughs> You eat this shit and then tell me that. God. Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. And that's Genesis 2-7. The first human had arrived, but he didn't have a place to live. God wasn't done with miracles yet. Man, the Bible the says, really the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work and keep it. And that's in Genesis 2 as well. God uh, painted a special a garden, a home, for Adam to live and work in. Wow. As he explored this amazing land of paradise, God approached him. He needed to know why things are crazy. Lynn, goals. I'm packing my bag right now. With concern in his eyes and said, you may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. But in that day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Adam nodded in understanding. God walked away but returned shortly. This time with a trail of animals and birds behind him. Pointing to the animals, God explained that Adam was in charge of naming them. All of them. One by one, the animals stood before Adam and he gave them their names. As the last kangaroo bounced away, Uh. Adam noticed something for the first time. He was alone. He was the only human on earth. Every animal had a mate, but he had no one. As Adam stared longingly into the distance, God knew it was time. Adam took a few steps, then lay down on a soft grassy patch to rest. Little did he know what was about to happen. I'm never doing that again. After some time, his eyes slowly blinked open. The sun shimmered through the trees as a gentle breeze blew. The fresh air drew him out of his deep sleep. Rolling over in the velvety grass, he felt something strange. Something was different. Glancing to the right, he noticed some animals watching him. Stretching his arms and yawning, he looked in the other direction. He froze. Can you believe this is real? A soft gasp escaped his mouth. His eyes locked onto a mysterious creature standing before him. She was breathtaking. Is this? Adam's mouth dropped open as he realized what this incredible creature is was. Is this Eve? Actually, from Fifty Shades of Grey. She was for him. He jumped to his feet and excitedly exclaimed, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh the of my flesh. The best fan fiction ever. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And that's Genesis 2.23. Oh, damn. Eve smiled as she watched Adam's excitement. She was The reveal of Eve. And she knew it. She loved it. Adam walked over and gently took her hand. Come on, he said joyfully. There's so much to see in the I garden. I feel like they're reading... I'll teach you everything you need like to know. Like a religious version of Fifty Shades of Grey. Girls, that story always gives me goosebumps because it is just... It makes me feel tingly in places. Picture. Now, we don't know if that's exactly how it happened. That's obviously us kind of expanding and trying to bring to life that story. But it may have been something very similar to that. The first time that God created the man and the woman. And did you see how intentional every step of the process was and how beautiful and how perfect that was? Mm-hmm. But it's that just like Kristen said, we don't know if that's exactly how it how it happened. But it's you really don't. helpful sometimes to mm-hmm. stop 
and focus on the story and kind of slow down and think about what was going on and to help you get even too better. Yeah, me too. That one really? me up. Yeah. Slate. This is oh, a little chip. chalkboard that's completely blank. And we way always feel the back same thing. Back yeah. in Genesis 2, where Kristen was reading, God was the creator. There were no books. Did I go get milk? The man and the woman. There were no human beings. And God basically had uh. a blank chalkboard slate and he could have created anything he wanted so if i were going to chalk on here i could chalk anything Maybe. i wanted on here i he have to pee he do you have to pee anything. he could no. have created two men he could have created two women he could have created genderless human beings oh my god he could have done what but god made a man and a woman to. therefore what did god do in that story like we just read don't be gay or trans first a male i have to step over a second. with okay. a specific gender a man a male and then what did he do he created a female, a woman. And this is their argument for being bigoted. Man. And they're going to stick things by in it. The world that God could have done, what did he do? He created a man and a woman. Very specifically, he didn't create them and say, hey, you know, I've got these two genders. Which one do you want to be? Which one are you feeling today? No, he chose what for them. A he designed bitch. them. His good and perfect plan. That's what he came up with. The loving God of the universe came up with gender as his most perfect plan. And as Christian girls, we have to accept that and embrace that. We can't live by our feelings. We can't go off of what feels good. We have to go back to the beginning and say, what did God, the creator of gender, do? He created two specific genders on purpose and for purpose. Well, and this I'm going is so to annoying to me. Despite what culture says, despite how I feel, and I'm going to strive to embrace my gender as a woman and live that out to the best of my ability. And we're going to expand, actually, the next session, I believe, is when we, like, oh, next yes. week, is when we really yes. dive in to our specific design as female. Some of you might be awesome. thinking, well, I want to live out God's design for my womanhood, but I don't even know what that is yet. Well, yeah. hang tight, because next week, now that we understand God created a male and a female on purpose, and that our design as females was intentional, next week we're going to dive into what that design is and how to practically live that out. Girls, as we wrap up this session, there's so much more we want to I say. Know. We're like, when we were preparing, we're like, there's so much more we want to say, but we just, so we don't have time. So you really read, you know, a solid book on it. The Girl Defined book, if you have it, chapter five, chapter four and five will really help you dig deeper. And then we want to challenge you to open up God's word and read Genesis 2. Oh my God, Genesis are we done two, yet? That story that I read, that's based on Genesis 2. Tippy. And in that, that's where you're really going to be able to build a solid foundation from the beginning. Like Bethany said, yeah. when God had that chalkboard, you know, like, not physically, but when yeah. you have that blank slate, that blank canvas, and you could have created whatever he wanted, it's so important for us to understand that these truths we're sharing are coming from God's word. So we want to challenge you to read Genesis 2 and really pray and ask God to open your eyes and reveal new truths to you. Because a lot of you are thinking, Genesis, I've read that, you know, checked it off the list, you know, Adam and Eve, I already know that story, but I guarantee Sammy, you. Sammy, Danielle, and Destiny, and ask God to thank you again for getting merch. Y'all are amazing. About gender as you read it, you will discover verses that you probably have never yeah. really thought about before. So as so you true. leave, you know, at the end of the session, we challenge you over this next week to really open your Bibles and dive into Genesis 2. Dive yes. into your Bible. And sadly, that wraps up our teaching time, but we darn to remind you about this adorable tote bag. We know some of you have just joined Kill in, me. So I want to give a reminder. Of Someone kill in. me. I'll give you a close-up. This I just got here. When will this be perfect. uploaded in full? Mm -hmm. the girl However long it takes to process. So we're going to so end the stream in probably a little bit over a half an hour. Social media. And you to Instagram, Twitter, then Facebook, YouTube will process Pinterest, it maybe for like a little while. And then the it'll be live when YouTube lets it be live. Or share the, most, uh, the latest mm -hmm. image that we've posted. So Kristen's going to show you. It looks like this. That's it. And it's talking about our YouTube channel. So if you're God. on Instagram, you just have to repost it. You can <gasps> Rebecca! It, you can use the repost app. My husband sure was there at the beginning of the Onion live it, stream. Sure and been here Pinterest, since the beginning of this one. You can do it. We believe in y'all. Thank you. you. So here to the end. Hope to see you guys, see you guys next time y'all come to Dallas. Oh, Google and I'm sorry about that, but hello to you, Rebecca, and your husband. Thank you for being supportive. Would love to meet you. And this is your spin. That as well on Instagram. That's a great way to do it. Tag a friend. Mm -hmm. Holy spirits. And now that brings us to discussion time. That we this means time. a shot. It's a really fun time. This is, if you noticed, a lot of you are already back on the chat. This is where we get to ask you mm -hmm. questions and we get to hear from you what you're thinking. So, question number one. What are people one. thinking? This is going to be a pretty, we want you to think about this. These questions are really Rebecca, good. this if is to you group, and your we husband. Afterwards. Cheers. We can discuss them right now as we're kind of talking, but we want you to type in your answers. Okay, question number one. Where have you seen the gender neutral movement being pushed? 
So I'm going to ask it again. Question number one. Oh my God. We want you to answer this. They're still the being chat. fucking right, transphobic. Okay? Where have you seen the gender neutral movement being pushed? For me, mm -hmm. some of the places Which, I've seen it is even like on the magazines. As a Christian, this is wrong. People who are changing I appreciate their that. are being praised um, in the movies in TV shows, I know that that's really, really popular. Um, so we want to know from you, we know this is a hard question, mm -hmm. but we want to know where have you seen the gender neutral movement being pushed? Okay, your answers are coming in. One of you said, Fumi Abjek, I totally botched your name, but you said the in the entertainment industry. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the All evil Hollywood. Over. Alyssa Accepting people YouTube. for who they are. How I know dare that that's they? So, so true. Mm -hmm. and, one of you said this is a really popular one in America, and I've seen this all up and down Target and the whole bathroom situation, people being able to go yeah. into whichever bathroom they feel. If mm -hmm. I don't feel like a girl today, I can go in the girls' restroom. If I feel like a boy, mm -hmm. that's a big one. And then one of you, Christine, said in schools and oh. in some churches. Mm -hmm. And sadly, when the church is crumbling and completely dismissing God's word as the authority and basing the church's opinions yeah. based on the culture. That is so sad because as the church, we should be. God, they're the so mean. We should be standing for God's truth. Like, I want so, yeah, that is a to think that, that deep down they're good people yes. um, and I want to here. not be Kata disannoyed by them. Says in schools but like, really young kids, when they so say stuff like, like that, it's so hard. hard. I know that's happening. It's even so in hard to not just be. This is really being pushed. Mm-hmm. And Jennifer Angry. Santiago says, no? same magazines and movies. Mm -hmm. We know that's a really big one. Catherine mm -hmm. said, everywhere. Yeah. I'm so frustrated <laughs> okay. with them. We have, a, we have okay. two more questions for you. Girls, keep those answers coming in. We can still see them on the side. So yeah. question number two. So now we're going to shift. Yes, and we'd like more you to questions, us bitch. answers on this question. What do you think? In what ways have you personally been influenced to believe that males and females should have no differences. Oh my God. So let me read that question again. It's kind of a long one. In what ways have you- Sylvia, thank you so much for ordering merch. I got you a gift. Should have is this no milk? Differences. This is. And what we're talking about here- I knew is I was marrying you for a good reason. There you go. Thank you. All right, are they still being bigoted? Valuable and they are the same in every single way. Extremely we're bigoted. Saying, well, we're I gotta pee so yes, bad. We were made go wild. Different. We have different strengths and weaknesses and when we embrace our god-given design then it's a beautiful thing okay. so in what ways have you seen okay so your answers are coming in ashley sperry said the workplace and that's totally true in a work environment it can be very strong i'm also going to put tippy back in the house she's been meowing so no i want to make sure she has her food and litter box and stuff whatsoever yeah. um, another one said in the workplace um nevada said schools and co-ops is definitely a place where you are being influenced that, to, to believe that males and females should have Bye, no Jimmy. differences whatsoever. Bye, Beth is saying that when she sees that men and women or that men are being placed up as higher in the culture, she's tempted to believe, okay, maybe I should be like them or maybe our role, our value is different because of what the culture is saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, girls, because we believe, like we said, we can't emphasize it enough. We're made How you guys doing? Valuable. You guys doing good? We that women are We're getting towards the end. Men, yeah. but we do this is a very... Us to have differences. Very big One said video. she was believed, uh, it's going away. Stereotypical women is powerless and inferior, so we should strive to be like a man and to be indistinguishable. Yes, yeah. and that is, our, our culture actually has this kind of victim mindset. <laughs> Someone says, I want to die, Basically, this is hell. All women are victims and that we need to rise up and empower ourselves and kind of almost rule over men. And that yeah. is the mentality we're being fed. But we aren't victims. You know, God mm -hmm. designed us to be women and we're just as valuable as men. We're just different. Yeah, exactly. And we know that... It, we'll get into We're going to go to their convention. I'm totally going to make it happen. It takes a lot of strength and power. Yes, and we want to go into the final question now. Question number three. You girls have so many great answers. Mm -hmm. We love reading them. And this is fun because we're going to get more into this topic in the future, in the coming weeks. So if this is something you're interested in, you're mm -hmm. writing answers. A lot of you are talking about feminism, the mm -hmm. feminist mindset. You're wondering, okay, what is the role of a girl? Stick with us because you are going to learn some incredible mm -hmm. truths over the next coming weeks. Final question for you to answer. Do you, question number three, do you believe that God's design for gender is good? Mm. If so, why do you believe that? So one. question, do you believe that God's design for gender, just like we talked about in this session, do you believe that his design for four gender hours, is good? Four hours, some of you have been here for four. And if you believe that, why? How did you come to that conclusion? You girls have so many I am great definitely answers. Not high. Some of you are saying yes. You're just high on yes, but we want to know why. So you have to say, shots say yes. And but we also want to know why. How did you bomb. That Honestly, you believe that God's design this is good. hot sauce oh, yeah. does why sort of like mess you up to the point that you do feel a little high. In a class, I mean, how did you come to that conclusion? 
One girl says, of course, because God's design is best. Exactly right. <laughs> Brittany Rose uh, has been here the whole time and is dying. Yes, because everything God makes is perfect and good. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Another, a lot of you are saying, Alicia said it is the best because God is our creator. He is perfect. He is God. Such a good answer. He has the authority. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see. Um, we have Davida. She says yes because, um, can't catch it all, but she said <laughs> yes, and she had a sure, I'm sure, a good why behind it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, because he is perfect and good. He always knows what oh. he's doing. Yes, those are such good girls, answers. Girls, we love those answers. So right on. You girls Very are totally manipulative. headed in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Really viewing life mm -hmm. out of the lens of God's word and building the worldview off of that. You girls are doing awesome. I give high fives. And I'm not an expert yeah, in this. Clearly, too. Jacqueline is, but <laughs> okay. it's yeah, not hard for me to see. Discussion, but we're not done yet because we know this topic raises a lot of questions. How manipulative we're not be able it is! To get to all of them, but we are going to try to answer some of your hardest questions. So we're going to enable the Q and A now. So we're going to move into Q and A time. We're going to disable the chat, but we'll bring that there back goes. up here at the end. We're going to okay. Bethany's going to enable Q and A, and now it's just time for you to ask any questions specifically related to what we discussed today. We'd love to stick with that mostly, and then we'll probably answer maybe one or two questions that are kind of just random that are about whatever. So give us your questions, hard, easy, no question is a bad question. If you're not sure about something, just feel free to ask it, okay? Whether it's simple or complicated. Yeah. We want to try to dive in and help you understand a little bit better about God's amazing design. Because I know we've had a lot of questions mm -hmm. in the a past. Lot. And yeah. it wasn't until we really dove into God's well, the pandemic solid studies that are actually might be open. sort of over Tell when the convention is, but it's is. true. Why go? It is a risk. And she brought woman. that up. I'm really striving to actively live out this design. And I'm telling you, it's hard sometimes. Yeah. It's hard to actively live out God's Welcome design. Welcome home. Especially in a culture that's pushing us the opposite direction. I know that. So we have a great question that came in first. And thank you for telling us how to spell your name, Fumi. I think that's yes. what you're saying. Is it Fumi? I think I'm pronouncing it right now. She gave me a little pronunciation. She says, I'm like, can you explain or give an example of how the gender roles in marriage is disregarded today? Oh, my God. How it can be <laughs> Walked in at the so right really time. Specifically talking about gender roles, roles in marriage. Yay. A husband and wife or a mother and father. And I know, Kristen, last week you were talking about even just independence and the roles in there. And as a married woman, what I how miss? would you say that you have oh, power good. gender roles in marriage being disregarded today since you're in that? Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I would Elijah. say that, is that they are totally being disregarded. <gasps> Thank and you for merch. Uh, there's a strong push even in Christian circles. There are even books written about how there should be no mm. gender distinctions or roles even in Christian marriages. But girls, I am telling you, I have been striving and I'm not perfect and my husband will attest that there, that I fail, we both fail, but we give each other grace and we strive Sylvester, to live out God's design. And I'm telling you, when I live out God's Sylvia, design, when I Kristen, embrace my role Raven, as a helper, these new patrons of yours, helpmate, thank you for I becoming a, a home Patreon supporter of mine. Uh, make sure to also check out David's Patreon, patreon.com slash future sunsets. The special gifts Tomorrow he's I posting to lyrics to a song that he wrote about me on his Patreon. They don't all come naturally, but when I work and on it would mean a lot if you supported him. So yes. Which we'll get to next week I can thank Yvonne and Chris for joining so my Patreon. 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 Patreon.com so slash Future Sunsets. Also, I put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. So if you guys could click on that and subscribe, that would be amazing. I've been in quite a few videos of yours recently. True. Our music videos where we're singing together. And because we're both holding on to our rights rather than we're gonna post a love song about me soon. One another. So soon. I'm telling Lyrics you, God's tomorrow. design works. I'm living it out in my marriage, and when I live it out well, my marriage is a beautiful picture of what God designed the male and the woman to be, and how when we do it according to God's design, it functions best. That's awesome. That's a yeah. great answer. Uh, really uh, from the homophobia. It makes me so <laughs> angry. <laughs> okay, another question. Do you get Someone why I get mad at them now? Yeah. With your gender. So asking me and Kristen. And I would say that Do that's they still not believe this? Because this is definitely old. Oh, God, yeah, no, they're all about this shit. Matt, thank you so much for the super I chat, Matt. Because I can both has struggled with understand that people might have had stupid mm -hmm. thoughts in the past. Now, God, right? No, no, totally. I mean, I used to have terrible opinions about religion about and other things in the past. And I would have changed at all. No. I wouldn't want to be judged on my past beliefs because I feel like I used to be a terrible person. And I continue to grow all the time. But Tons they have stayed and have wanted to stagnant go in a different direction, kind on of their direction that the very, very bigoted viewpoints. Instead of mm. living out God's design for us. And we share stories about that in our books. So I would say 
no, not specifically struggling with our gender, but maybe struggling with our purpose and design as women. Mm -hmm. That's something we've definitely struggled with. Yeah. One of you asked a great question, and this is one we get all the time on our, through email and on our Maybe website, and that Jalea? is, should we believe I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Is that when y'all meet them at their event, tell them, forgive them for their oh, hateful transgressions, for they know not what they do. I will make sure to bring that up. I'm sure they might disagree, but hilarious nonetheless. She forgives A lot of us just think, oh, it's just a movement striving to create equal opportunity for men and women. It's just a movement trying to push men and women to be equally valuable. Aloha from Hawaii. We dig beneath the surface, and we've written many blog posts on this. You can just search feminism in our blog, World mm -hmm. Defined. You'll be able to read more in depth I'm on good. this. But truly, the feminist movement is pushing far past that. That's you don't the forgive them. I don't know that I'm. I would forgive surface, somebody for something if they showed growth from that thing, but they have it. So, to be a woman. so rather than looking at God's word know. and responding to the maybe hurt or pain that we've experienced as women based on God's word and looking to His word for truth, the feminist movement has actually created. Yeah almost a religion of their own. And they've created like a whole belief system yeah. on how we as women should view men, how we should view ourselves, on how we should be empowered. Yeah. And sadly so often- And we should not be empowered women. You hear this? God's design. They are Feminists want you to feel empowered, but we should not. All gender roles in marriage. Yeah. Feminism is not a fan of having gender roles in marriage, but when we look at God's word, we say, well, God yeah. already created, you for he created us as women. He has okay. the belief system that we should follow. So, girls, we actually yeah. don't need feminism because we have God's word. We yes. can look at God's word to get all the answers mm -hmm. we need to any problems, to any solutions, to They're our design women. It's all found right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they I don't believe in birth control or about, abortion or women's rights or, like, something that liberating yourself sexually. Been, like, they're against all the things. against on the Girl Defined blog is that in order to be equal with men, mm -hmm. like Kristen was saying, we must oh, be even working. the same as them. Yeah. And in God's word, we can see to a that degree. we are equally valuable with men, but purposely mm -hmm. different. And so feminism says, if you want to be as equal as a man, you need to be doing the same. You should have the same, be doing the same things yeah. as him. You, you should no, know. No it's that you need to be doing. It's that you should be but able to do. Word, There's a difference. That equality doesn't mean sameness. God is the one who gives us our value. He's the one who just who is in charge of saying what makes us, what gives us purpose. Without feminism, value, they would not have a YouTube channel. Have Very true. His design and the value he's they have so many rights feminism is that they would not have had and, yeah, like Christian said, without feminism, so it's frustrating. Read about the third way feminism Great pisses everybody off, awesome. right? But We have another question from Sarah Spradlin. The core of it says, is helpful. This is a really good one. Um, it says, does a woman have to get married to still be within the scope executing God's purpose for womanhood? Great question, Sarah. We got single a single girl. girl to answer it for you. <laughs> I think I'll probably be single forever just so I can answer all the single girl's <laughs> questions. So I'll be 80 still answering your questions. Never <laughs> you never know. That wouldn't be. That's not plan. Perfect. Um, but yes, as so is the sure question. Does a woman have to get married basically to fulfill God's design for womanhood? And the answer to that is no. God has a very specific plan. Andrew. For all of us, and ultimately, how are you holding up? <laughs> is to become like Christ uh. and to reflect him. And as Via women, thread. it is so amazing how we very, very out thin thread. Design Thank you, Caden, for women. picking up some bracelets. With, if, as a single woman, Woo! so in whatever season of life that we're in, God's word is a it really it shows us. We how sold one of the tour cameras. <gasps> very, very, very really? Not, like, oh, not recently, but just the other day. Of the book, we're going to get to that. Yeah, I'm excited in about the study that. Study guide. We kind of take you through biblical womanhood and show you exactly what that is. But we have three pillars that we really believe is the foundations of God's design for womanhood. I'm just gonna say that I'm not gonna go into them because we're gonna get into that into the future. But basically she helps others, she produces life, and she nurtures relationships. When did we officially start book, streaming? We show you how me because we were a few as minutes a past is really eleven, right? To live out biblical womanhood so and how I just want to make sure we don't God end it. Most as a single girl by really embracing these things and doing these things as a single okay. girl in my own way by you know building relationships <laughs> by nurturing relationships by producing life spiritually um, and really embracing this design. So. If you are single, I would really encourage you. You may even want to jump ahead to chapter six and read it, get a little head start, and that'll really answer your questions on this topic. Mm -hmm. That is such mm -hmm. a great answer. I'm just scrolling through. Yeah. The no. So many, so many good questions. And some of them are just, they're deep, but they're simple at the same yeah. time. And you're just wanting to have some answers. So here's Colleen. a really good one. And this may be something that not all of you are Thank faced you with. Thank you so yet. much. We yeah. haven't actually been faced with this probably directly, but with the way our culture is going, yeah. with the way the trends are moving, it's probably something we're all going to be faced with so regularly here pretty soon. Um, let's oh, see. you sent a tweet. Let me ask, how do you still show love to a person 
who has chosen to switch genders but without supporting their decision? And that's a really good question because as Christians, our that? truth is based on God's word, so we don't what want to support it? a decision, but we're also called to love. So how do, do you we have a love friend that decides to tr- be transgender? Not, obviously, not going to God's word for their authority. And transition. Well, how girls, do you? Here's just a quick, simple answer. How do you yeah. love anyone who isn't living according to God's word? You know, it's not just like transgender people or homosexuals aren't a special class. They're just humans that are struggling with a sin problem like we all have. There, you know, there are only two kinds of people, unrepentant sinners and repentant sinners, and we all fall in one of two, one or two of those groups. And so how do you love someone who is engaged in sin and not repenting? I think you love them according to 1 Corinthians 13, which is how we should love anyone. That is, we love them, love is patient, it is kind, it isn't doesn't boast, it isn't arrogant or rude. We don't want to be arrogant or rude towards anyone. It doesn't insist on its own way. It is I not think they'll let us into the convention. It doesn't I don't rejoice think they in wrongdoing. They should. If not, so we should quote Corinthians. So there you go. We are not going to rejoice in this. It rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes did all it, things, hopes all things, endures before? all things. So girls, I think in a nutshell, we should be the first ones to show a First Corinthians selfless kind of love towards these people. And then Lord will and pray for them often. And then maybe God would open a door for you to be able to have some conversations. You don't need to start there with the issue. Here it you is. You just want to get to know them as a person, find out more about who they are, their past, love them, and then if an opportunity presents themselves, yes, we want that person to be this free from that sin. Like we would want ourselves or anyone to be free from sin because true fulfillment and joy is I'm so only happy found I found it. living according to God's word. So it should be out of a heart of humility, out of a heart of love that we even approach this person. And then as we build that relationship, maybe Perfect. God would open the door. Now I have it. I can watch that video. Mm-hmm. Wait, we missed That's something. That's awesome. Really, really good. Matt, thank good you answer. so much. We have another question that says. I've been here from the it's beginning. from our friend Liz. And I know this is. This oh my is a really God. He's been a while since I've been this day drunk. I'm so sorry. Sam. Susanna. And a lot of you girls are Also, please consider doing a real version of Carmen's says, Christian Have you guys brainstormed about how to react yes, in, or when you come across a man <laughs> in the public? Nice restroom. partying with you, Matt. <laughs> I have thought about that. And especially with younger sisters, even, it kind of scares me a little bit more because I'm thinking even more about safety and what to do, um, how to handle that, what should, you know, how to approach that. Public restrooms can be a little bit scary just because you don't know who you're going to find in there. So one thing I recommend, if at all possible, take a sister, a mom, mm-hmm. a friend, a buddy with you in there because two is better than one. You know, it's it's much better for safety reasons, that sort of thing. Nice. So if you can go into a public restroom, if at all possible, to bring someone with you, that would be great. Um, I would also highly recommend that if you go into a public restroom and you see someone or observe something kind of sketchy or something that doesn't seem normal or something that just doesn't sit right with you, just leave. It's not worth it to get out of the bathroom and, and go away. Um, and so, I mean, the, the best thing to do as far as safety goes is to just be extra careful, very cautious. What is that about? To your surroundings Ashley King, thank you so much for the super chat. And then just if you see someone in there that is a man, just try to leave as quickly as possible. Don't, don't wash your hands. If you're not washing your hands, just get out of the restroom. So that's what I've told my two younger sisters is just to be extra careful. Bring a friend with you. Leave immediately. If it looks like a sketchy situation, don't stick around. Get out of there or don't use that restroom if you if you need to. Yeah, exactly. Girls, this is why. Questions still coming in, but we are this is why I make videos on them. In order to have enough time People are like, oh my God, you're oh, being yeah, mean to these two girls that are just trying to like believe what they want to believe. You should have watched this earlier. No, bitch. The home, with or without children. And, you know, mm, what are your thoughts yeah. on feminism? And just all sorts of, you know, should a woman become a lawyer? And these good are really question. good, relevant wow. questions. Should, why is that a question? We should women become a lawyer? In the upcoming sessions, we have an entire webinar planned on the topic of Why is that even? in need of discussion biblical perspective we have an entire session next week diving into god's amazing tom design for thank you for ordering merch. breaking that down we have three pillars of biblical womanhood that we're going to be covering so if you want some practical tools on how to apply that that is going to be coming up but it is time <laughs> drum roll oh. b thank you i don't know if you can hear me tapping on the microphone they make me mad too we girl. have picked the winner show this adorable tote bag for those of Andrew. you who don't know we're giving away this tote bag right now we will party with you so hard in hell she won it's not she even funny the image, like a whole bunch of you way to go but or we randomly tour. pick someone and <laughs> da, 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 announcing <laughs> i cannot Sarah stand Bradley. them all right, Woo-hoo! everyone, go follow yeah, Sarah Spracklin. Anytime and someone she, yeah, she comes at me Sarah. for Sarah. being mean Big to Brad. these two Big girls, Brad. Instagram, Instagram name, that's cute. Well, this is the so best. Sarah, remind them of this shit. Of the first ever handcrafted girl behind tote bag. 
send us an email with your name, with your address, and we will pop this baby in the mail to you. And for those of you I who are should like, make a I video wish I could on so just the stream. Give them away at our Girl Defined conference. Everyone's gonna get one, so if you wanna come join us in hey. the video, girls trip. Thank you so yeah, much. I'm from Brazil. Oh, yeah, make sure you guys use no the code Girl Defined to get a discount on our merch <laughs> site. The code will only last, yeah, how long does it last, actually? Quite yet, but those will be coming. Okay, girls, so Sarah, Say, congratulations. How long is our code, or discount code, to good for? It is time to close, uh, and I can set it for whatever. We Didn't we decide, like, a week? To read uh, chapters, I if can you haven't read chapters four and five, that's what we covered today, really focusing on the issue of gender. For this upcoming week, we're going to be going through chapters six and seven. These chapters will really answer all, yeah, so let's much do of a the week. questions that you were asking. Our code girl defined is good for a week. Ago. So if you want to get merch. Solid answers, really bringing biblical truth. But we're going to ship out so merch really tomorrow. So if you want to get to you very and soon, then we'll order it today. This coming week. Thank you girls so much for joining us. We seriously have had such a blast. I thought I'd miss this, like but here you guys are still going. Yeah. Each week. Yes. Here we are. And here we fucking are. We love you all. And we can't wait to see you next week, Wednesday, 730. Bye. Uh, they should let you on a panel at their convention. They would never. Raven Blade. Hey girls, it's what's Chris up? Bethany here with Girl Defined Ministries, and today's vlog is called "Strong Girls Obey God's Word Even When It's Hard." So a few years ago, I decided to do something absolutely crazy. I decided to run a marathon. Yes, twenty-six point <laughs> two miles, and the point two is really important. Yes, that's very hard. I looked up the idea, you know, on my computer, thought, oh, running a marathon, that sounds like fun. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. So it sounded fun when I was inside. Who would think that sounds fun? Training came, and I had no idea how you have to run it in a God honoring way, though. A marathon was going to be. I started training for several months, and I realized that. I mean, good I for you if you can do it, but, but I don't think I would get up that morning, sounds fun. I didn't feel like, like going outside and running and training when. Other people were sleeping, enjoying their nice pillows. I was out there mile after mile mm -hmm. after mile. Nice and pillows. really, the marathon taught me a super important lesson. It taught me that even when I don't feel like doing something, I have to do it because I know it's the right thing. Like, I knew my marathon was coming, and I had to train, or I wasn't going to be prepared. And I'm glad to say that, you got hand, that hour -long I did stream. make it 26.2 miles. Yeah, guys, I like, slower than a snail, but <laughs> I, I feel like this is a <laughs> marathon of sorts. A very, very good life lesson. Mm -hmm. More Just difficult like than hers, to run a for really sure. Hard race and to yeah. stick through it, even when it was really tough. The truth is the Christian life is exactly like running a really hard marathon. And I think you knew that punchline was coming in the Christian life. It's really easy to be a Christian when you're sitting at home, when you're in, you know, in the comfort of your own home, when you're at church or when you're with friends that agree with you, it's easy to be a Christian girl in those circumstances. But when you get out in the world and people disagree with you, when people don't want to be your friend on Facebook because of your Christian beliefs, when people don't like you because you're being a Christian or they challenge you, that is when it gets really, really tough. And sadly, a lot of Christian girls cave in and they become wimpy girls when they get out in the culture and the going gets tough. It actually takes a really, really strong girl to obey God's word even when it's hard. It takes a strong girl to stand up for God's so truth. So annoying. It takes a strong girl to have the endurance and to keep running the race when you feel when you don't feel like it. It takes I a love strong girl to go with the analogy. emotions and to obey God's word anyways. So in this vlog, we just want to encourage you that being a strong Christian girl isn't an easy I thing. Because you're going to have so crazy. much opposition, so many people that are fighting against you. But you, in those moments, have to choose to obey God's word rather than going with your feelings. Just like Bethany did for the marathon. She had to know, I'm going to have to practice. I have to run, mm -hmm. even when I don't feel like it. And it was hard. Yes, Very hard. it was. But in the end, it was totally worth it. Totally. You finish the race strong. And as Christian girls, we have to have that same strong mentality. There's a great verse in the Bible that goes along perfectly with what oh, we're talking about. Wait. And I want to read it to you. It's Hebrews 12, 1 mm -hmm. through 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. And we just love that verse because it reminds you that it takes endurance. Mm -hmm. It takes strength to finish the race. Just like my marathon, it was hard. It wasn't easy. And the Christian life, living as a Christian girl, it isn't always easy. When you get out there, like Kristen said, when you face that opposition, mm -hmm. you have to keep your eyes focused on Jesus and remember skip that this? you are running no. the race for him. You are mm -hmm. running to honor him, 
to please him and it's going to take strength so we just want to encourage you to be strong and what if, if they did 10 hours of paul and morgan hebrews 12 mm -hmm. 1 through 2 what if we did 14 right hours down, of paul no 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 somewhere. i was going to go and less remember, with the hours you need to run with no no time. more hours we want to challenge you to join the ranks of truly strong girls in this generation who choose to go against their feelings, five hours of paul and morgan i can't keep doing and this to obey god Eight. and honor him and run the race no. strong so here are some practical ways Nate. that you can choose to be a strong girl today. Did you see strong girl that Watsky just did 34 hours of rapping live? Oh my god, yeah, you told me about that. Freestyle. That's insane. Even when he would pee with find. the microphone still on and keep freestyling. It takes a strong girl to overcome Just got home from the worst shift. It's an Norwegian constitution day to day, and now I'm here. Glad I didn't miss it all. Well, I'm glad that you're here too. Thank you for the super chat. And... It if you want, this will stay on my parents, channel and you can watch the whole thing like later. If you so totally choose to put yourself through that. It takes that. a strong girl to intentionally invest in her siblings, despite Squish if they move in. her. It takes a strong girl to choose to Thank you for the super chat. Against her. We hope you can see that it takes a really strong girl to go against the grain, uh, to go against her feelings, and to honor God in all of these different areas. It isn't easy. A strong girl this does what she knows is, knows is right, despite oh, yeah. how she feels. So we challenge you're going to be alone in your how you are God just first and to be a strong Christian don't listen to all your friends our modern world culture desperately needs that thanks so much for joining us and watching our video if you liked it give us a thumbs up if you liked what you saw subscribe to our channel we post new videos every wednesday we want to leave you with this question and give us your answer in the comment section below what circumstances are you currently facing in your life right now that require you to be a strong girl for christ you're a mess probably like so oh, sorry <laughs> Because you went like this. It takes a strong girl and you did a long neck. I sinned against her. What happened to her? I'm sorry. Small crunches on your words. Go. Oh. Just <laughs> God. Okay, now, Andy. Yeah. I, okay. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh. But it's you fine. had such a rambling long thing. It takes a strong. <laughs> Being a strong girl. Nice. That was my bit. That works. That's way more fun out. Who's literally like a statue? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why um, were you frozen? I forgot what was happening. I can't do this anymore. Hey guys, more it's in your Christina playlist. Bethany here with Girl Defined Ministries, and in today's vlog, I put extra just in really case casual, we didn't have enough really time. But like, where are we on time? We can just fucking. Q based on questions that you have recently emailed us with and 557. said, "Hey, I have these questions. Here's this. Here's this." And so we just handpicked a few that ah! just represent. What a lot of you are wondering, and we'll do our best to unpack them today in this video. Unpack. Okay, the first question comes from. They Andy, love that I'm word. Read exactly We're almost to six hours, you guys. guys. What's been the most three minutes left thing about being in a relationship? For good. All right. Anybody else who wants bad. to spin the wheel? Yeah, this is your time. Sense. Spin <laughs> that wheel. We're peacing out soon. Use question. that merch code. I am totally so ready to be done with this. Let's go. But we're right about right now about to learn about love and relationships. I guess in my own life and in relationships, really. Oh yeah. Wow. There have been some unexpected things in my own relationship that I wouldn't have necessarily anticipated, and so yeah, like whenever you're dating someone who's got it. One of the um one of the most unexpected things. Who's gonna spin that wheel? Is that. I'm not always on cloud nine. <laughs> and I know if you're probably married or have been and in a relationship a lot longer than six two, months, you're probably like, oh, one, yeah, yeah, that's normal. Two minutes I remaining. I haven't. And so I kind of went into my relationship with Dave with this idea that in order for my relationship to be a really good relationship, I, I can't believe we've been sitting here since like 11 a.m. would need to be like, ah, oh, you know, like, like infatuation. Not about that. Infatuation. So a lot of these guys. So <laughs> high friends. You know, all are just so as crazy like, as we are. You know, it's portrayed in the movies and in Hollywood. And, oh, Rob, but they didn't finish this. Sammy. Immune just, to the coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> Sammy, thank you very much for picking up some merch from FFVMerch.com. Using the code Girl Defined for 15% off. You're just like, huh. Watching six hours of Girl Defined. Here's coronavirus. I really like him and I want to be with him, but there are some no, days like, where I have to keep writing or we're working and I don't feel so infatuated. And so I just realized, wow, um, like, true me. love isn't about <gasps> Raven! a certain way. True love is about choosing. To Raven, be you soul, are going to get sacrificing in so the last few minutes. About feelings and that's okay. Life wouldn't work if we were yes. on cloud nine. Like if I were just here like, hi girl, like that's not going to work. Girl so defined me, book. That was unexpected. But it's been a good I'll find the perfect passage to, to end this with. Actually is. And the next question comes from Krista, and she asks, 
how do I prepare for dating and marriage in my younger years? So she's a little bit younger. So if you're someone who's younger, maybe you're not quite ready to get married. You're not quite ready to start dating, but you're like, I want to prepare. I I want to be ready. So when I get there, I can actually move forward. And that's so, such a wise question. Thank you, Raven. Like, thank really you, Raven. Thinking about that, yeah. like, I don't Bleach. know how far in advance I was thinking when I was. Oh, that's very, good. That's very that's sweet. Anyone like, that's part oh, of the LGBT plus, you are loved right from a Christian. <laughs> There's one thing that I know for Zach and me, and we've talked about that's this, beautiful. was so shocking. And it's just when you Everyone get married, like kind of like, piggyback on the whole cloud nine thing. Like you're in the cloud sometimes, and then you get married, and you realize wow, I'm a lot more selfish than I ever thought. (laughs) And (laughs) loving this person isn't always easy. In fact, there's times where I don't really like you. Like, I'm really angry. I'm really frustrated. Whatever it is, you're sinful, right? And you're like, it's really hard to love you right now. Okay, let's just stop watching them. One of the things looking back that I so wish I had... Oh, we did it. Bye, bitch. I have to read this. In any family, right where you are, is to just recognize that in marriage, so much of what Mm -hmm. makes a successful, lasting marriage is just what you said about the love, the true love, which is what the Bible says, agape love. This. You mean put them away? Yeah, no, get rid of them. I don't want to see their face. I don't want to see their face. All right, their face has been removed. Oh, God. All right, we're going to end with this quote on uh, sex, purity, and the longings of a girl's heart on page 151. Masturbation. This is a quote from someone who is a sinner. We're just going to marvel in their sin for a moment. I have been struggling with masturbation for a very long time. It comes and goes in waves. Get it? Get it? Okay. It does say that. I constantly try to stop and even pray to God for help. But no matter how hard I try, I eventually give back in. This has been the pattern in my life for the past few years. It feels so alone. I feel so dirty and ashamed. You should not masturbate away. There's nothing to feel bad about. My God. People are so trained to be ashamed of their bodies and sexuality and who they are as a person, even down to the gender and who you're attracted to and what you do in your, the privacy of your own home and in your own mind, even what you think about. It's like, my God, back up. So yeah, wow. We did a six-hour live stream. Six-hour live stream! Woo! Oh, we're done. Do you want to, like, take Nala on a walk? Yeah, we can go on a walk. I just feel like I need... Yeah! I need sunshine. I need fresh air. I... You feel dirty. I feel brain dead. I feel brain dead. That's how I feel. Well, we're going to go pack up everyone's merch orders. Oh, my so God, yeah. if you picked up merch, Let's... thank you so, so much. It means a lot to have your support, and uh, there's some really cool stuff on FFV merch. Yeah, and make sure we're going to keep that code good for a week. One week from today. So if you use the code, one word, girl to find, on FFVmerch.com, you can get 15% off your entire order. And yeah, we're going to ship out a bunch of stuff tomorrow. So. Yeah. And thank you to everybody who spun the wheel. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Everybody who sent super chats. We took a lot of shots. A lot of shots. We had a lot of hot sauce, unfortunately. Some people won free merch. Nala got lots of treats. We read some shitty books and some shitty jokes, and we had a great time. And David, (laughs) David finally (laughs) now has been exposed to the wonderful world. Now I understand both Kristen and Bethany. Now you know why I can't stand them. Do you have a favorite? That's like... Choosing your favorite child, I know. That's like asking me to vote. It's like, <laughs> based on who I hate the least. I don't know. They're both they're both terrible. And thank you to everybody who I can't, supports... I can't decide. I can't who decide. Who supports more long-term on, on the Patreons. Patreon.com slash Jacqueline. Patreon.com slash Nala. No. Pa- no, she, she doesn't have one. Patreon.com... Yet. Patreon.com slash Jacqueline and David counts for Nala because Nala's in a lot of the vlogs. This is true. And, and that's our that's that the Patreon.com slash Jacqueline and David is for our vlog channel and our podcast. And we're gonna have a lot of really cool vlogs coming soon, so I'm very excited about that. Make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash Jacqueline Vlogs to see our stuff. And also in the description below this video, I have a link to David's YouTube channel. Please go subscribe to him. Thanks. He posts lots of really amazing videos. He's very talented, and I'm in a lot of videos with him. So it would mean a lot to me if you supported him. I mean, he deserves it, guys. He sat through the six-hour stream I of Girl Defined. I don't know what else deserves a subscription, but that is, that's a lot of work. 
Yeah, I feel like I learned a little <laughs> bit who, who Paul and Morgan, they're all the same now, who <laughs> the, these girls are. And yeah. they've, they have uh, defined what girls are um, for me. That's great. Andrew, I forgot to virtually pet Nala. Aw. And then your Patreon. Oh, it's Future Sunsets. Uh, if you join by tomorrow, you get the lyrics to the very first song I ever wrote about her uh, and a little demo of it. And that'll be coming out to patrons first anyways. So head on over there and uh, much appreciate your support. All right, guys, if you haven't already liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. This was quite a bit of work to sit through this for this long, and the preparation leading up to it, it was a lot of time. We spent a lot of time on this. So thank you. But a you. round of applause for you guys. Yeah, thank you, you for guys. being here. Thank and you for the support and the super chats and everybody who bought merch. Oh, my God. The people taking shots from home. The people, I'm with you. The people that are just like... <laughs> Anybody was anybody eating hot sauce? If you were eating hot sauce, good for you. <laughs> if you're at, at work and you were watching this on a break or while you were working, that's awesome. If you're watching this later and this is you know uh, up on my channel from a stream that has passed, welcome. I don't know why you're here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Why are any, we're in quarantine? Why are we, we must like torturing ourselves or something weird? But that's true. I'm very thankful for all of you guys. It's been it's been fun. We will have to do another one of these in the future with Paul and Morgan, maybe even Transformed Wife, will come up with some interesting shit. It's certainly fun to do. Yeah. It's very fun. All right, thanks. well. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for doing this. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.